We are the American A real Indian, American Indian is me, not from Africa. Remember that. I'm African Americans here, but they recently moved here from places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. But not a brother whose family's lived in this country for generations, occupying space in all the locations, New York, Miami, LA, Detroit, Chicago, even if he's wearing a dashiki and sporting an afro. And if you go to Africa in search of your race, you'll find out quick, you're not an African American. You're just a black American in Africa taking up space. <laughs> Why you keep trying to attach yourself to a continent where even if you got the chance to go and you went, most people that wouldn't even claim you as one of them, as a pure... <laughs> Your heritage is right here. We are not Africans. We are not African. Are you African? I'm not no African. Nigga, you a lying motherfucker. You ain't talking about we Africans. Yeah. Conscious. I so far away I come from. I sit and wonder about the times that it made sense. But nowadays, I don't worry about what's past tense. My younger days, I used to hang around with mad friends. If we just fell out, I don't really know what happened. A lot of people come around and keep you stagnant. Distraction, so yeah, don't show them no compassion. We was really out here grinding, really rapping. Stacking them Franklins, them Grants, and them Jacksons. Imagine if we would've never chased our passion. We probably would've never knew what happened. They was all just talk, we showed action. Once they leave, don't you let them back in no. Just pack up all they stuff and send them packing I'm blacking on anybody thinking they could act up with me This vibe ain't for free Cause where I'm at in life, I'm only focused on me Know the self, know yourself, focus on your health They don't wanna help them, fuck it, do it by yourself Don't give them no excuse to put you on the shelf If it's me, myself, and I, then it's no one else Yeah Self-love is the best love. best love It's the people always give that never get love no. They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Yeah, uh Self-love is the best love It's the people always give that never get love They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Love yourself yeah. Practice what you preaching but Clearly they not practicing entitlement and pride Yeah, those two things they factor in Inspire a lot of control Just from all the bantering When they accustomed to talking behind your back With all that chatter And I remove myself before I abuse myself Talk to. about self-love but you gotta do it yourself yeah. yeah, I won't act too good for no help We all healing now yeah. Said some things about me me, that ain't true, how you feeling now? Even now my lowest, they tried to find a way to bring me down Try. Big y'all up for years, ain't talking just the brand or the sound I don't throw things around, I do it from the heart proud Mama just wanna see her sunshine removing them dark clouds Yeah, self-love is the best love It's the people who always give that never get love They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Yeah, uh Self-love is the best love it's the people who always give that never get love They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Love yourself Iso Dama But 
they still lying Whoa. right through their teeth and they still yeah. hiding uh. behind many troops they was d9 watch my every move tell them keep tell fine leave that on scene i ain't replying less i know you that don't mean i'm holly's boy that just mean i'm holly's boy all y'all i probably stood on the falls all cars hey. more times i probably yeah. shut i don't know nobody like us you, you see how much time it took yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Dama. Woo! Ay, it's too many lies, too many lies. Ay, it's too many lies, too many lies. Yo, it's too many. Ay, it's too many. Yo, it's too many. Yo, it's too many lies. Look at my eyes, they know I'm the truth. You know that. Knocking them down every time I step in the booth. Uh -huh. We ain't got a lie, they know we the vibe, we living in proof. What? Young conscious, you my life a movie, I live in a spoof. Ain't no sticking around, I'm on the move, I'm checking the dudes. Yeah, it's dudes. only us two, so you know we copping that coupe. Mm -hmm. We on the roof, smoking dope, look at the view. Yeah, we used to chill on the stoop, now we out here breaking the news. Uh -huh. Hey, what you really could do, cause uh -huh. we ain't got nothing to lose. We ain't switch side with no cruise, nah. we just stayed out of the loop. Facts. Now we out here letting it loose. Facts. Every shot we took it was swoosh, gotta get it, ain't no excuse, ain't sh left the proof. Hey, yeah, hey, there's too many lies, too many lies. Too many lies. is hey it's the motherfucking thunder show <laughs> What's good? Why are up in this bitch happy? Colleagues, I done woke their ass up. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it like you love it. Facts. Facts. Oh, I'm here to deliver Sunday sermon. Sunday sermon got to be delivered today. And we can't, we, 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 y'all, the, 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 the church basket's going to go around. I'm going to pass, uh, pass around the offering pa packet a little later because I got to deliver the uh, sermon today. Pastor chose me today. So I guess I'm going to have to help pastor out, you know, because. Uh, he, he needs somebody and he appointed me today to, to deliver the message. So I got the, you know, I want to do right by pastor. Y'all know we love pastor. Y'all know we love pastor. Okay. So smash the like button for pastor. He's absent today. Smash it, y'all. Smash that motherfucking like button, y'all. We got to get lit up in this piece. We got to light it up today. Seriously. We got to light it up in this bitch. Smash the like button. Please. I, I need y'all. I, I see that there's some likes in there, but I need y'all to please smash that like button. Please. All my colleagues all over, y'all, please smash the like button. Please. I really appreciate it if you do. Please. Uh, please, I appreciate it, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. 
please. So what I want to get in today, into today, it, it's going to be deep. It's going to be a little upsetting for some people. And I don't care. I don't care at this point. Because right now, I feel like in the position that I'm in, I feel like I've been deceived. And, you know, all my tribal brothers and sisters that's watching, I did send an email and said that you did not have to listen in if you got your busy Sunday schedules. But I did ask if you could hit the like button. If y'all, why, it, just hit the like button. To my colleagues from the other platform, hit the like button. That helps a lot up in here. It really does to get the um, algorithm going. Because what I'm going to say today, it'll probably upset people. And at this point, I don't give a fuck. Because I, I I was doing things blindly in YouTube and wasn't even aware of it. I had no clue. I literally had no clue. And I didn't listen to the voice of some of my key tribe members. And I, I, I should have. But it wasn't in a bad way. And I think they already know that I wasn't aware. You know, um, there's people, you know, in this YouTube community that's just foul, foul, completely foul. And after yesterday, um, yesterday's viewing of debate, I mean, I didn't care. And I'm keeping it a buck. I didn't care whether um, Root were one or not. I didn't. That was not, that had absolutely nothing to do with um the uh, community that was in there because I literally thought that th th there's a different set of Indians up in this bitch. Literally, di different set of folks that claim to be Indians and Abor Indians and Aboriginals. I already went and I already went over clearly and deeply into the Indian slash Aboriginal and showed, showed, literally showed information that the United States identifies and sees Indian and Aboriginal as one and the same. They are not two separate people. They are not. But who they are not are these black Moors that ran around in our hoods, some of them in the South. You know, um, some of them in different states, they're not the, uh, uh, no, we're not that belief system that they have. That's not us. And they're not, clearly. And I want to make that very clear. I've been, uh, from the beginning, from the very beginning, when I came in YouTube, I never identified with them dudes, ever. <laughs> the woman either. And I still don't today. And I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart to the top of my soul, to my internal organs, every organ that's operating right now. I do not identify and affiliate myself with those people, with those group of people. And I will not. And what happened was, and I, I, I want to apologize to people that I love so much that I lost my friendship with close, the, the, the close trust to me. I couldn't even see it then. And, you know, I, I, I prayed to the ancestors on this last night and I cried. I couldn't even really sleep well last night, but I did, the ancestors did allow me to get some good sleep. Y'all know Y'all know, and everybody, I, I, everybody in fucking YouTube, as that effect, know how much I love Dane Calloway and the relationship that I had with him and his uh, wife. And I think out of the most pain in YouTube, 
and I, I can honestly say this, and I'm being very remorseful with it because y'all know how close I was with Tate. You, he could do no wrong, him or his wife, in my eyes. And it still affects me today. It does. And I mean that shit. But the one thing, when we stopped being close, it wasn't on my, my, that wasn't on my decision. And I can say this, it wasn't my decision that we stop being close. Um, uh, it, it, it was me not understanding a lot of things. Because y'all know I've only been in YouTube for five years, but I've grown and I've learned a lot and I've studied a lot. Five years of studying is a lot of time. And I didn't understand him when I hurt him. I didn't understand him. I couldn't understand it. But I do now. And look how long it took me to understand. I literally thought I was doing the right thing with the right people. But as God and the ancestors is my witness, I can say this. God, as God and the ancestors is, is, is my witness to this, I didn't learn what I couldn't see until yesterday. Because being in YouTube five years allowed you to see things that you never saw before. And it really, really, truly hurt me um, that I was, didn't know where the fuck I was. You know? Now, with BAP, I always like BAP. Always. And I still do always love him as a nephew. I, I do. Him and Rocky. And I, they even came to our powwow in South Carolina when a lot of our members could not make it. But BAP always told me that he was not a more. And he says that clearly live a lot on YouTube. He says it a lot. So I, I, I felt comfort in being close with him. Now, he never said that he don't affiliate himself and have homeboys and stuff that are Moors. But when I'm in that community, I'm thinking that I'm among the Indians and aboriginals that um, see and believe things about our history in the way I do. That's who I thought I was surrounded with when you're saying um, aboriginals and Indians. Now, it's always clear to me who the Moor is because their name bluntly says like Bay, B-E-Y at the end and L-E-L. -E you know they're not hiding who they are. But when it comes to people that, I, that don't identify, you have a, a group that doesn't identify as, as Moor and only identify as aboriginal but don't identify as english shit is all mixed up y'all it really is and those are the ones who believe in this moorish lifestyle and moorish movement shit whether they're mst or individual or that i don't fuck with them and that's a fact now in the very beginning when we were building our nation Wire. We were Wire Tribe at that time. At that time, we were Wire Tribe. And um, we I accepted a lot of members, man. I had like over 2,000 and something members. And now, granted, there was a small portion of them, quite a few. When we had the 2,000 and something members, we then had like 600 or 500 or something active dues paying loyal members okay we did and then we um no i'm sorry i'm sorry this is after the fact this is we, we had like um like 80 80 or 90 in the very very beginning when we first started we did i'm, I'm moving the history a little bit too fast i got a account from the very beginning we had like 
80 something members, right? When we first began forming WIA. And then I learned that there were members in there who were Moors. This is what drew my hate and discomfort in being around them people in the very beginning when I was building WIA tribe. And it was like 80 something, 89 or 88, you know, uh, members. A lot of them, I gave them back their fucking money. And I learned that these are not the fucking people that I, I need to be affiliated with because I was handed that same purple paperwork shit. And I knew, you know, just being, you know, apparently, and wait a minute, well, I want to clarify something. There's a difference between a paralegal and paralegal specialist. All right. <clears throat> That's what the first thing I want you to know. A specialist is an inch away from taking the fucking bar. Facts. I am a paralegal specialist and I have a certification. I, in my life, did freelance paralegal work for 22 years across the states. I worked for a lot of lawyers before we even had hardcore internet interaction. And I worked freelance drafting different documents for them because they couldn't afford to hire secretaries. And I would do a lot of depositions for them. And I got paid a real good part-time salary for that. But I stopped that because it was burning me out. It was too much, too much. But I worked for attorneys in different states, which helped me a lot to learn a lot of different state laws because all states don't have the same laws. They have similar, but not the same. So anyway, back to the wire, wire thing. We had like 89, 88, I can't even fucking remember. And we knew, uh, I knew something was fucking wrong. And the minute I said, no, I, I'm not filling out that fucking paperwork shit that that UCC, all that bullshit. I'm not introducing that to the tribe. And they became upset with me. They was fucking pissed. So I kicked all the motherfuckers out. And we was in the middle of purchasing our fucking land in South Carolina. The 15 something plus acres out there in South Carolina. And so once I kicked the motherfuckers out. Um, that was the first exodus. So that dropped us to like 47 something. And then I, you know, I said, oh, we not going to go down. They think because they left, we're not going to do this shit. I was going to step up. I was going to do every motherfucking thing and my power to make sure that we get that land in South Carolina. So me thinking that I, 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 E, Y, E, I, it's not all about I. So what happened, us 47-something members came in and bought triple units. And by the time it was time to purchase that, that, that land, next thing you know, I was sitting in the fucking closing. Why? I was sitting in the motherfucking closing. And, 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 and that, that's a fact. Why? Is, why is, we walked out owning that fucking land. No motherfucking loans. Hell no. And that's a fact. So we got it. We got them out. And at that time, we was building up again. So the next year came around. It's the tribe. Why a start tribe started doubling and tripling and to the point where we are now. And we opened our doors one more time a couple of months ago last year and then we had to close some shits again because it's just too many when it gets to be too many to oversee paperwork wise and processing wise it's just too much yep so um now we at where we're at where we're at but anyway we got the motherfuckers out and i've never i, I didn't even know that they were uh these fucking more people they didn't identify as more. And I learned. I was still learning. So I just looked on the motherfucking Negro Rose and found all the L's and B's and told them motherfuckers, you up out of here. You out. Because number one, that is a violation of our tribal bylaws. Fuck no. 
our declaration clearly, clearly, and our um our declaration, all right, and our bylaws clearly state that we are not part of those people and we don't identify as those people for real on some real shit. So every you can't get in wire until you've declared who you are and who you're not. And the way to do that is by our declaration that we specifically have designed to say who you are and who you are not. And Moors and African-Americans and all these other fucked up names that they try to identify us as is, de uh, is denounced. And we, every member that signed the declaration and got it notarized and got it out to the correct political leaders and state leaders and municipality leaders, those are the members of WIA. Because when you come in, you might come in as a more, but when you're doing our declaration, you're denouncing that fucking I, um, identity. You are not. We don't do, um, we don't do what we're, what we're, um, we, we we don't do life. We don't run life like that. We don't. We don't run life like no mores. I don't fuck with them like that. Now, as far as me liking somebody, and I know that they're more from the beginning, it's just a one. I don't deal with mores, for real. And I never have. And I never agreed with a one. And he will tell you that. But Yesterday, he said something very interesting. He said that I had tribe members that were Moors and they just don't want to hurt my feeling. Let me tell you something. It, like I said, any motherfucking tribe member in Wyan Nation signed a declaration and denounced Moore as, as being part of that. Now, if they're in here and why they better stay silent because if I find out that's who you are. You're getting kicked out. That's some. That's the thunder right there. That's the motherfucking thunder. I don't play. I I give people, you know, I give people the option. Humbly remove yourself from wire. Because if I find out, it's motherfucking thunder time. I'm not playing. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I am chief of my nation. And I don't give a fuck what nobody in YouTube says about, oh, more and any in the same. Uh-uh. No, it's not. It's not the same. More and Aboriginal Indian is not the fucking same. I don't care how you slice it. More ain't written nowhere on the Constitution that my ancestors drafted with the founding fathers. The only thing that only identities that's mentioned in the Constitution that still to this date has not been changed is Indians and Aboriginals. And you better motherfucking believe it. There's no more mentioned no fucking where. More is not a misnomer. It is not. And that's a fact. The uh, federal courts have clearly indicated, and I showed you federal law from, um, from, federal, from the district courts where they clearly spell out who a more is. And they are of Arab and Berber descent. Now, bust this. The Arab and Berber descent people, I ain't got no smoke with. I've never been disrespected by one Arab. Not one. And we got a lot of Arabs here in the north. Their gas stations, they're always very respectful to me. I've never in my life been disrespected by a Asian person, any Asian person of Asian descent, never once in my life. And I do business among these people here in the North. I go in their stores. I go in their gas stations. They're always respectful to me. When I go into Asian's nail salon, no matter what 
Asian. They are. There are many types of Asian people, Laos, Chinese, Japanese, um, Vietnamese. They're all respectful to me. All of them are respectful to me. For real. Real Africans that braid here, they're real respectful to me too. I'm not even going front. I don't hate them, but I know I'm not them. We're not the same people. We we have we share the same color, but they're not my people. And I keep it a buck. And I'm I'm keeping it a buck. For real. So I um understood when I left last night, I left with a clear head understanding. And and of who I've been surrounding myself with since I made peace in YouTube. You know, I made peace with Empress Hobo. I did. I made peace with Top Cats. I've been made peace with Chief Holiday. I made peace with Bap and his wife. I did. And I wanted to still stay that way. But that community are, is a group full of people that I don't affiliate with. And it's predominant over there. I don't care how you slice it. It's not the people that I affiliate with. And I never understood that. Really. See, I was looking at that community as all the people with the bell L's and the bays or the Moors. I never thought to think that some of them don't identify as Moors. They just simply identify as Indian or Aboriginal. Those are the ones who I thought was us, but it's not. And I begin to learn, okay, this person doesn't have L and Bay on the end of their name. But they're talking about this Morris UCC shit. And, but they, they, they're not, they don't have that more name. Because when I see Morris, I mean, I'm telling you, I was very um, um, naive to this. I thought just because Bay and L was not at the end of the name that they were, you know, oh, okay, they're just regular Indians like me. Granny told them they're Indian, they're going to be Indian. But we didn't fuck around with that more shit, that paperwork. And y'all know I always speak against that bullshit. It got so fucking bad in my nation that these more motherfuckers got mad because I would not write them uh, a motherfucking grant. Get the fuck out of here. You're not going to use me to um, uh, uh, take partake in your deceitfulness. I don't have a bad relationship with this government. And when I say government, I mean those very important agencies like the IRS and all that. Oh, hell no. I have a very clean and respectful relationship with these agencies. And I'm making sure that I don't affiliate myself with them people. When your ass is on the FBI uh, list for some bullshit, I can't fuck with you. I can't. I don't want no dealings with these people. I'm serious. Just the fact alone with Ellen Bay at the end of the name, is enough for me. And when I see this shit on the FBI site, I take heed to that. And I, I, I believe the FBI and CIA and all this shit. I don't want to be affiliated with those people. And I don't want to bring no, you know, scandalous and, and, and scamming harm to a growing tribe that we are in, a nation. So I have to remove myself from them. I don't want to be bothered with them. And I mean that shit. I don't want it. And I, I, I also noticed that another thing that I noticed that and I look back on, and I, I, I look back and I said, let me evaluate this shit because something's not right. If you're an Indian and an Aboriginal, there's no fucking more that's going to win no motherfucking debate. There's no way. Unless these people are the UCC fucking people. Okay? And that was the case yesterday. These are the same people that don't identify as more, but they run around with that tag name Aboriginal Indian. Them, them motherfuckers. Uh-uh. And see, Root Work, 
He's the one who really brought it to my attention. I stopped paying attention to the slandering he did, but woke up to it when he ever said, this is all done for A1. And then I put two and two together. And I said, oh, shit. These motherfuckers are the wrong Indians that I've been around. And I didn't know this being in Bap's um, chat room. I did not know this. Had I known, I would have never be hanging. I wait. Let me tell you something. I wasted a lot of time in that specific community. This has nothing to do with Bap at all in supporting that channel. But I didn't realize I was supporting what I, the fuck I was supporting. And because I didn't look at the Indians and Aboriginal as being different from me. Lo and behold, that UCC shit just hit different. And I'm like, oh, fuck no, that's not me. And so on that note, I said, okay, I get it. And I respectfully said to Root Word, you know, they said you won, you won. And these are a lot of people that identify with them. So, bro, you did win. And I apologize because I didn't know who the fuck I was around. And I'm telling you, I cried all night because now my eyes are opening to why, why. And it's just like, it's like all those repressed memories start racing to you and shit, racing in your head. And I'm like, this explains why a sister last year, when I went in Top Cat's chat room, because I stopped, you know, being in there. Because there was problem, but I pieced it up with him. And a sister in the chat room thought that I was a, 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 a more because she said, Oh, you are Aboriginal. We don't teach what they teach over here. And I got like a little nasty with her because I felt insulted. And then she said, Would you excuse me if you please don't curse at me? Because I didn't. But she didn't understand that I didn't know what the fuck I was into because I didn't know neither. So now I know. And when you know better, you do better. And then another thing that was very interesting in the debate, the debate was something about something totally fucking different. Okay? I don't even remember what the fucking title was. It was so fucked up on what they were debating about. Because in that particular debate, Root Word's whole fucking round was about me. And I'm like, I thought that was like, wait a minute. Is he proving Moors are from America? Or is he? are they supposed to be proving are Moors everywhere? I was fucking confused. But whether here and there, the segment started off with like his whole fucking first round talking about me. And not only me, he lists me. He missed Chief Holiday. He lists Empress Holbert. He lists um, uh, uh, Ab, Ab TV, who I don't even see anymore. Um, uh, uh, some other people. Uh, he lists Dane. And I'm like, why is his whole fucking first round about us? And I'm like, I don't know how anybody could fucking win on that level. You're talking about Indians, American Indians, people who identify as Indians. And I'm like, if he's doing that, then there's no way he's going to fucking win this shit. But that's, it was at that point after the thing was over, I'm like, he talked real bad about people who have very large audiences. Large audiences. Dang, God. I, I, I almost um passed out when A1 said that I have more people in my chat and live today, and that's a fucking lie. <laughs> Yo, he said that I had more people than Dane Calloway, y'all. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, I don't even have a quarter of the people that Dane Calloway have on his lives. Are you fucking serious? I don't even, I, I don't know, there's nowhere near. That's laughable. <laughs> First of all, I think he got his count mixed up, good brother. 
I know how L, he's got his count mixed up real bad. First of all, the Callaways got like four goddamn channels. Each one of them basically, I guess, near maybe a quarter million. <laughs> how the fuck do I have that many people viewing me? <laughs> Some of Dane's lives, it varies on what channel he goes on. Some of his lives be like 5,000 to 6,000 people watching. It depends on what channel they the Callaways log on. And they stream, you know? I uh, There's no fucking way. And I also clearly said, I'm not in no competition with the Callaways. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, let me do the reality check for folks. When I first started my channel, Dane came on my channel and I, I only had like 10 or 12 subscribers. I'm serious. When Dane left my channel, I had damn near a thousand fucking subscribers. And I, he said, I'll never forget that day. He said, you are right now. How, how's that working for you? I literally did. I got my first huge set of subscribers from Dane. And to this date, everybody except probably my political people, because they don't know them. My political people is a different life than I lived here in Connecticut. Everybody that subscribed to my channel is subscribed to Dane's channel. We have the same audience. Facts. We do. Minus my political people, minus my political people, I have a duplicate of Dane's chat room. <laughs> That's what you got to know. So why would I be in competition with the man that helped me in this bitch? Get subscribers. Facts. I got way more subscribers from Dane than I got from affiliating on any channel in YouTube. And that's a fact. Anything else is what I've grown from wire. And that's a fact. All the moors. Let me tell you something. I could talk shit now. I got 14,200 motherfucking subscribers. And that's from all my political people, mostly from uh, uh, um, Twitter. So I can talk shit now. I could say all the more is unsubscribe from this bitch. I'm a bad motherfucking. Look, I'm so proud of my motherfucking self right now. Look, all the mores. If your last name is with L and that base shit, unsubscribe from this bitch. I never needed y'all. How many is it y'all about y'all subscribe to here? About five? <laughs> I don't fuck with them people. And that's a fact. And, you know, I really hope, you know, if Dane's watching, because I know he still watches my channel, because I still be in his chat. Nobody can't see me, but I be up in that bitch. I be pretending that people can see me. <laughs> but. I, if anyone owes him a public apology, I do. I do. I owe the Callaways a public apology. I really do. Because I didn't understand things the way I do now. And you learn. It took me a year. It did. And as far as rumors of dividing community, uh-uh, you a fucking lie. This bitch was divided before I came in YouTube. It was divided when I came in YouTube. Period. Point blank. When I came in YouTube, there was a lot of motherfucking Indians shutting them motherfucking Moors down. So, them motherfuckers ain't never really got along. The real, real Indians. Seriously. I don't see a lot of people that that are Indians fiddling around and, well, I don't even know of no more channels. Moors channels. 
Um, the only more channels I know of is A1 to keep it a buck. I don't know of any other more channels. And all of those people I notice are in BAPS chat room. A lot of those more people. They're in BAPS and, and, and BAPS Aboriginal Powers channel. I never fucked with them ever, the women or the men. And I still don't, and I don't want to. I don't want to have no backdoor conversations with them, no meetings with them. I don't want to join hands and forces with them. Hell no. I never wanted to be with those people. I don't like them. I don't like their lifestyle. I don't like how they go about doing things. I don't care whether they're MST, A, whatever the fuck you call it, or uh, LGBOPM, whatever fuck they are, individual or uh, uh, Noble Jew Ali, more Science Temple affiliated or not. I want no business with them motherfuckers. And the only reason why I was so strong in BAP's chat room is because I thought these people were Indians. I don't know them outside of the L Bay shit. Give me a one if y'all can understand that. Give me a one, please. And I even tell Chief Holiday this. Yo, no matter what, and y'all know I always listen to Chief. But I this is I even disagree with Chief on this. It's just misnomer name. More in uh Indian. No, no, Chief. And I've said that from day one. And I stand on that shit. So um now I see. I I see I didn't know it. All this time from last year when I made peace with Bat, I thought I was in a community of Indians like me that saw the world like me, that saw the world like they. Okay. I and I I'm like, I know I don't affiliate with Moors. I don't. I don't break bread with them motherfuckers. And I'm keeping it real. Yeah, Enoch, I don't think it's a misnomer. <laughs> so that's where I was. I was really sad last night. And, you know, I, I was. I was really, really sad because I, I'm laying back and I'm just, just thinking about this shit. So I do owe, and I'm going to say it publicly, I owe the, pub, the, the, the Callaways a real apology. I do. And I apologize to both Dane Calloway and Tanisha, his wife, publicly, and his family, including his mother. I didn't know who I was affiliated with. I thought I was with Indians until I learned. And it, I, you know began being excited to go to see BAPS live and I even promoted him with the debate league and stuff because I really like how BAP um, handles uh, the d- debate leagues. He's I think he's excellent at it. But uh, I-, I was staying close with BAP because he said I don't identify as more. I'm not a more. So I believe him. So I believe he's the same Indian as me. You know, so that's why I stayed close with him and Rocky after I made peace because I liked them. I thought they were funny and they're a fun couple. But I truly apologize. I'm real hurt about this shit, y'all. This shit got me fucked up. I didn't know. And um, listen, I be watching my my my, my boy. My 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 boy. I watch him all the time, Dane. And I gave a segment. On proof that, and y'all remember this. Give me a one if you remember this the other day when I gave the segment. Matter of fact, it was the last, yeah, two um, two segments ago, I think, that I was able to prove to you in the Constitution that Indian and Aboriginal was interchangeably and understood by the United States to be one and the same. Do y'all remember me giving that segment the other day? I showed you the Constitution, that 500-something page. 
Oh, thanks, Lady Moon. Can y'all please give me a one if you was listening in on that segment when I said, um, Aber when I was able to prove that Aboriginal and Indian is used interchangeably. And I also showed you on that Indian and Negro is used interchangeably from the tribes. And I also showed you that Indians is the Negro from the tribe. So we got the Constitution standing on this shit, and we got the tribe standing on this shit. Call them, fight out, call them whatever you want. But their reports to the government, and I know everybody's seen it. And then lo and behold, yesterday, they made a video or the day before yesterday. It was like, how the fuck are we doing the same segments? Because I did mine before him and then I seen him. He came out and gave his lecture that Aboriginal and Indian is one and the same. Can y'all give me a one? And I know y'all, every everybody in here are Dane fans like me. Did you see that segment the other day that Dane did, the Callaways or Dane? I watched it twice. Usually when I watch Dane's segments, I watch them either two times or three times. And that's a fact. He did that same shit. I'm glad. I'm honored. But I, if he is watching, I'm apologizing to him and his wife. You know, and I hope they reach out to me. And if you're out there, Dane, if you could come on the panel, you know, um, if anybody out there is part of his team, 13%, if you could reach out to him and ask him if he could join me on the panel, I would appreciate it. I got the old, the other email address where they once respond, but I'm I'm just busy on my um, live stream. <laughs> Oh, hold on, y'all. I got a text message. Give me a minute so I can come back and finish talking, y'all. I want to just take, like, a little break. It won't be long, I promise. <laughs>
right, my people. So I'm going to turn my camera on in a minute. I just had to respond to an email that I just got from one of my tribe members. Um, but I, again, um, like like I said, Bap told me he's not a Moor, but he's cool with um, Moors, you know, because they cool with him and shit. And um, uh, I believe he do, does believe uh, Indian and Moor and Aboriginal and Moor are one and the same, and that's where we disagree at. I disagree, but I don't hold that against him. I still love Bap as a nephew, and I have nothing negative to say about him. And he has said, I'm not a Moor. I'm an Aboriginal. I'm a fucking wild Indian. He, I even got a hat that says wild Indian. So, um, you know, and, 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 and it is what it is. So I, I, I found myself angry every time <laughs> and and this is a fact i'm gonna tell you but i never took heed to the signs that i was getting sometimes the ancestors throw signs you know before you they do and you don't see them because you don't want to look and you're not paying attention when the ancestors throw signs before your eyes and God, you are blinded. That means you're blinded when you don't see it. And that's a fact. And I wasn't paying attention to the signs. And um, that's a fact. I was not paying attention to the signs. Um, I was, um, yeah, uh, listen, people that I am discomfort with in my community, I need y'all moderators to block these people out. You have an option to block them out for 24 hours. So if you could please block Rob Noxious out for 24 hours, I'd appreciate it, y'all moderators. Please get him out of here. This is an American Indian, Aboriginal. YouTube channel. It is. It is. Everybody's not welcome here. They're not. And this is a fact. I'm saying this shit today and I mean this shit. Everybody is not welcome in my YouTube channel from this point going forward. I'm going to tell you the ones that are not welcome in my chat room and they should unsubscribe they really should oh yeah i gotta do that in a little while they should really unsubscribe from my channel all moors mers moves mouths monks meats moves maps this you should unsubscribe from my channel today i'm, I'm telling you that i'm some real shit now all the people out in the YouTube world, um, like in the Twitter world, in the Facebook world, whether you're Asians or any other race of people, I open warm arms to you. That's in Central America, South America, even up in Canada. You're all welcome to my channel. I don't have any problems with you at all. And I'm making that a factual statement. I'm getting rid of what made me angry and it also kept me away from doing a lot of work in my tribe. I'm so behind and shit, it's pathetic. And I, if I pull myself, I gotta put myself back in the position I was in when I was actively doing a lot of work that I need to do. Things such as genealogies, I just like push that shit to the side. Because I wanted to be in BAP's channel supporting and helping. I thought I was helping. And I was, but didn't realize who I was helping. So I'm at uh, on that note, and I I also found myself. This was a journey, man, a fucking journey. And a fucking bamboozle and like a fucking infiltration. 
um, I found myself angry in the chat room because I'm like, why is it that when I come in this fucking chat room, one of these fucking moors is always fucking with me. I don't even like these bastards. Why are they bothering me? Why? Every time I come in the chat room and shoot up fire or send back a cash app, I got a fucking more something with an L or a fucking bay at the end of their name. Just fucking with me. And I know they got accents too. Some of the motherfuckers got accents that are in the chat. That's how powerful energy is. They don't have, I don't have to hear them talking. When they say something to me in the chat room, I automatically know they got an accent. That's how I know I'm a goddess in this bitch. Because I, when I don't know you and you send me a text, you're, you're fucking with me while I'm in the chat room enjoying myself laughing at a particular bill that BAP is having. I'm like, why are these foreign motherfuckers bothering me? And I even I even go into the extreme to start blocking them so I couldn't see them when I come in the chat room. The only time I they would know or see me is if they went on a panel. Because when you're on a panel in StreamYard, it's a different service. They could see you in the chat. But when they come back in that bitch, they can't see me. I got hit and learned how to do that. And it helped for a minute. But I said, you know, after yesterday of learning, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm in the wrong motherfucking community because I don't know. I don't do more channels. I've never, ever been to an a seer, a seer, Duke of Tear, Ooh, that guy that's wrapped up like Alibaba and um, Aladdin's Lamb and shit. I've never been to one of his segments. I don't even watch his videos. I don't watch that guy. Um, what's his name? Taj Tariq Bay. Now he's a nice man. He really is. But I don't watch their channels. I don't, I don't watch their shows. So I'm again, like yesterday was the real wake up call for me. And I know it's the ancestors because I know the ancestors like Thunder, you got a lot of fucking work to do in your damn tribe, and you're neglecting it. And I do. I really do. But I was having so much fun, I didn't even know who the fuck I was dealing with. But I knew there was tension when I come in YouTube. And I always tell y'all, y'all, I don't fuck with women. Well, they're the reason why. Serious. I step back. I step back. Mostly, predominantly, there's men on my panel vibing with me, not women. And most of those women be more women, Moorish women, that shit. I don't fuck with them. Now, I got a lot of women in my white tribe. I fucks with all my sisters in my tribe. But these chicks, they hate, they hate some hating ass chicks. Because my thing is this. If you're so powerful, get a fucking YouTube channel. I when I do my redirects, yo, I I did uh, when I do redirects, the people that I do redirects that that are watching me, they be like, oh fuck no, and they log right off immediately if they subscribed, they're unsubscribing. I didn't know. All right, he's back in here again, y'all. Let me see if I could block him out for good. Ban user in their comments. Okay. So I banned him in his comments. And what I'm going to do is um, a fresh thing. Because I don't know who the fuck is a more and who got a wrench in my chat room. So y'all do not panic. I'm going to go and delete a lot of wrenches. From in my chat because I'm learning that people were being blocked but you can only hide a person from my channel but I'm going to go in there and remove all wrenches facts and then give them back so if you see your wrench gone don't panic some of you will still have your wrench 
I got to do this. I got to clean house because I knew I was fucking with over there. And if I don't have a wrench in somebody's chat room that I go and visit, you're not going to have a wrench in my chat room. I'm getting rid of that shit. Facts. Seriously. But what I say to this, I, if app wants to, con, you know, app power wants to continue to me, be, him calling me auntie, I have no squams with that. He said he's not more. So I respect that. But the unfortunate part is I I need peace in my life and I I, I want peace in YouTube. So I'm I'm not comfortable around Morris. I don't like being around them and I don't like affiliating myself with them. And I will not do business with them ever. In our nation, when we build our units, they're not even allowed to rent from us. And I will make my chiefs known. Yo, uh uh. I don't want any, you just don't know how bad I don't want anything to do with them people. Um, I'm not going to nobody's fucking channel and getting on their platforms to um so they could get some content going and arguing. You got motherfuckers that really want you to come on a platform and argue with bitches. I'm not doing that. So you could kiss my ass. It's never going to happen. You got motherfuckers that hate me and they send their little dusty, funky bitches in here after me. And they get up in here like they want to have a communication with me just to yell and scream. No, y'all bitches can stay back because I know who you are, your energy. I'm telling you, I'm a goddess bitch up in this motherfucker. And I feel energy. Y'all stanking Moorish bitches ain't coming in here. I don't care who likes you. I don't care who think you're sweet and stupid. I don't want to deal with them. So I want them to stay out. My This is not a Morris chat room. It's not. This is not a Morris community. This is a motherfucking Indian community in YouTube. Aboriginal. Not Moors. I mean that shit. So. And knowing that BAP's chat has a lot of um, moors in it, I said, I don't want to be up in here getting upset. I don't want to go in there under no fake YouTube so I can enjoy myself and not be disturbed. So effective today, I'm just not going to go in that community no more because I'd rather have peace. Maybe it'll be peaceful in there without me there. Maybe it's my presence that fucks people up. And I don't want to fuck up nobody's day just by showing up in the chat. So I'm going to refrain from going in there. And I can't do no more redirects because nobody redirects and stay in there. They don't. And I noticed the difference. When I did a redirect to Empress Holbert, they stayed in there. When I did a redirect to Brother Sanchez channel, they fucked everybody fucking stayed. And when I redirect at night, um, I redirect them to this Asian channel, Chinese channel, that plays this music. It's just instrumental. So you could go to sleep. I listen to that shit at night. Willie used to laugh, but then his ass got a toothache, right? And I turned that little music on when he took his medicine for his toothache. And it, it put his ass right out to sleep. They, they have pictures of, like, Bart Simpson smoking a bong. Oh, Bridget, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate this love. I do. Thank you, love. I love you, Sister Bridget. I love you, Sister Frida. I love y'all for this. I do. They have this Asian channel, and Bart Simpson smoking a bong, him or sometimes it's Homer. But it's all music. And... It be like 5,000 people that listen to this channel for bedtime. And we all fall asleep at the same time. It's predominantly Asians, Asians, Chinese people. And we be in there saying goodnight, everybody. And we leave that on all night. Willie ass was sleep. Oh. Because it's a soothing, it's so soothing. And 
it 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 relieves stress this music that they play and yeah sammy i'm you know what i'm a um email y'all that's <laughs> I'm going to email the whole tribe, everybody, and wire this um, Asian channel where they just play music. It's bedtime. You're going to see it because Bart Simpson is sleeping and his stomach music moving is so cute. Um, I'll, I'll find it. Remind me before I go. Matter of fact, let me just put it in the chat room. Give me a minute, y'all. Cause I'm subscribed to it and this shit, it, it, the music just sounds so good. I even listen to this station when I'm not listening to jazz, soft jazz while I'm at work. Um, I'm sleep. I, I'm, I'm listening to them at night when it's time to go to bed. And, um, here's the channel right here. Always. When you're listening to it, you want to listen to, did this motherfucker keep yeah thank you y'all keep blocking him and select 24 hours let me block it ban it from the comments and i'll go in the back and keep blocking him out um this is um paste this is the um channel i'm gonna pin it to the top when y'all get ready to go to bed at night don't put it on in the day while you at work, I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it because um, you're going to fall asleep at your desk. This music is for going to sleep at night. It's away from hip hop. It's so relaxing. And what they, I can tell you in their chat room, what they don't like. They don't like you throwing up emojos and stuff. I learned their culture in there. And they're very nice to me. They're Asians. And they don't like you to throw up emojis and stuff like that. When I go in there, I just communicate in the manner in which they're comfortable with. And I just start off, you know, when I go in there, I, I'll just say what they say to me when they know I'm in there. I say, they, they immediately say, um, hey, Chief Thunder or Sister Bethy, would, however I go in there. I hope you have an amazing and prosperous life. They always say that when someone enters. And, you know, hit the subscribe button. When you, when you go to that channel at night before you go to bed, look for the one that always says that they're live. And you're going to see how many people in there is sleep. Because for the most part, everybody's sleep listening to that music. So I listen to it at night. Willie used to let his ass don't laugh no more. He don't. He listens to it and he goes right to sleep. And I do too. It soothes me. And you'll know what I mean when you listen to it tomorrow. Smoke reloaded. I hope I, I hope it's all for positivity. I do. But it's going to be, uh, I could tell you a sad thing that I won't be visiting BAP's community because I don't no longer want to get in fights and arguments and disputes, disputes with Moors. Because number one, I shouldn't be around them. They're not healthy for me. So that's the only reason why I'm not going over there anymore. You know, not because I don't love BAP, because I do love BAP on some real shit. And I hope him and his wife will continue to be my good friends and I hope that they um come to our powwow. Some days I'll listen to his channels but I I'll be in the back. You won't see me cuz I don't want to disturb moors. I don't. I just want to stay away from him peacefully and humbly. Remove myself. And that's what I'm doing today. And by doing that it's going to free up a lot of me so that I could really do more, not to say that I haven't been doing, but it's going to allow me to get back on track of very important things that I want to do in our nation and that only I can take care of them. A lot of our tribal members are extremely busy and have family lives. A lot of them have businesses 
And then a lot of them work crazy hours and can't do a lot of the things that I do and why. And I'm speaking to a lot of y'all right now. Love y'all. Oh, damn. They did hit the like button. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. So it's going to help me be more active. And because I was going in YouTube and other platforms when I'm not live to get rest away from work because this is burnout. I don't want to put myself in a hospital for doing burnout tribal work. Tribal work is a lot of work. And so that's what I was doing. I was running away from some of my responsibilities, trying to find an escape. And for a minute, this escape has worked for me. But I can save a lot of my little change by not supporting channels because channels don't support me. Really. Other YouTube content creators do not support my channel like I do theirs. No one, keeping it buck, comes and hit my um, cash app. They don't. It's laughable to them. And then it's okay because the ancestors still found a way for me to grow. But I can tell you today, Wyatt is lit up in this bitch today. But um, now in my chat room, my tribal members and some really great friends do support me. I'm talking about um, YouTube content creators. Like, I've never got a cash app from other content creators that I personally and privately send cash apps to. I never got a um, cash app from A1. Let's see this. He's coming in here again. He got like, thank you, y'all. Y'all on it. Good. But I'm going to go back behind you and get him out of here. He has all these different channels. Get him out. So he's timed out. He's out of here. And I'll just, what I'll do is all these uh, IDs he have, I'll go and put them in. Um... In the back, I, like I said, when I get off of here, I'm going to remove all wrenches and I'm automatically going to give those or leave those in there who I know can keep them. <clears throat> so anyway, I won't be visiting that community like I have been actively for really pretty much a whole fucking two years. And a lot two years is a lot of time that I wasted. From doing some very important work. I kept putting it off because I was so tired. I was looking for an escape from when I get off of my day job and I don't want to go live on my own channel. And um I don't. And um I I used to do go to two channels, um, App Powers, three App Powers, Chief Holidays, and Empress Hobart's. And names are, oh, I had so many choices to choose from. Chief Holiday's channel is not filled with mores. There are some in there, but they're not overloaded with mores. But I really didn't, don't, I don't go, I only really go in Chief Holiday's channel now is when he comes on on his channel. But he don't go live on his own personal channel no more. He don't. So I normally don't go in, in the channel. I really don't. But they have a nice channel going on. Cuddy has a, a channel. But I don't really fluence that. Um, I'm frequent that channel. There's quite a few moors in there. And I don't deal, again, I don't deal with moors. I don't want to talk to them at all. I don't want nothing to do with them. So I pretty much, only time I really go on a panel over in that community is when Chief is live. But I have to keep paying attention whether it's Cuddy's live or Chief's live. If Chief's live, I go on. I don't know if he lost his channel. He just gave up on it. Oh, I like Top Cats. I never, I never had anything against Top Cats. Um, that was with Caramel stuff, really, because I don't believe I didn't. I had an issue with that Black European stuff. I didn't understand it, but I go to I pieced it up with Top Cat. But to be perfectly honest, that was the only issue. Back then, but I never like got on um 
uh, Top Cat's panel and cursed him out and said, I, we was never on that level. And that's a fact. Never. Matter of fact, before Top Cat's and, I, and anybody over there can attest to this, before Top Cat's really had a channel real strong, he was in Dubai. And a lot of the sisters, we, we used to um, um, go and Zoom at night. This is before they, like, established the BCU and, you know, he changed up his platform and grew. This is way before that. We used to go, a lot of the women over there, and for bitches to say I don't fuck with women, no. Top Cat's chat room was loaded with women. And those women in there, we used to go in Zoom at night. This is before Top Cat started his channel. We used to go in Zoom. This is, we're talking four years ago. We used to go in Zoom and watch movies at night and drink wine. This is why I told people I don't drink at all because I, I, I'm not a drinker. So we, we would go in there. We, before Cuddy and hey Cuddy, how you doing? Even started this movie watching stuff. We did this like four years ago, and there's women still in Top Cat's channel. They're part of BCU team. They built that up with them. They could tell you, oh yeah, um, we used to go and Zoom with Sister Bethy at night, and we used to watch movies. And that's a fact. We used to have some fucking fun. It'd be dudes up in there. And uh, and us and we would I would um we would come in Zoom my Zoom and we would watch movies we fucking have fun I ain't lying we had fun we would be watching movies because Willie used to work late um and one day he came in and I had one of those little personalized wine bottles I said all right I'll try it because I didn't want to feel like a you know. Like I couldn't fit in. And well, he came in the room, right? Because I had the bedroom door closed. <laughs> and we was all watching a movie. I forgot what movie that was. Maybe Sharice that's over there. Trees could remind me what movie that was we watched. I forgot what the movie was. I think, Sammy, you was in there too. And we was watching a movie. I forgot what movie it was. But we watched the movie, right? But some nights we didn't watch movies. We would play music, us, and we'd be dancing. And Willie came, bus came in the room, and I, we was dancing. <laughs> and so, cuz I had to by then drunk the whole bottle of the wine. <laughs> and Willie walked in. <laughs> Willie walked in and said, What the fuck is going on in here? We was dancing and stuff. <laughs> I had like a real buzz from this wine because I said, ooh, y'all, I'm hot. It's it's hot in here. So I snatched my wig off. I was, so hot. I was like, oh, it's time for me to get off this bitch. <laughs> but we had a really great relationship. This is before Top Cats had built the um, BCU. So a lot of those women are no longer there from what, you know, I hear of, but there are some that's still there. And um, Treese was one of them. We we used to all be in the damn Zoom. Um, I, I have to to look in there and see, because he has a lot of new people. But back then, it, it was a lot. And it was nothing but us women in there. Um, but I never had no... Um, crumbs with Top Cats. That it was. It was when the Black European stuff came out. But I'm over that. I'm learning about it. and I'm over it. But I used to always hit uh, me and Willie. We used to hit Top Cats. Um, Cash App. We was cool. We used to be laughing and shit. I used to talk to him on the telephone. I don't have his number anymore. I I lost contact. And plus, I got new cell phones. But I used to call Top Cats on the damn phone. So I don't know what people don't get it twisted. Because I don't forget who I fucks with. And I still fucks with him. And he's right. I do not. I have not bought his book. 
And I felt like really, really bad when he said that to me. He said, no, Sister Bethy, you don't support me. You ain't buy. And he's right. So I'm going to buy that goddamn book. I am. I'm going to buy his book because he didn't never do nothing to me. I've just been so busy, Top Cats. That's all. I'm going to keep it a buck. I've been so busy. And a lot's been going on in my life. I got a personal life, too. But I'm going to go in there and buy that book because I do need to buy it. Because I, um, I, I don't care how you slice it. When our people do something great like that and write books, I feel we should be supported. Top Cats is Indian. And I'm supporting the Indian. I should be supporting the Indian. Fuck that. So I am going to buy that book and he's going to know because I'm going to go in this chat room and say, I bought my book, nigga. <laughs> I bought all of Dane books. I am not outdated. I got all of them. I brought Ali Muhammad's book because I went and showed that shit and I brought his book. So Ali Muhammad don't be starting no junk with me because I got my book. I came live and showed that I bought Ali Muhammad because I love Ali Muhammad for real. And he's not a more. He's um, um, Islam or I, I can't remember which one. I don't think he belongs to any one, any one um, of the Muslim organizations. Don't care. But like I always told y'all, I fucks with Muslim Nation of Islam brothers. I do. I do because I love Malcolm. And that's a fact. Now, Ali Muhammad, I don't know why he gets so much hate. I don't. I don't understand it. Um, he's not a Moor. I never heard him identify as a Moor. But I like him. I think he's sweet. And I think he's intelligent. But um, like I said, I uh, YouTube content creators, I've hit people up with cash apps. Nobody hit me up with cash apps like I've done them. They don't. And that's okay. That's really, really okay. Because I'm not in need of desperation of money. I'm really not. I'm not. And I know now even more, and I'm even strong, and I already knew this anyway. Wyatt has my back, and that's a fact. If I were to be in a crazy crisis, my nation would take care of me. But I don't ask them for that. I really don't. I mean, one time in four years, I've ever turned to my tribal brothers and sisters for help once, just once. And it's been, damn, the years is going by. 20, 20, five years now. And I only asked them once because I don't need it. I, I do work. We all have um, our um, personal jobs. We, we, we have our all, all of us members. And I make a decent salary, but I'm not wealthy. I'm not. I am not wealthy and I never have been. And I never portray to be. Never. But um, yeah, y'all, it's shit hit real. I, I really, really, really have to be. Um, oh, thank you so much. Honor for the cash app. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, the tribe said that they're, you know, gonna start doing these. Um, um, support the uh challenge stuff. I'll let them handle all that. I, I just like doing the content and lecturing because it's what I do. If it's one thing I can do, I can give lectures. I really, really can. It's something that my um college professors at my undergrad school told me. They always told me this that I'm a great lecturer and I deliver great with my presentations and they told me that I, a lot of people don't have those strong points I do and I'm it took a lot for me to really believe that um, my daughter told me that I was very good she always told me even when she was little mommy you teach me math different than what my school teach me you teach me so I could understand why because a lot of our school, in a lot of our schools, they teach our children how to do it, but they don't explain to them what it means. And I was that way with Mookie, and she was very good. She's very good with math. You can't cheat cheat that little heifer out of no money. <laughs> she might have sucked in a couple of her other classes, but you can't cheat that little heifer out of no damn money. 
with a little hustling ass. Thank you, but it's a sad day and a happy day all at the same time. I'm, you know, not going to frequent that particular community because it's not healthy for me over there. It's not. It upsets me. I try to enjoy segments and I, and I can't. It, it's too much on me. And now I know who I was affiliated with and didn't understand. I didn't understand what anyone was trying to tell me. But last night was the biggest wake up call. It really was. Um, and when I laid back, I, I could hardly even sleep. But I looked back and thought about a lot of things. I'm like, well, when I go in certain chat rooms, I don't get this type of treatment. I go in, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. When, when I go in, I love you too. I really do. This is why I'm making this change. I'm truly making this change. And I mean this from my heart. But Last night really woke me up. And I, again, this has nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with App Power. I still love App Power. I, I'm, I'll be his auntie forever till death. But it's just a community that I can't deal with. I, it, it's not healthy for me or my health, especially at my age. I might look like I'm in my early, late 30s, early 40s, but I'm not. I am a 57-year-old woman, you know? Yes, black don't crack or whatever you want to do, but I'm 57 and I do look good and I'm proud because when I was young, my they would say the same things. And I remember this. I, they would say these same things to my mother. And I always thought my mother was so beautiful, but I was angry with my mother because she cheated a lot. She was a hot mess. She was a real hood chick. A real hood chick, but she was fine and she dressed her ass off, but she looked very young and um, I'm 57. Um, I'm 57 and I be having fun and I don't want to be one of them 65 year old ladies with no fucking life up on YouTube with young niggas. That shit ain't cool, man. I don't want to be like that. When I turn 65, I still got a ways to go. I got damn near 10 years before I, you know, hit that air, air, air um age. So I'm still in the game. As far as I'm concerned, I'm X generation. I'm not a boomer. So, but there's other things that I can do and ways that I want to spend my life. And one of the major things that I'm going to do is take my brown Indian ass over to Dane's channel and become a part of the 13% because that's some Indian shit. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to um, recommend it. Now, I'm not going to force, but they probably already are. Because like I said, and people don't get this shit, a lot of the people in my chat and and my tribe are from Dane's channel. What part of this you don't understand? So if you can't pull them from Dane, you can't pull them from me. Why is not going nowhere? We're locked in. I look at this as a big, fat lesson. Lesson learned. When you know better, you do better. But I am going to send an email out to the entire, I have my mass emailing list to make sure that they register for the 13%. And that's a fact because I'm taking my big ass over there when I go get comfortable and put my footsies on. And I'm going to um, rejoin the 13% and learn how to use that system. I, I, don't, I get so confused when I get in there. Somebody have to teach me how to do that shit because I don't know how to do it. I got to affiliate myself with Indians and Indian business. And that's a fact. And also, I got to fucking find Topcast number. I know I had his number. I had everybody fucking number. I got lost in the motherfucking sauce. But the ancestors redirect me. They teach you. The ancestors truly do teach you. You know, wait, what, what the hell are you doing? What you doing there? <laughs> and they, 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 
and the ancestors check your ass at the door. That's a fact. And I noticed that when the ancestors check me at the door, all right, that's a, a, a lesson learned. And this even happened, right? When they say God is going to check you at the door, when you know when it's the Christian stuff, they do check you at the door. And after you humble yourself to the ancestors' correction, all the blessings come to you that you've been trying to get to and that shit just pop up. The blessing. It just poop, just like that. And I'm like, I've been trying to find strategies on how to get this and how to get that. And all of a sudden, the ancestors checked my ass at the door. I cried about it because I didn't think nobody loved me. And boom, there's the blessing. And I'm sitting here trying to plan and organize. And I have to remember this. One thing about the, our natural creator, God, and I'll never forget this shit. One thing about our natural creator, God, is if you want to make God laugh, tell him you got a motherfucking plan. I was told that. And that shit is some real funny, real shit. You want to make God laugh, tell God you got a plan. I Think about that, y'all. Think about it. Anytime you want to make God laugh, tell him you got a plan because he's the master planner. Facts. I believe that there is a God. I believe that there is a higher creator. I do. And I believe that he uses man to manifest anything that we manifest. Use anybody. He is the whole... Um, He's the whole master planner. I, I really believe that. And I believe he's sent in because he has control over the devil. I really believe this shit. He send them to you. <clears throat> I really believe that he do. I believe this shit even before the Bible. He will send a demon or demons amongst you to see if you're going to go with them or him. When I shut shit down and say I ain't fucking with you no more, God knows, the ancestors knows that I'm not going with them motherfuckers because I know them the same motherfuckers that's been battling the creator since the beginning of time on this soil. They've always been in competition. Look at these motherfuckers. They don't even have no YouTube channel. They go to and from trying to see who they could deceive. And it's just like their Bible. Yo, and I start thinking about it. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's their book. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Some of these damn scriptures be true, though. They travel to and for to see who they could deceive by. They out to kill, steal, destroy. And they're doing that in YouTube. That's what they remind me of, that verse. Now, I told y'all I read that whole Bible when I was on punishment a whole bunch of times when I was a little girl because I was a very, very good reader and comprehender. I was very good at reading and comprehension in school. And when my mother would put me on punishment for like the whole summer and shit, I would be in the room reading the Bible. I read it like that whole Bible so many times. And I, to the point where, you know, when you read a book for so long, you remember the damn scriptures. You remember the actions of the scriptures, especially about the Satan guy that they mentioned. And that's how I see Moors traveling to and fro. Them motherfuckers don't really got no channel. So they travel around people who are real Indians like me and you and believe in this way. And they befriend them. And I think that's how I got lost in the motherfucking sauce because I thought I was around among the same people as me. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't do they bullshit. Hell no. Don't Look, FBI, CIA, if y'all watching, don't put me on that motherfucking list. Y'all know better. Don't do it because I, 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 I don't fuck around with that paper shit. Don't put Sister Bethy and Y and on that shit. We ain't no terrorist people. Fuck that. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. So I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to stay over in my lane again. It's sad, but if Bap wants to visit me or communicate with me, it'll either be by phone or if he visit me over here. I can't redirect my people to that community because it's a community that I'm totally against. So I'm not directing them nowhere that they are at. I don't fuck with them. And I don't. And another thing I hate is when motherfuckers try to get me to talk to somebody or have a conversation with somebody. No. No. I am 57 years old. And when I say I don't want to talk to somebody, listen to me. Especially if you damn near my child age. Don't do that shit to me. Because Mookie know that her ass 31. You come in and trying to ask mommy to do something. And I say no. No is no. Don't ask me no goddamn more. It's I'm going to smack you in your damn mouth. Because guess what? I got smacked in my mouth by my mother. I got a back smack by that heavy hand wench. Smack me right in my lip. My damn lip went back. And when I had teeth on the bottom, that shit went way to the back. My lip and everything with the smack. So, no. When I say no, no. Stop you um, um, X generations. I'm the mommy age. When I say no, don't try to make. I'm not looking for friends. I don't need friends. I don't need it. And you have to understand that. I'm comfortable with my nation. I got a whole bunch of nation full of sisters. And brothers, I don't need friends. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all, for real. But hopefully, I, I really want um, Dane to contact me. I think he, Dane, know if anything about Dane and Tanisha. Okay, I'm talking about the Callaways. They know my heart. And he know I didn't know. That's one thing. And I publicly apologize. Oh! Sharice, if my mother was living, oh, Sharice, she would have turned. We born in the same year. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. May she rest in peace and heaven is, may she be up there with the ancestors enjoying herself. 57 is so young. We still young and we still in the game. I just don't fuck with young niggas. Hell no. Mm -mm. You got to be 50 and up. Mm -mm. I told y'all that whole story. I ain't going there no more. But uh, I'm so sorry, baby. I really am. But hopefully Dane will reach out to me. I'm going to try that email again. But I'm going to join the 13%. So if y'all listening, y'all got to unblock me. And unblock me in the chat room again. Because I was... In the chat room, I was so fucking, I was like, Willie, he unblocked me. I could get it. I could see everybody could see me. Next thing I know, something happened. I don't know what the fuck happened. And it's probably because I went back in that chat room again. <laughs> and I got blocked again. In the same day. Damn. Yeah. That shit was her. I got blocked, unblocked. And had some fun times chatting. And then I got blocked again in the same day. <laughs> I did. I said, this is brutal. Who does this? But I still be going in there typing in the chat room like I make believe. I know how to fantasize. I fantasize like... Just so you know, Dane and Tanisha, I fantasize when I'm in the chat room. I, I fantasize that everybody can see my messages when you are live. Just so you know this. So you would know this. Remember how when y'all was a little kids and we'd be sitting in the chair like this? I'm saying that to Dane and Tanisha. Just so y'all know, I still be in the chat. I don't care who don't see me. I just make believe people can see me. Now, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. But I have a lot of work to do in my nation, y'all. So I'll be going live on my channel. Only. Only on my channel. At this point. 
and it's for the best. Now, am I going to watch other channels? Yeah, I'm going to still watch them, but I will not. There will be no activity for me in the chat. Now, there is one channel that I ain't never going to stop going to, and that's Bro Sanchez channel. That's my nigga if you don't get no bigger. And that's a motherfucking fact. That's my nigga. So when I do um, do redirects, I will redirect to his channel because I love Brother Sanchez. That's my heart right there. I've been with Sanchez for five fucking years before I even had a YouTube channel. I just want to put that out there. Before I had a YouTube channel, I used to call Brother Sanchez up on the phone on his line. And he would immediately know that I, and I'm old enough to be Brother Sanchez's mother. He like Mookie Ear and shit. He knew when I, of all the thousands of people that would be calling his phone, he knew when I would be calling that bitch because he would see the area code 203 or 860. Yep. He see my area code. And I used to call him Brother Sanchez because he was threatening to leave. And he, I don't forget shit. Brother Sanchez is real hurting. Um, really, really, really hurting. And he was threatening to leave and threatening to go live in the fucking woods somewhere. And me not, you know, educated about Indian history. I said, now that's now I think back. That's some fucking Indian shit he just said. He said he was going to live in the goddamn woods somewhere and he ain't coming back. <laughs> So I immediately got through, and I couldn't believe it. I got through the line. I said, no, don't leave. Why you want to leave? And then we got to talking and stuff. <laughs> you know, you talk to your, your your girlfriend and your boy on the phone, and y'all be, he forgot all about it. He had a fucking segment, and we were just talking. <laughs> I'm auntie when it comes to brother Santos. I'm a fucking auntie. I'm TT. And um, when I... I, when I do my redirects to his channel, none of the people in the um that's in my political community, none of them leave because they like watching that shit that he teach. He teach that real flat earth shit. They like watching that shit. So it's interesting. Um, Brother Sanchez's channel is not about Indian um culture. Sometimes he steps into it because he talks about the ancestors a lot. He knows a lot about what our ancestors did. Heavy. And when you want to get that, you and 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 you want to know about them chakras and shit, and how our ancestors thought and said, you do want to be in Brother Sanchez's channel because I don't think nobody could break that shit down like him, for real. He be doing, he got his own little way of doing that shit. But when I do my redirects to him, the people stay. I see them because I'm in there, and I know they probably subscribe to him because he be talking about some real shit. It don't be, you know, it get a little crazy, but. He be talking about some real shit, and that's the shit they like. Um, my subscribers don't like motherfucker pull up. You don't know what you're talking about, you bitch. You fucking bitch. You, they don't like that, yo. And it's real turn off. It's that that type of behavior is real turn off. And the Moors do that shit real bad. Cause if you look on Bap's channel, it'd be a lot of fucking Moors up there. A lot of Indians don't do that shit. For real, for real. For real. So I continue to redirect that. Uh, it's only, uh, he's probably the only one that I redirect to. If they ain't go live, I can still redirect to him if I want to. Because they're going to like his shit too. I'll redirect all my um segments to him and that's just going to blow it up more. Okay? But those are the only, really, two channels that I have to. um have you know to who i could really direct to you know for real so i thought about it very long and hard when last night and it gave me a real wake-up call it really did you guys um i sat and thought about the communities that i go in i said you know i go in top cats community and I'd be laughing because Top Cat's funny. The people in the chat room be funny. Um, I, the people in the chat room be be funny. And it'd it, it be fun like five years ago. It's just uh, he got a lot of new different people. But I don't get no smoke and feel no bad vibes when I go in Top Cat's chat room. 
I don't. I damn sure don't feel the bad vibes when I go in Dane's chat room. I don't feel hating and mean vibes when I go in Empress Hobart's chat room. Never. Never. Nobody, like, says nothing, like, off the chain to me or some dumb shit just because I'm in the building. Um, never get that in Empress Hobart's chat room. And like I said, when I did the redirect to her, they didn't fucking leave. They stayed. Um, I went to, um, I go to Big Dog, Philly Dog channel once in the blue moon. No, I don't get no heat in there. Big Dog, Philly Dog be in my chat room way more than I be in his. Um, I, I don't get no smoke over there. And I noticed that the only, sometimes, and Chief Holiday's chat room, I'll get some smoke from some old dusty bitch or nigga, but they be moors. I get it heavily when I'm in um um Bap's channel. So I said, you know, I don't want to feel like that. I, I I'm in the wrong community. I'm definitely in the wrong fucking community. I'm a motherfucking Indian. And after that, I'm not going to be treated like a real motherfucking Indian. I don't need to be up in this bitch. This is not my community. These ain't no real fucking Indians. These devils in this bitch. So I said to myself, you know, I'm just going to enjoy myself in Indian community. I'm going to go on Top Cat's channel. I'm going to go and... um. Dane's channel, all the Indians, Empress Over. <coughs> and that's it. Those are the only communities that I'm going to freak it because they're communities where I don't feel no heat. And can't no motherfucker jump on the panel and say, Sister Betty, dividing shit. This bitch was divided before I came in this bitch five years ago. I ain't never seen no Indians reuniting with no fucking Moors or undercover Moors. It was always heat. So don't say it's Sister Bethy. It's not. This is shit that I didn't understand. Like I do. I would look out for the L's and the motherfucking bays to avoid. But this shit got real. I'm like, now these motherfuckers done took off the motherfucking um, lampshades and came in under Aboriginal Indian ID. So I don't know who the fuck is who. Now I do. It's just that platform, that 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 um environment over there. I'm just not fucking with it no more. So I know where I my place needs to be, and I'm gonna be comfortable, especially over here. We got 1,380 people up in this piece. Y'all shout out, why? <laughs> All in the chat. I know that. My channel's grown because I see people in here that I've never seen before. That's how I know that I've never seen. And any of anybody in here, hey, none your business. Hey, um, D. Allen Warren, Light King Will, Cash, Peden, Peden, I think. John Davis. Oh wow, yellow um yellow hammer swakey. Sharice the real as we already talked. Sammy, Lady Moon, baby girl. Who else we got up in here? Ain't even looking. Oh, um, Chief Eagle Eye. Uh, uh exiting the paradigm. Yeah. Talk about exiting the paradigm. I, my ass is exiting the Moorish paradigm. I didn't know I was surrounded by the motherfuckers. It's like getting baptized, but this you're really drowning. Like, woo, faster don't drown me. Oh, <laughs> uh, who else we got? Man? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think I hit everybody. John Davis, Mr. Miller. It's high life. Oh, he said he was a, I really don't have no real smoke with Hebrew Israelites. I really don't. I just think they're comical. That's all. I really don't. I, matter of fact, whoever, whatever you worship, whoever you worship, like when I see people 
from Nation of Islam or some type of Islamic um, religious, I just salute them. Assalamu alaikum, shit. What up? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I told you I grew up with it, Muslim. Sister Betty for president. Oh, God. Has a nice with you. Thanks, Lady Moon. Hey, um, I don't, Nation of Islam, in Islam, I ain't got nothing against nobody in Islam or Nation of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I, I know. Don't tell me I don't know I grew up with them and my best, best friend childhood from preschool. Imagine that. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, now that that's not funny because I don't know no Muslims that eat no goddamn pork chops. Now I don't know no Muslim that eat pork, period. Yep. So, um, yeah, I, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to attempt to open the panel. I don't, the Moors don't come up on my panel, man. For real. Y'all are supposed to be unsubscribed. Because this is an Indian motherfucking Indian community. And it's rough over here, too. For real. I'm going to open up my panel. Anybody that want to come up and talk, I'm open. Um, I'm going to put the link in the chat now. Rob, don't hit my damn link. You're not coming up here. Because you're going to have to turn your camera on in the back. Because I'm not playing. I'm not playing with nobody. For real. Let me put this damn link in the chat. Copy. And paste. There it is. Thank y'all so much for them donations, man. I, I I, really appreciate it so much. I'm going to take a little break, and I'll be back. And Sister Bethy ain't doing no fucking redirects. For real. On, on God, I cannot send my nation and political colleagues to no fucking chaos bullshit. Nah, man, it ain't happening. Pen. You can try. I mean, motherfuckers try to break wire, but you can't. As you can see, it's grown. God damn. I wonder if Dane or somebody did tell somebody to go live over here on my channel. Because that shit is up to 1700 Bro, I'll be right back, y'all. The link is pinned to the top. Sit tight in the back. I'm going on the ladies' break.
right, y'all. It's time for my coffee. Oh, Big Willie going to get us a coffee. Ooh, I need my coffee like now. And then I'm going to eat my Spanish rice and beans. Oh, I can't wait to heat them up when I get off of here. Um, The link is pinned to the top. Anybody that want to join the panel can join the panel. All right. Um, I, I'm trying to keep the negative traffic out of my chat because we got to get rid of all the motherfuckers that's undercover. Um, you can hit the link, but when you come up in the back, you got to turn your camera on so I can make sure it's your ass. Um, but this here is the back of the dollar, and I never knew this. I was directed to this um, by this um, Asian guy, and he directed me to this, my attention to this, because he knows the air across to be melanated people. Um, and Chief Kanasatago, he was a chief. Um, oh, gosh, what am I doing? Um, I'm sorry, y'all. This Asian um, um, friend of, of that I know um, directed this to me. And um, they real, real cool. Um, I, I, I thought it was amazing. And, um, Chief Kana Santago, he was a chief of the Anandaga Nation, and he was a melanated man. And, um, today they are in present day, um, New York. They are, um. And a lot of them live in the inner cities of New York. A lot of them don't live on reservations. They don't. I have to say the majority of the air quads, like I read to you, when they were kicked out of Canada, um, they um, all moved in the hoods, in the cities, for real, in the urban rural, urban rural areas um um during you know and there was a debate and a plan with the air cross um to join the union and benjamin franklin pointed to the strength of you know he pointed out the strength of it of the air cross confederacy Um, and, um, he also, you know, pointed out how they, you know, the Air Cross Confederacy always manage their own internal affairs. And, and that's a fact. And when you look at the back of this dollar bill, um, um, when you look at the uh, back of the um, dollar bill, they acknowledged this in 1988. They did. If you look at the eagle, look at the eagle, and then you look down at his I think it would might be his right hand. You see the 13 arrows. This is when the Air Cross Confederacy became part of the Union. They did. That's why a lot of their lands are in the hands of the United States. Because they consolidated themselves. They 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 have they did. And the, remember, it was 13 colonies first. 
And when the Iroquois joined the Union, they became the 13 states. They didn't come to states until after the Iroquois joined them to strengthen them. And that's exactly what Chief Candace Satago said. And this is why they say back, they said back in 1988 that they are reminded of Chief Candace Satago's words till to this day. When he when they look back at the uh in the when they look at the back of the dollar bill. There you will find the great seal of the United States. Because that's when the Iroquois Confederacy united with them. And they were melanated men. A lot of them look mulattoes. A lot of them look like me. <clears throat> and the eagles, what would be right hand if we're looking at it, is a bundle of the 13 arrows representing those 13 colonies, which are now states. And he said, and our strength when united together, it the 13 colonies, when they became 13 states, they were powerful because they united together. Because that means I'm in. I'm in. I'm down. Word up. On God, I'm down with you. And they were so powerful that they did a lot of damage across these lands. They did. They really did. They took the South out. They um, unrecognized uh, thousands of tribes across these states. It was horrible. So this is why I said, I know. I mean, and, and you got these moors jumping up. These motherfuckers is jumping up trying to say they the Iroquois Confederacy. They ain't no fucking Iroquois. Them dudes is not Iroquois. Not no Moors. They are the Moors are not Iroquois. These motherfuckers trying to be everything in YouTube. I already read that to y'all. Chief Kata Satago. When they, you know, the, the, the Moors was in, in in Maryland trying to fight. They was fighting against other Indians of the Iroquois Confederacy over Maryland. And I read that. I don't know if everybody was in here, but Chief Kind of, kind of, kind of, Satago stood up and told them motherfuckers, "Look, no, y'all don't own no damn Maryland. Get your ass out of here." And then when you sit back and you ask, "Who are these people that Chief Kind of Satago was talking to?" When he tell them that they don't own the land, he was fighting on defense of the Iroquois that was fighting them, and he told them. You have no land claims here. I don't basically was saying, I don't give a fuck if your family was here a hundred years. That is nothing compared to coming from this soil for thousands of thousands of years. And my ancestors' children are still alive today. They're still here. He told them that. Just the shit that we be saying, we're still here. How are you going to claim something ain't yours? He and chief, the chief told him, look, you got land claims, but your shit is beyond the seas. Whatever, what is beyond the seas? And who is the chief talking to when he is telling these people and the description that they give of these people that try to uh, take Maryland he, they, they said they were squatters and, you know, trying to have land claims. Today, that behavior is still practiced. And the only people that's doing that is Moors. They're running around squatting on people's lands, moving up in people's mansions, talking about it's their land and shit. 
people having to evict these motherfuckers out their house. They be they be um renting um what do you call them damn homes? Um when you go on vacation, when you rent a house for a week. I forgot what you call it. Um you rent it for like a week when you're on vacation, somebody will rent their house out for a week. And Moore's was doing that shit and not leaving. Oh, it's indigenous minds, baby. It's dollar sign 60. 60. Yeah, Lady P, you're right. Airbnb. Oh, I got articles of Moore's, these little motherfucking Moore's. Right? Renting out somebody's Airbnb. They'll go act like they're going to rent it. They'll pay for it. And then they never leave. And the Airbnb people got to end up going through court to kick them out their damn house. So I, right then and there, I knew when they said squatters, land claims, and all this shit. This is what these Moorish like people do, whether they have L Bay, L or Bay at the end of their name. They don't be having that under their name. They be regular people talking about the aboriginals and Indian. I'm like, nah, money grip, nah. That's who would be doing this shit. Let me um go pull it up because I I think I'm gonna pull it up. And I'll tell you why I'm gonna pull it up because. <clears throat> there's 14, 1,500 people in here, man. Smash that like button, man. I, I, I appreciate y'all so much. I think since there's 1,500 people up in here, um, I'm going to pull that document up. I have no choice at this point because a lot of them don't didn't get a chance to see this. And I want you to see this, y'all, to see this shit. It, it, I'm like a document written so long ago regarding the behavior of a particular people that's still doing this shit today. Let me see. Where's my... Let me go. If I go in here, I believe... Um, uh, let me do a search. I know I just put this shit in here. Yes, I ain't losing my mind. Um, let me find it, my loves. All right, I'm going to give y'all a little music until I find it. It's 1,700 people up in this monster. And I'm going to play some music for y'all until I find that document. I'm going to read that document because this is the best time to read it when the chat is lit like this. So I'm going to play a little music for y'all until I find the document and pull it up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it, y'all. I'm about to do a share screen right now. That was quick, too. All right. Um, share screen. 
I, I love reading this. I swear I love reading this. I read it over and over again. <laughs> oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, there you go. There I go. Present. Present. Okay, so, yeah, Chief County Satago is the chief of the Anandaga Nation in New York. Um, I'm going to read from here. I I, I want to read from here until I get down to the part. So I love reading. Y'all love me to read anyway. So let me read this. One warm summer day in 1744. Y'all, this is 1744. Literally 44 years before this, uh, after the 1600s ended. Okay. On w one warm summer day in 1744, Franklin was balanced. They're talking about Benjamin Franklin now. Franklin was balancing the books of his printing operation when Conrad Weiser, all right, we took on these. Uh, when Conrad Weiser, the Indian interpreter and envoy of the Iroquois, appeared at his door with a new treaty manuscript. The official transcript of the recently completed meeting between envoys from Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, and the Sikhems of the Six Nations Confederacy at nearby Lancaster. Wiser, an old friend of Franklin's, explained that this was probably the most interesting and noteworthy treaty account he had ever brought in for publication. At last, said Wiser, the Iroquois, had made a definite commitment toward the anglo Aircross alliance that Pennsylvania and other colonial governments had been seeking for more than 10 years. The Aircross explained, wiser, we're, we're being careful if they were to ally with the English, okay? So now you see the separation of the races of people. The Aircross explained wiser, we're being careful. They're being careful. If they were to ally with the English, they wanted the colonials to unify their management of the Indian trade. Listen, y'all and to do something about the crazy patchwork of diplomacy that resulted when each colony handled its own affairs with the Iroquois. Taking the handwritten manuscript from Weiser, Franklin sat at his desk and quickly thumbed through it, reading a few passages, bringing to life in his mind, the atmosphere of the Frontier Council. The treaty had two main purposes, Franklin surmised. The first was to deal with a recurring problem. Indian complaints that Englishmen, mostly Scot-Irish frontiersmen, were moving on to Indian land without permission, disrupting hunting and social life. Now, that sounds just like an old, dirty old moor. Yo, get me some damn fire for this, y'all. The first was 
to deal with a recurrent problem. Indian complaints that Englishmen, mostly Scott Irish, frontiersmen, were moving onto Indian land without permission, disrupting hunting and social life. These niggas been doing this for a long time. And they're trying to get you to do it with their little paperwork. Their little UCC paperwork. Talk about file this in the court. And if they don't respond in 30 days, the land is yours. Yep. Next thing I know, I see a damn YouTube video with these little blackies getting arrested for squatting. The second and more important objective was to polish the covenant chain to secure the alliance against the French. This is 1744. The Air Cross Party consisted of 245 chiefs, warriors, women, and children. Wiser met the party outside Lancaster. Throwing his arms around his friend, Canisatago, who, at age 60. Now, Canisatago is 60 damn years old. He's a boomer, Ali Bamu's age. Was entering his last years of Speaker of the Great Council of Anandaga. Wiser bid all the air across to welcome to Pennsylvania. Joking in the Iroquois language with the chiefs. So, who counted him as one of their own and adopted Mohawk, who often traveled to Onondaga to sit in on the councils of the league. Yo, I like that little reading. Wiser, he was talking to us in our language that, you know, he was an interpreter. And I could just see him standing there being like, yo, man, this is some bullshit these motherfuckers trying to do. And you know, but we got their ass. Yo, Wiser bid all the air cross. Wiser bid all the air cross welcome to Pennsylvania, joking in the air cross language with the chiefs who counted him as one of their own and adopted Mohawk who often traveled to Onondaga to sit in the council, on the council of the league. They always needed them niggas to interpret. Wiser knew that the Air Cross expected their protocol to be followed. As guests, this meant that they had a right to adequate food and lodging after the long and tiring trip. Wiser promptly ordered a steer killed for them. While the steer was being carved into steaks, he purchased 300 pounds of flour as well as other provisions, charging all of it to the provincial government. Yo. <laughs> yeah, no food stands back then, but that's kind of like it. He treated the chiefs to a glass of rum and then another. The chiefs desirous to have one more dram, which I could not deny them, asked for more. And Wiser again bought drinks all around. The next day, he entered on his expense ledger a half dozen sheep, 250 pounds of flour, bread, and other necessities. Get motherfucker drunk and start ordering shit. Like they do today. The Iroquois delegates arrived at Lancaster's courthouse on Friday, June 22nd, 1744. Okay. A group of colonial delegates led by George Thomas Esquire were sitting with wine punch, pipes, and tobacco. Yo, these dudes was about to get weeded and drunk. They got their 40 ounces. They got their weed for the pipes. And they got the wine. 
the colonial delegates drank to the health of six nations. These damn black Europeans got weeded, smoked up, and they drank more than how, how many people's in the six nations. And then adjourned the meeting until Monday to give the air quads an opportunity to rest. For the next two weeks, the air quads and colonial delegates discussed the invasion by squatters of the eastern slopes of the Appalachians. Squatters. The delegates from Maryland and Virginia attended because both colonies claim the land in question. Governor Thomas opened the first business session of the council Monday, June 25th by observing that during a treaty council at Pennsylvania two years earlier, the Iroquois had requested a meeting with the governors of Maryland and Virginia concerning some lands in the back parts of those provinces, which they claim a right to from their conquest over the ancient possessors and which have been settled by some of the inhabitants of those governments, Maryland and Virginia, without the Iroquois consent or any purchase made from them. They ain't buy it. They just squatted their ass there. Thomas reported that an unfortunate skirmish had taken place between, between colonists, militia, and war parties from the Six Nations and the disputed territory. So, you know, the Iroquois was fighting with some um, soldiers that squatted there and shit, people that squatted there. Thomas asserted that this problem ought to be solved because the Iroquois were strategic to the British defense against the French and the North America. By this situation, if friends, the Iroquois are capable of defending colonial settlements, meaning, yeah, you know, we don't really want no smoke. We don't want no damn smoke with them Iroquois because they could fuck shit up. If enemies of making cruel ravages upon them, if neuters, they may deny the French a passage through their country and give us timely notice of their designs. Right, right, right. Thank you, y'all, man. Y'all so sweet for these cash apps. I just keep hearing it going off. Y'all, y'all, y'all just sweet. The representatives of Maryland were not conciliatory as Thomas speaking to the Iroquois. They said this shit. Here they come. The, 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 those representatives of Maryland come stepping in. Talk about the great king of England. Now, who the fuck is the king of England in 1744? Y'all know who his ass is. The great king of England and his subjects have always possessed the province of Maryland, free and undisturbed from any claim by the Sixth Nation for above 100 years past. And you're not saying anything to us before. Convinced us you thought you had no pretense to any land in Maryland nor can we yet find out what lands or under what title you make your claim. So these motherfuckers going to be telling the air cross that we, we, we've been here for like 100 years and y'all ain't never said nothing and y'all ain't never said nothing since we've been on it. And we thought by you just not saying nothing that, you know, we good over here. So guess what? The Iroquois waited a day until June 26 to reply, as was their custom. They waited a day to reply. They said, you know what? After what this guy said about, you know, this message, you know, regarding the great king of England, that goddamn Iroquois chief, Connor Sataga, said, you know what? 
I'm not going to reply right now. Because if I do reply, I'm going to punch you in your damn face. I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to beat his ass. So, y'all know how New York is. This is a chief. And he said, I'm going to wait until the next day, until my head's clear. Because what come out of my mouth is might not be might not be next. So the day's delay was meant to signal grave concern over the issue at hand. In some cases, the delay was just a matter of being polite. In this case, however, it was sincere. Because normally, they'd be like, bitch, you ain't got nothing. Fuck you think you is. On Tuesday afternoon, Count of Satago rose before the assembly, and he stood up like 50 Cent and um, Big Meech. And when, you know, that uh, uh, the representative for the King of England saw him, all these niggas came back the next day dressed up like 50 Cent and, and, and Big Meech. You know, they saw Connors and all that. Damn, this motherfucker like 50 Cent, Big Meech up in this bitch. So he rose up before the assembly, assuming the posture that caused many colonists to compare him to their imagined Roman and Greek ancestors. Because they, they had their shit on their attire. And he said to them, this is what Candace Sotago said to them. Brother, you, the governor of Maryland, when you mentioned the affair of the land yesterday, you went back to old times and told us that you had been in possession of the province of Maryland for above 100 years. But, nigga, what is 100 years in comparison to the length of time since our claim began. Since we came out of this goddamn ground. For we must tell you that long before a hundred years, our damn ancestors came out this very ground. And their children have remained here ever since. Like we say today, we still here, damn it. Are you going to claim this land? We still fucking here. You're talking about 100 years. You came out of the ground in a country that lies beyond the seas. This is what he's telling me, like, nigga, you ain't from here. You came from another fucking country. This is what he's telling these black Europeans. These motherfucking great king subjects. Yo. Y'all came out of the ground in a country that lies beyond the fucking seas. There, you may have claims, or there, you may have a just claim. But over here, niggas, you must allow us to be your older brother. And the lands, too, belong to us. Before you knew any fucking thing about them. Then he checks out Mouse at the door and said, yo. Kind of Sotago continued the argument saying, yo, and I heard y'all saying some shit that some of the Europeans, because this is who he's talking to, he kind of sound, y'all Europeans were saying some shit. Y'all wrong for that shit. That we Indians would have perished if y'all had not come over here to our country and gave us strouds, hatchets, and guns and other things necessary for support of life. It's telling them, yo, y'all going around telling rumors that if y'all ain't give us no guns and hatchets and shit, that we be fucking dead. Nigga, we'll beat your ass with guns or without guns. We don't need no damn guns. We ain't never had them before, so we don't need them now. We'll still beat your fucking ass. And if you walk by these niggas, they always said, if you see something, call if you see something strange, call the police. Could be an unarmed nigga just walking down the street, going to the store to buy a couple of duchess and go right back home. But these motherfuckers still, still scared from that time. He ain't had no gun. He was just walking down the street, going to buy a couple of duchess out the store and go the fuck back home. You see an Indian. Every time you see an Indian, oh, he's in there. Where's he going? I'll call the police right away. Call the police. 
Ain't got no fucking gun or nothing. The Indians, the Sikkim reminded the colonists, lived before they came among them and as well, or better. They were living better. If we may believe what our forefathers have taught us, we had then room enough and plenty of deer, which was easily caught. Basically, you just tell them, look, because see, this is what I mean when I say they don't understand Indian language. So I, we got to break it down because I'm a nigga. And all niggas speak Indian languages. So now I'm interpreting this shit for you. When he said, we had then room enough and plenty of deer, which was easily caught. Basically, he's telling them, Motherfucker, y'all didn't bring us food or nothing. We had this shit before you came here. What are you talking about? We still could beat ass like we did. We still have food. We could catch a fucking deer and eat that bitch. We could catch a possum or a squirrel and eat that bitch. What are you talking about? We always going to have food on this land. So I always thought that that was really a great read and describing the um, attitude of our ancestors because they still act like that today. And can't nobody be up in there talking like that. You know, I, I can imagine because they still do the same thing. I'm serious. When you see, I I, I got to keep it a buck. What is this damn thing doing? Messy. You see 50 and um and Big Meech. Literally. When you see these two guys stand up, I could just imagine back during that time in 1744, they came back with all this shit on, dressed like, and it reminded them of Romans. And these motherfuckers trying to tell them that these damn English, European, whatever the fuck they are, coming from the king of England. Trying to tell 50 Cent and Big Meech, yo, we've we we we've been in Maryland for 100 years and you ain't never said nothing. And Big Meech and I'm coming to tell them, yo, just because we ain't say shit don't mean that ain't still our shit. We just letting you squat there. Now get your ass out. It's our land. You talking about you because you've been here 100 years. Nigga, we've been on there. And that's a move that. Uh, uh, nigga would say, this is why they, this is why they don't like our men. This is why, because of our attitudes and our responses, the way we respond, and they still don't today. They want to change the way our men talk and make them talk like mainstream white society, like little proper, uh, choir white boys. And you're not going to get that out of Big Meech and 50 Cent. They're not talking to you that way. They're not. They're not going to do it. They're just not. I know all 12 of my brothers ain't. Dumb, Eric. Dumb, boy-headed niggas. So I'm just saying. Shit ain't going to change. And that's a fact. It's a cracker jack and it's a fact. So I don't got time for the bullshit. For real, for real. So it is what it is. And guess what's about to pop up in this house? <laughs> My goddamn coffee. Thanks, babe. I appreciate it so much. I'm about to tease the people in the chat because I know they probably don't got one. Look what I got. But yeah, but I would. What, what do y'all think about that? Seriously, I gotta give. I. Oh, you know what? I did not give Chief Connor Satago his damn bomb drop. That chief that I just read about, about the back of the dollar bill, 
That's the chief that I'm talking about. Of uh, 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 one of the nations in the Air Cross Confederacy. He's the one. They're the ones. But he's the very one that, you know, told them, yo, let's bond together and we'll become a state. Because, you know, they didn't have the South Southern states in their pockets like that. It was always wars against the Indians all across this landmass, man. But see, I'm only talking about the mainland Indians here um, down south and, you know, Midwest and in Texas. I'm not talking about the Indians that's in South America <clears throat> and Central America and the Indians on the islands. I I'm not talking about the, the British Indian islands and all that. I'm just speaking only this is shit on mainland. This is shit that happened on mainland where we were, where we are. And I, like I said, I wasn't raised and birthed and groomed in the South, but I was in Iroquois area. That's why I sound a, light, a lot like Iroquois because it's who groomed me. I don't know if y'all watch Power, you know, 50 Cent's um, episode, um, Raising Canaan. I watched that shit faithfully. I be all through YouTube channels um, looking at people's um, ideas of what's going to happen in the next episode. I watch that shit faithfully. I love 50 Cent's movies. I like Power Force, um, Power. I like, I watch all of them. But if you watch Raising Canaan and you know Breeze is unique, we know that by now, now. And you watch Force with Tommy and you watch Power when um, Ghost and 50 Cent Breeze they all, all all three of them have something like Breeze Breeze he, he you didn't see him coming and he he nicknamed all of them he nicknamed Ghost Ghost because you couldn't see Ghost coming because Ghost got that shit from Breeze all, all, Tommy Ghost and 50 Cent all have something like Breeze they, you don't see them coming. They'll kill you in a heart. They get rid of you. They know how to make bodies disappear. And they sneak up on your ass. They get that from Breeze. Because he molded all three of them. So me being in Iroquois territory, Iroquois area, period. I've been in Iroquois territory for 57 years. I'm very much like Iroquois. I've been molded by them. I'm from their soil of the land. And I act like them. That's why a lot of us talk alike. When you hear people in New York and New Jersey and going, we all have accents alike. It's very different from the South. I don't have a Southern accent. But I was molded by Iroquois territory. So I'm basically just Iroquois, man. And, you know, I'm learning from these um, chiefs of these tribes that, you know, if shit was set up, they transitioned from the way things were set up from when the nations ran shit over here. If my parents, being Indians from the South, my great ancestors and stuff, great greats, if they moved and migrated down here in air cross territory and you have baby, because they were countries back then. If you have a baby in air cross territory, that's an air cross baby. So if we was in their times, if society was ran like from their times, which it is, and it still could be. I'm born in Iroquois territory. So they take ownership of all their subjects. I could very well much be a fucking Iroquois baby. I wouldn't doubt it. I sound like them. I walk like them. I look like them. I, I roll like them. Could be. Who knows? That's why we got to still keep researching. Because this dude was telling me, he's like, 
but you're born in their territory. It doesn't matter if you, you you're their subject. You're an Indian, though, moving from another area to another area. And a lot of Indians went uh, here in the north, like the Pequots, the ones that they didn't take to Barbados. A lot of them ran up in the Mohawk and other tribes, and they became them Indians. So, shit, my ass very much well could be an Eric Cross. I'm not even going to front because who knows? Back. an Indian that ran in another Indian's territory. Yo, all I know today is I'm mourning. I'm in the front. I've been doing their work for them for a whole lot of years. So I don't know how this shit go. Is it still the same? It could be and I just don't even know it. That could be anywhere. Tennessee, you born in Tennessee, Empress over, all of them is in Cherokee territory. The whole goddamn Tennessee is Cherokee territory, predominantly. You Indian, born in their soul, you're that Indian. Because you're that something, they just changed. They just did a fucking name change. That's all they literally did. A name change. Now, Tennessee, I believe, is the real Indian name. They, I don't think they ever changed. I think that is an Indian name. Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. So your ass being born in Tennessee, you a goddamn Cherokee probably. Uh, you in their territory. You They take ownerships of the baby born on their soil. Which explains why the United States, they do a lot of shit like the air cross. Because when people come in from the Mexican border and they, the woman pregnant, if she jump over the border and that push that baby, ah, that's an American baby. No, for facts. You born on American soil, you become American. I mean, a United States citizen. I'm sorry, correction. Flag on the pole. You become a subject of the United States. They take ownerships of all babies born in their territories. I ain't fronting with no back, y'all. I'm keeping it a buck. So, I'm going to put the link in the chat. If y'all ain't going to come up here and talk to me, I'm just going to close out. I mean, I've been talking now for three damn hours. So, Hit the damn link and come on up. I'll put it in the chat again. Tell me what you think. Or if you want to revert back to what I was talking about earlier about this more shit, that's cool too. We could revert back there because I mean that shit. I'm just not going to um, visit those communities. I, I want to stay peaceful. No more. I can't do it. So there's the link. Y'all come on up, man. Stop acting silly. Come on. Iso. Dama. Woo! Hey, it's too many lies, too many lies. Hey, it's too many lies, too many lies. Yo, it's too many. Hey, it's too many. Yo, it's too many. Yo, it's too many lies. Look in my eyes, they know I'm the truth. They know uh, that. Knocking them down every time I step in the booth. Uh -huh. We ain't got a lot, they know we the vibe, we living in proof. What? It's young conscious through my life. I live in a spoof. Ain't lie. no sticking around. I'm on the move. I'm checking the dudes. Yeah, it's dudes. only us two, so you know we copping that coupe. Mm -hmm. We on the roof, smoking dope. Look at the view. Yeah, uh -huh. we used to chill on the stoop. Now we out here breaking the news. Uh -huh. Hey, you really could do? Cause uh -huh. we ain't got nothing to lose. No. We ain't switch side with no crews. Nah. We just stayed out of the loop. Thanks. Now we out here letting it loose. Shot. Every shot we took it was swoosh. Gotta get it, ain't no excuse. Saying shit left the proof. Hey, yeah, hey, it's too many lies, too many lies. Too many Yeah, I bet it's all lies. Hey, they won't cross that line for a fact that's all sides. Hey, too 
much penalties when they run this back in his fines. Hey, could have been here with us, but we do not know no vibes. Hey, she gon' try to whip and let me park it let in the driveway. They just want the praise, want the praise like they Yahweh. Getting so much bread, so much bread, get a ride way. We done already won, yeah, that's worth the ride way. Uh, but they still lying right through their teeth and they still hiding behind many troops. They was D9, watch my every move, tell them keep trying. Leave that shit on scene, I ain't replying. Less I know you, that don't mean I'm Hollywood. That just mean I'm Hollywood. Off y'all, I probably stood on the falls, all cause. More times I probably should. I don't know nobody like us. You see how much time it took. So. All right. So, um, what else do I have? Because I didn't do any slides today. I'm not. I, I just refused to. Um. Well, there was something else. Oh yeah, I forgot about this shit. About this particular thing. Now, we do have to be very careful. When we keep saying that Europeans, white Europeans in particular, were slave masters, um, um, our, our, our slave masters, we got to stop blaming all of them because we really need to know what we're talking about. There is a um, um, senator. I believe, who said that, let me see, let me get the story right. Yeah, um, I think this is it. Because they know, here she is, and she looks a lot like, um, she looks a lot like Queen, the Queen, uh, what is them boy's name? The Queen of England, Princess Diana. She do look like a lot like Princess Diana. I'ma share this because they, you, you we, we got to stop blaming a lot of people. Let me do a share screen and read this shit. This shit is real, y'all. We're making a huge difference. And what we're lecturing about. And right here, my dad was a white slave. Kentucky Republican tells the NAACP. They keeping it a buck. Kentucky representative, state representative, Jennifer Decker told a local NAACP chapter on the first day of Black History Month that her white father was a slave before later admitting she probably overstated according to the local report. Well, she said a Kentucky Republican politician made an audacious claim on the first day of Black History Month. According to a local report, her white father, she said, was a slave. State rep Jennifer Decker made the comments first reported by the Louisville Courier Journal while speaking to a local chapter of the NAACP on February. I about about why she introduced a bill seeking to eliminate diversity, equity, and inclusion initiates at public colleges and universities, which she has said makes schools more divided, more expensive, and less tolerant. According to an audio recording of the meeting obtained by the Curio Journal during the question-answer portion of the event, an audience member asked Decker if her family played any role in the slave trade. Per the Courier Journal, 
Decker replied, my father was born on a dirt farm in Lincoln County. His mother was the illegitimate daughter of a very prominent person who then was kind enough to allow them to work for him as slaves. So if you're asking, did we own slaves? My father was a slave just to a white man. And he was white. When uh, now I'm reading it again. Um, when a Courier Journal columnist tracked Decker down to ask what she could have possibly meant, given that white people were not, in fact, subject to the chattel slavery that millions of black people endured on American soil for more than 240 years, she tried to brush off the reporter before seemingly walking back her original comments. Irrelevant, irrelevant, Decker initially told the reporter about her initial comments, adding, my father's past poverty is a great equalizer. Because they were slaves. She spoke and wasn't supposed to say something like that. And they were trying to say, yo, fuck you doing? When the reporter persisted, Decker explained that her father, a preacher born around 1933, according to the Courier Journal, or 68 years after slavery, was outlawed, was born into poverty, and worked for free with his family on the property they lived on. Yo, that is being a slave. I don't give a fuck when it took place. They worked for free with his family on the property they lived on. It's unclear whether the adults were paid through the Courier Journal notes that it sounds more like Decker's father was forced by his parents to do chores and that the family were tenant farmers. Yo. <laughs> it's still slavery. <clears throat> it sounds more. She ain't tell y'all ass that. So why are you trying to put a story to her life? If she ain't say that, don't, don't try to put shit in there. See what I tell you they trying to do. They don't want you to know this shit. Decker eventually conceded that she probably overstated. Was I saying that it was kidnapping and abuse the same as slaves? No, if that's what you're talking about. But bitch, my father worked on a farm. He was born on it and they worked for free. Joe ass out of here. That's one thing Decker is right about. As my colleague Garrison Hayes discussed with Nell Irvin Painter, Princeton historian and author of The History of White People, back in October, there is a historical difference between white people who worked as, in as indentured servants and the centuries-long enslavement of black people on American soil. Irish people and vulnerable English people, Scottish people, Welsh people, poor people, people considered criminals or orphans were often shipped outside of the British Isles to places like what became the United States and what later became Australia and New Zealand as indentured workers. There were lots of uh, Lots and lots of unfree white people. There were lots and lots of unfree white people. But their unfreedom had a term limit. If you survive your indenture, and many, many, many people did not survive, then you could become a free person. Yo. So, back to the kind of style story. The same motherfuckers that came over here. Yo, this shit adds up. That's why I, that's why I lecture the way I do. Because these people are the same people that came over here and wanted to claim Maryland. This is stuff I like to dialogue about. So, yes, many early North American white people were unfree, but they were not enslaved for life. 
A lot of us wasn't enslaved for life either. I, I, I wasn't enslaved at all. It took the North American colonies several decades to go to permanent enslavement. It didn't happen overnight. The people whom warlords had rounded up in places like what is now Anglo and sold to Europeans, it was their descendants who became permanently enslaved. Yo. <laughs> So by the end of the 17th century, which is the 1600s, what we recognize as permanent servitude, because they had permanent servitude, that chattel slavery was in place. And it did not include people we now consider white. Now, you got to understand when they was making that constitution, like, let's go back to what the chief holiday said, they was freeing they asses. Yo. Let's drop the bomb for Chief Holiday. Let's drop the bomb for Chiefy Holiday. Now, here go this motherfucker. Here we go with the pan boo boo shit. Here comes Jabari ass. Ricky Jones, a professor of Pan African Studies at the University of Louisville, one was one of many readers who called Decker out for the historical comment. <laughs> Here comes old Jabari's thinking, but a white slave in the mid 20th century? Yeah, nigga. Talk about recreating history. Oh, now, now y'all little pan boo boos, uh, it's, it's understanding recreating history, just like y'all ass is doing, recreating it with the goddamn Kuta Kente story. Talk about create, recreating history. Jones wrote in a post on X. Maybe this makes sense in the alternate supremacist reality that is Kentucky, but nowhere else. Jennifer Decker and her Republican friends lie about and distort everything else. Why not this? Well, that's because you're a little Democrat. And there are white people in this world that like to come out and tell the motherfucking truth. That's why, Mr. Pan Boo Boo. So back the hell off of the Republican Okay, leave Jennifer alone. She knows her big mama story. Because just like we got big mama story, so do white people. So get your ass out of here, pan boo-boos. You just mad because she's telling you what she's hearing in YouTube from us. And it's okay to come out and admit this truth about your family history if you white to be relieved from being accused of being a slave owner just because you white. That's what I'm talking about. Throw up some fire for Jennifer Decker, y'all, please. Throw up some fire for Jennifer Decker. While shocking, oh, it's only shocking, while shocking, Decker's comments and her political priorities are not anomalies. Anomalies. Republicans across the country have been seeking to downplay the history of black enslavement and abolish DEI initiatives and critical race theory in schools for years now. Though CRT is a framework for legal scholarship that is not in fact being taught to six-year-olds. But still, as the Courier Journal columnist pointed out, comments like Decker's are exactly why it's so important for schools to teach diverse curricula about the real history of slavery and racism in the U.S., which is exactly what she's fighting against. You go. And she's right. Don't be trying to make the white people hide their history. Because a lot of white people don't like to be accused of being no fucking slave master because a lot of their parents had to come over here as indentured servants and work for free for shit. So kill your noise, Democrats. Decker and a representative of the NAACP chapter, she spoke to, didn't immediately respond to requests for comments on Tuesday afternoon. And that's it. So I thought that was a really good read, you guys. I'm going to give this uh, 
I, I give it to any Republicans and Democrats and independents who are not ashamed to admit the truth in an effort to stop being accused of just because your skin's white as society place that racial identifier on white people just because. They're white don't mean that they were parents or they come from a history of owning slaves and beating them. All these fake ass stories that y'all keep making up, making black people and white people hate each other for nothing. Because as the record stands, when we were slaves in the South with 16 damn kids and we lived on farms, them ass whoopings that y'all talking about that took place with whips and shit, that shit was coming from our parents who were our slave masters. I got my ass whipped back in the 70s when I got out of line. That was a, a, the disciplinary measure. When you act up or misbehaved in school or you didn't do something that mom told you to do, you was getting the ass whooped. So those reported ass whoopings that you were talking to, that you hear about with them damn whips, was our parents whooping our asses, which explains clearly why we have child abuse laws. Because getting ass whoopings with extension cords is abuse. And it's abuse with a fucking switch, too. That's why we have child Laws. Abuse. Because it was our parents, two to one, doing the damn abuse. Whooping that ass across the farm. You hollering and screaming because you getting all whipped up. So stop saying that it was a white guy who was doing this shit to a kid. Because if a white guy was doing this, whooping the ass, it probably was he was whooping his little half-breed ass kids ass for getting out of line with that so he gonna whoop your ass so you see a white man whooping a mulatto looking kid that has more of his white features getting his ass whooped that was his daddy whooping his ass because ain't no white man gonna stand up and let no other white man whoop his kid's ass just like ain't no black man and black woman gonna let no white man whoop their kid's ass unless that's granddaddy so y'all need a reality check on what the fuck history is about because down here in the north when you got ass whoopings a lot of white men and white women had mulatto kids and they was getting their ass whoopings. Just like down south. So, this is why I love teaching on my channel and I'm in my comfort zone. And I don't need it. And you know what? Motherfuckers is going to go live. I'm telling you right now. It's like clockwork. And make lives because they mad about my shit. About my statements. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's been five years now. The Moors have been trying it for five years. Yo, you not breaking, Sister Betty. I kicked all your ass out my tribe. And y'all motherfuckers that's in there that I don't know about. But it could be a fucking lie anyone's telling. That's scared and don't want to hurt my feelings. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. I got 1,300 people watching me. What the fuck? Do you know how many people want me to open my doors back? Man, shut your ass down. I'm not going to be shut down by no little Negro punks in YouTube. Because I could teach just as good as y'all can. I could give them current events and historical events. Today was a current event. Shout out to... The Republican senator for checking shit at the door. Girl, I got to give you some thunder for that. Checking shit at the door at the NAACP. Tell you, I come with the thunder and this is what I love doing. And you know what? You guys, it actually feels so, so, so good just being over here.
and this is where I shall stay. Now, when I go later on, I'll go watch other segments, but I wonder there would be no activity from Sister Bethy in the chat rooms. I'll just be watching and laughing and watching the anger, hate, and jealousy because that shit is fun, and now I understand why Dan used to watch shit and laugh. But see, I, I, I was a, a, a peon back then. I was. And his best defense was ignoring him and keeping it fucking moving, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm grateful that I have people from all races and creeds in my chat room and watching me live. I'm so grateful because I look at that as having a lot more history of the truth being sent to me. And I love getting information emailed to me because I read it and I come and share it with y'all. I love when my colleagues do this because I have a lot of respect for them. And I tell them, you know, my colleagues, this shit is content creation. They know how I act in a professional manner, but I got to act like the majority of my um, audience. But this shit is all YouTube content creation shit. I know when to be in my professional role and I know to be in my comfort zone. And it's Sunday, I'm in my comfort zone. So copper, none your business. Yellow hammer swaky. Y'all don't want to hit the link. Come up and talk to Sister Betty or anybody watching live. Come up and talk to me. It's a lot going on over here. Lucky. Oh, yeah, you ain't never hit my link. What you want to talk about? Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hit the link. It's pinned to the top. What you want to talk about? With your little butt. Hit the link. Come on up. It's Sunday. You shouldn't be working. I got tribe members that work on Sundays like crazy. Ain't nobody getting my goddamn weekends ever. Just wire. Hit the link. There was something else I want. Okay, I wanted to show that about the oh, I know what else I wanted, y'all. Um, I was looking at these. Um, hang on. I was looking at the these pictures and I just got fascinated by him. Um, I, I got so fascinated by seeing these. Um, um, pictures. I thought it was really cool because I really don't study a lot of um, history of the Indians and Cuba and stuff. Uh oh, who's that? Oh boy, Alan, you better not come up here being no um um what do you call it? Being no um, motor mouth. What's good, Alan? What's up, sister? Thunder. Thunder, what's, what's good, sister? What's, what's nice? What's just, good? Yes, ma'am. I'm just building off the content that you previously provided, ma'am. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. What, what'd you get? Well, to, to build off of that, you said, uh, you know, all the whites cannot be responsible for, you know, slavery or being very agitated with other melanated or non-melanated people over there. That's absolutely correct. And so... When we lean back, we end up finding that the Moors, again, were the black slave owners from the 15s all the way up to the 1800s. They weren't called the Moors at that time. We have an extensive list of families um, that were the black slave owners who were co-related to all other celebrities that you see today, even rappers. They weren't called Moors back then. Their code name was the Puritans. Uh, the Moors are always called the Puritans. The Puritans were also the slave owners that were over there. Another code name was, they were called the uh, Sephardic Jews. So when you say Christopher Columbus, that's a code name that was Patton. His real name is Ferdinand Zarcos Colon. And he was not a normal uh, brother. That guy was uh, a prince. 
and he was the son of a king who's also related to Charles V, the predecessor of Maximilian. And so they taught the princes um, or those of royal nobility or the black European coat of arms, they taught them mathematics from calculus, algebra. They taught them chemical engineering. They taught them how to navigate using the sky map. I'm bringing this up because building on what you say as far as the slave owners in America weren't all white. That's absolutely correct because not only were you had the Puritans, you had what's called the Sephardic Jews, the crypto Jews. You also had the Dutch. Um, those are the ones that facilitated up north that were Moors in New York and New Jersey in the early 1700s, well before everybody even started to uh, use New York City for its urbanicity. And so the story was when the black European coat of arms, uh, specifically Charles V, Charles V is the one that released all pale skin eukaryotic domestic species from Europe in 1730. And the reason why they, uh, that family, uh, which is called the, um, what's it called? The, uh, the uh, Hasburg. So when you look up the Hasburg black European coat of arms, you will start to find out the real nobility of the power structure of the uh, black European coat of arms of Charles V. When you hear the word Huguenots, Huguenots is dealing with the Federation. So when they all came over here, the Moors, when they all came over here to do the bidding for to do black slavery, well before anybody white came over here, they were already over here um, enslaving the tribes, doing very atrocious things to the tribes way back in the 1600s, 1700s. They all changed their name. And so when they all changed their name, while they were escaping the Inquisition, they changed their name to the Huguenots. And so the Huguenots isn't one family. The Huguenots is a federation of a bunch of different Moorish families to hide their identity. Another name is the Hasburgs. And it's Hasburg, you can go all the way back to Charles V. Now, Charles V released all the Caucasians to come over here in 1730. There was no uh, Caucasians over in the 16, 15, 1400s. They had to send the muscle. And who was the muscle? Well, to get a nigger, you might have to use a nigger to catch a nigger. And so they didn't send anybody white over here as the so-called Dutch with guns to hurt and kill uh, the melanated tribes over here. They didn't do that. They sent the Moors over here, a.k.a. Sephardic Jews, a.k.a. Crypto Jews, a.k.a. the Dutch. AKA Are we black people? Huh? Excuse were these black? Were these melanated people? People that look like? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because they also went all the way down to Portuguese. The Moors also went to Portuguese. They also went to what you call Costa Rica. They kidnapped seventy thousand Mexica tribes from Costa Rica in the year sixteen sixty six. They dropped them off in Jamaica and helped them captive them. Ah, Six okay. 1666 is a very, very prominent uh, domain of year because Prince Charles V, uh, King Charles V kidnapped and um, enslaved from the year 1520 all the way to 1690. Yeah, so that's 170 years from Ireland, from lower parts of Asia. They kidnapped uh, melanated tribes. Oh, these are all melanated, melanated tribes. Well, from hang on one second. Well, Lucky, you talking a lot in the chat. I don't know if you are more. But this is a tough community, and you might not. I don't know. But if you got some proof and you're not a Moor, uh, you could come up and uh, provide your proof of what the brother's talking about. Because I remember a couple years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, Top Cats touched on the same topic about the Huguenots and all that shit. So, I mean... I don't know. Do, do you know Top Cats? Brother? Um, Alan? Uh, do I know Top Cats? Yes. I don't know, man. Oh, Legendary Top Cats speaks a lot about this. Um, I'm going to put his link in the chat because he gave a long lecture live about, about the... Um, Huguenots, he, he broke it down. I mean, he's incredible with it, too. And he, just like you, once he start talking about it, you, you can't interrupt. You ain't going to be able to interrupt. You're going to be shooting out so much shit. <laughs> let, me, let me give you his link to his, because he's swift with this part. I'm going to put it in the back. 
private chat here. Yes, man. And yeah, because I mean, you you get down with him with that. Uh, he might even try and correct you on some stuff that he found or compare and contrast. Yes, uh, man. Because his, it, link, it, his his link is in the back, but. I'm only affiliating myself with Indians at this point. I'm not. I'm not. That's I'm exactly not. what. That's exactly what I'm building on. That's that's what I'm building on to try to give a timeline to support what you're saying. As far as you can't really point the finger at any Caucasian as being oh all of them are related to slave owners. No, well before they even came over here, we had the Moors who were doing the atrocities. So they used them as the muscle. They didn't send any white people to Jamaica, Costa Rica. Those are new names for those uh, land masses. No, they sent the Moors while they was already in a situation going to war against themselves, against the Inquisition. They went all the way down to Portuguese to take over. Again, the Latinos that you see today in Colombia, Peru, they were not down there. These are all new uh, clone eukaryotic domesticated species. When you talk well, about be, be, be careful, hon, when you say well, those I'm not, words. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. I'm trying to no, 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 no. What I'm saying is your words are oh, that's the term we use to, in genetics. to YouTube. No, ma'am, yeah. that's, the, that's the terms that I'm, I'm a geneticist, like I said before, I'm a material right. scientist. Be so, very careful because I don't want it spoken on my platform. I don't want no strikes of your misinformation if they consider it to be misinformation. Oh no, this this is a no ma'am, this is a term you can research when you look up what's called a eukaryotic and you look up the eukaryotic uh cells versus domestic. Okay, well let's go let's go away from that. Can we get on to something else? Yes ma'am. About so, the thing. Yes ma'am, it was all linked together. What I was saying is in the 17, 16, and 1500s you had all melanated tribes down there. And so when I was talking about 16, 16 in Costa Rica that's another million tribe that the Moors uh, kidnapped and dropped them off in um, Jamaica and Haiti. We also had the Nazca tribe. The Nazca tribe was also uh, another huge tribe with over three, four hundred thousand participants and users. That's still around Costa Rica, below or be above it. And so I'm bringing this up because the 15 through the 1700s was a very imperial time. Okay, slow down for one second, brother, because I. You said something very interesting that I, you're talking too fast, and I really want to, you know, oh, point sorry. some things out because you don't come up for ear. Yes, but um, when you say you know the Jamaicans, they they are West Indian. Yes, ma'am. They're, 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 they're not they're not all of not all of them are. Yeah, African, not all of them. Yeah, but I because I, I, I want to show you this. Um, hang on one second. Um. Yeah, because you have the pearl divers. They were uh, pearl divers. Okay, uh, but I, I just want to clearly point out. Let me take down this um thing since I know you're a legit person. <clears throat> Not all West Indians are um Africans. Yeah, I do want to point that out. Now there's a lot of them that I don't get along with. They be pissing me off. They be into that more shit. But I can certainly attest to them being identified clearly as West Indians, as you can see down here. 30 West Indian girl high resolution illustrations. Okay. Let's just get, get keep it a buck. These are yeah. West Indians. These are not Africans. They're West Indians. Okay. Yeah, correct. These um um the, the, these are Cuban Indians. They look just like West Indians too. They, they they're Cuban Indians. They are Indians. Okay. These are Indian baseball players who happen to be Cuban. These are Indians. Okay. So I, I, I just want to point that out because I don't like it when they point out people that are literally from South America um, and, and, and Central America and Canada that and the indigenous people are still in those land masses. Yeah, that, that's oh. what that's what I was trying to bring up to display that. But so, in, in a lot, a lot of the slaveries and 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 invasions, uh, they did go to those countries, those areas of the Americas, and grabbed them and brought and, and brought them here. But it wasn't in a manner in which we think. It's just like today, we opened the borders to these immigrants coming from different parts of the America too. Now, everybody that come through in there ain't from other countries. There's a lot of people in there from other countries. So when you're talking cartels, you are talking about people in um, like 
Mexico and Peru and all these other countries that are coming through. But they're migrants, some of them that are aboriginals coming here for work. And when you say that they're grabbing people and bringing them over West Indies, they're taking Indians in and out of the soil because we knew our soil. We knew how to build on our land. We had the materials to do it. The Europeans did not bring materials here. They were on boats and ships that could hold the multitude of materials. We knew the materials and we did do work for them like we're doing today. We are still the builders of our lands and we know how to plant the soils in our grounds. So when you hear the story of Indians being brought over here and placed in, in enslavement, you're placing them in employment and um, they're coming here by sailboats because you can take a sailboat from here to Jamaica and Cuba and the other Caribbean islands. So the stories that you hear that they're coming from Africa is not so. They're coming from those British areas on little boats over here to work. And they have put on some of these farms to work. So can can we at least attest to that? Yes, we can. All right, so you got it. Yes, ma'am, because um, when the Moors escaped the Inquisition, we're talking about 1650, 1600. They kidnapped the Mashika tribe. That's all melanated. They dropped them off in Jamaica, but still around 16. Where did they kidnap them from, um, Alan? Well, today is uh, Lamont. Lamont is a small port, the city off of Costa Rica. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. And so they took them down, tricked them, and thought that they was going to do pearl diving, but they took 60,000 and dropped them off to Jamaica. But during around the 16 and 1500s, the early 17s, there were no, um, as you see today, pale-skinned Hispanics, as you call them, whether you say in Mexico, uh, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Colombia, they were all melanated. And so when the Moors came over, they can attest to what I'm saying, anybody who has this type of information as a Moors, what they were doing in the areas, they would tell you that they were all melanated tribes that were down there. There, there was no uh, light skin, pale skin, or silky hair, all kinky hair and dark melanated tribes from the bottom of Chile all the way up to Mexico, all the way up to Canada. And so I'm saying this because they had to send the melanated brother to get the melanated brother. They could not send a white guy from Europe and say he hunted everybody down as to why there's no tribes today or there's a disassimilation. No, they sent the brother to get a brother out the jungle is what they did. And so Charles V did not release any uh, Caucasian or any Asian or any Latino. Nobody was released until 1730. And the reason he did this was because it was called the Manila slave trade. The Manila slave trade was not the African slave trade. The Manila slave trade is from the Asianics and the brothers and sisters of tribes from Philippines, uh, Ireland, that entire area. And so for 170 years from 1520, to 1690 is when it ended. This can be read off the Magna, New Magna Carta of the Papyrus. If you can read Latin, the day that I'm talking about, you can read about when did Charles sign this off. It was deemed illegal in 1690, but they had what's called the Moorish pirates. So now we have the Moors that they're not just Sephardic Jews, it's a crypt, crypto Jews or uh, the Puritans, another name. They have a bunch of different names, but they were also the pirates. So even though Charles V legalized this in 1690, they still had another transportation route to bring some illegally, but they still were Moors that were called the pirates. So they also continued this, uh, the transition of the slave trade. They dropped them off from what you call Texas, the Gulf of Mexico, or Louisiana, and we have Florida, and they still dropped some off on the islands. This continued all the way to the late 1700s. Now, 1730 is very prominent because now Charles sent the white folks or the Caucasians. They didn't come to hurt or kill nobody over there in Canada. As you were saying, you found out data that they were over here serving servitude. That's absolutely correct. But how, <coughs> how and when? Well, Charles V sent them over to continue to be servitude uh, service. Some of them he sent that were uh, uh, criminals. Some that did a little crime, nothing out of pocket. But, you know, breaking the law to 
over there in baby Europe at the time with Spain, Germany. He sent them over. And he also sent Caucasians over here around 1730 and 40 to be archaeologists so they could rewrite the true books. And when they find any data, any pyramid, any uh, megalithic arch uh, architecture structure, they can rewrite the real truth. So he sent archaeologists from uh, 1730, 1740 on up. But when he did this, he gave them the land. And so now we fill an extra blank. How did the Caucasian get 500 acres of land, 1,500 acres, 75 acres? Well, Charles V gave that to them. And so today... Well, because they was providing the transportation for bringing people over here. And they got... It was getting like 50 acres for every person that they brought over here on uh, with their transportation services. And I talked about that a couple of... Um, like last year, sometime in a year before, they yeah. were. So that 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 yeah. was that. But um, Lucky jumped to the panel. What's good, Lucky? How you doing today, Sister Ben? Hey, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm actually about to take a break. I'm on the way home now. Okay, what's good? What you got? So uh, I just had a. I want to add on, and I had a couple questions for the brother. Um, so the, the Huguenots that he's speaking on, is he saying that those are uh, black Africans that went up into France after the whole, you know, the no. war in Spain? What, how, no. Where are you where are you getting this Huguenot thing from? Good brother? No, no, no. Um, I, I have extensive resources I can provide sister with. No, what the Moors did was when they came as black slave owners, when they came to America and Canada, when they came over here, they had a a various amount of different lads in front, their names, their families. What they did as a part of the Inquisition situation, they formed a federation. It's called the Huguenots. So the Huguenots isn't one family. It isn't one um, um, one more situation. It's a federation of a compilation of a bunch of different uh, families in one tomb. So that's what I was saying. If you hear where <laughs> Huguenots versus Hasburgs, you know, the Hasburgs, you can trace that back and see the royal lineage You'll see uh, there's a statue actually right now in Spain. You've probably seen it. Where's a guy with an afro? He's dark skinned with a shield. And all the white people, not the white people, but the Europeans over there in Spain is actually protesting against this today because they were trying to take that statue down because they're saying that it's actually irrelevant to have a dark melanated uh, moor in the middle of this, the, the city. But that's the Hasburg family. And if you say Queen Elizabeth, the original one was 1555. She was a Hasburg. The the co the coca the cocaine you see with cartels the sugar plant plantations no the Hasburgs put all that in South America Colombia Peru that was back in 1555 so that's a Hasburg but you hear the other H word called the Huguenots well the Huguenots is a federation of a, a bunch of different families that formed their own coalition as Moors and you can find a bunch of them as the black slave owners here in America so, they would be called a Huguenot. So yeah, I know I know all about the Huguenots. I know I'm very familiar with the history of Spain, of the Moors, all of that stuff, brother. So I was asking specifically because one, the Habsburg is not Moors, right? And two, the Huguenots, the Habsburg like you said, there are a mixed multitude, yeah. right? The, the yeah, Huguenots, yeah. the Huguenots that you're speaking of, they come out of uh, being ran out of Spain. And when they was run out of Spain, they weren't just black people. There was uh, Arabs, there was North Africans, there was West Africans that got ran out of there, and they became Huguenots, right? So, when, so when we paint this broad brush, it's really why I came up here, right? Because brother, you keep saying melanated, and when you say melanated, it's no different than saying more. I'm no, not so, agreeing with no, that term. I'm saying no. that it's too broad. Melanated doesn't mean anything. Just like calling somebody a more. Because their brown skin or dark skin doesn't mean anything. You have no, to be no. What, what I what I I didn't mean to cause confusion by saying melanin or more because the word melanin can actually go back to a more term. I didn't mean to cause any confusion. I'm trying to paint a picture because if I get inside genetics, Sister Betty uh, told me to kind of watch myself. I can get inside the domestic eukaryotic uh, molecular pathways and structures that actually separate. Um, each term from someone that you just said an Arab, and that's why I started the conversation with her saying that King Charles V released um, the domestic eukaryotics in 1730, 
and and I she she really won't won't allow me to get inside the genetics of this. So I didn't mean to um incorporate the word melanin with more. And as far as the Hasburg, the Hasburg is a, a royal black European car, uh, family. You can look it up. Yeah, but like I said, I'm very well astute in this. Like I said, I've been I've been studying this for a long time. And the first time I heard the Huguenots being brought up like this was in 2015 from Lex Will. And I went and did a lot of research behind this stuff and I found out that it was not substantiated. It was I don't, listen, of, I don't listen to Lex Will though. I don't no, know. I got you. I, but I but I can tell by certain things that you say that you watch Lex Will, that you watch certain people. No, no, I I, I never want to talk about that. I want to talk about the information. I'm just saying that okay, okay. when you saying melanated, right, brother, you you're doing a disservice because those people aren't just black or just brown. That's that's too broad of a brush. You gotta, oh, so you gotta are you, are you Oh, so you saying you saying the ones that we see today, uh, as for example in Jordan, the Middle Eastern, you saying that complexion? Um, Jordan, Middle East, so you saying like a brown skin? Shh, I, I'm not. I'm, the point I'm saying, brother, is that that term is is too encompassing. So it can encompass those people. It oh, can encompass so Africans. Okay, so you're making cool. a broad brush. That's what I'm saying. No, yes, sir. No, I'm absolutely with you. If I'm using that term, melanin. And it seems to be omnidirectional. I uh, misappropriate any listener for think that's how I'm trying to use it. That's that's not what I'm doing. So if if it's causing an inter interruption and this is where you're describing it, I agree with you. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do with it, sir. Okay, it was just a little bit confusing because I'm I'm not a Moor, you know what I'm saying? And I know I know a lot of people don't uh, stand on Moore's information. So I was trying to figure out because it sounded like you was a Moor. You know what no, I'm no, no, no. I'm I'm telling you on the radio. I'm, I'm not a, a more at all. I'm a geneticist and a material scientist, so I'm, I'm not a more at all. I can actually get a little deeper within genetics and the dip, the in depth of material scientists and condensed matter physics. I can actually do all that, but no, I'm not speaking on behalf of more because, like I said, even the phrase melanin technically can also be attributed back to Gothic German or Christian. Um, English language, which would then still go back to a more. I'm only using this term as to show some type of uh, superconductivity as what melanin is. And since I study condensed matter physics, um, superconductive capacitors, melanin is a supercapacitor, those that have the uh, original prokaryotic genetics of it. And so that, that's what I was getting with. Also, the kinky hair. Um, I, I don't mean to disrupt or disrespect anybody by saying kinky hair. But um, I'm an electrical engineer, and so we use coils, the curvature of a coil. We like kinky coils, not a straight wire, or as you see, straight hair. The straight hair is the worst coil to use, like a power line, because it does not buck the magnetic induction. But when you add curvature to a coil or add curvature to a, a wire, and then the electrons follow that curvature, by the time the electron curve around the curve of the wire, the magnetic field has to slow down. And so it kind of separates the electro from the magnetic field. And so you see uh, those with kinky hair, they, everyone with the kinky kinky has the ability to channel um, what's called spatial temporal uh, scalar wave energy, not electromagnetic because you have the coil, called a Mobius coil, caduceus coil, kinky hair. And the straight hair, as we see those, we see a... Uh, the new Chinaman or the Middle Eastern or Caucasian, uh, uh, those we see in Mexico um, or Colombia, that's, that's called a recessive gene trait. That's straight hair, that's a straight wire. It does not buck the magnetic induction. So I don't, even if I use the word kinky, sir, I, I don't want to uh, get anybody saying I'm trying to diffuse or cause confusion. I'm trying to use a term that's uh, kind of familiar that I can describe. We don't think that, brother. We're, we're not. Okay. This platform is not rough like a lot of others. We we don't persecute people. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. If yeah. so I'm trying to um, use melanin inappropriately, you no, know, I redirect the term and anything that makes one feel comfortable using uh, any other substitution as a phrase, I would definitely use that because I'm trying to channel the data information to a specific direction as what I'm trying to um, implement in my conversation understandable lucky's not a bad guy he, he understands yeah i was just like i said i was just a little confused brother because like i had stated the way that you was using melanated but you already addressed it it was just a little loose for me you know what i'm saying yes sir and um you know we we deal with that from the moors that's what the moors do that's their playbook 
that as yeah, long as what, somebody yeah that's why i kind of brought up to the sister the last conversation i was on a few days ago and i was getting inside of genetics and stuff like that because there's a situation where when we use the moors as anything they have adapted themselves to the last time i was on this platform it was three or four or five of them attacking me and i was trying to explain the genetics that's it's not the original genetics here as is calm or negatropic negatropic or negative neg negantropy is when you see anything giving free energy to something plants do it trees get dielectric what's called negantropy um you probably heard the word called entropy entropy is something using heat and they're using somebody else or something the batteries that you use you got to keep charging your phone up the reason you have to keep charging some more because you have a device that is wasting energy which is bad and is using heat and converting it to electrical or mechanical energy that's the wrong way to use anybody or use an instrument you're supposed to have what's called nig entropy where the device does not get hot your battery does not overheat or something like that the moors have a very entropic um a, a tropic genetic trait where um a moor who has the genetics of a moor they get very pissed they get very upset they can go from zero to 100 in one second and so i studied this me and my colleagues we studied stuff like this in genetics and so how can we have the, uh, the more some of them get very very upset when you don't really believe in what they believe when you don't go for what they go for on um, the channel i brought up and i said last time there is not really one more channel out that say you know what we apologize for being the black slave owners we apologize for any atrocities that we have committed during our stay here 16 17 18 or anything we're doing today and none of them have any youtube instagram channel say you know what i'm a more and i apologize for any uh things that in the past we've done that is considered an atrocity they seem to not have the ability to not have that recognition we study stuff like this through the neural pathways the goji receptors uh we've studied from the serotonin levels and what i mean by we study the serotonin levels is if i tell him more something that he don't agree with we can look on our oscilloscope and our uh, ECG, that's a, a cephalon, we use electronic pulse, we could put something on the head to see the uh, the electron spikes of the brain. If I tell him more something that he does not agree with, we can look on the screen and we can see it go and spike all the way through the roof. And his serotonin levels might rebalance. Um, and we look at this and say, why is the cortisol level moving like this just because he heard, smell, or taste the something that he didn't agree with? But if I go get someone that's maybe saying they're not Moors, they can trace their trace back from being a little cleansed from the land of America or anywhere else. Give me one of the tribes out of Africa, for example, who have not been included to such a, a cotton of dissonant influence. If I get one of them and put that ECG device on their head, electron celagon device, if I put that on them, we can see it be it might remain normal while i'm asking a question they do or they don't agree with we can see we might be able to see a difference and the reason i'm breaking this up because we have species on the surface they're called prokaryotic which means you might be from this place naturally from a bacteria which means you actually came from nothing and then we might have those that were created in laboratories and cloning and so when you say you have a domestic dog or a domestic cat it's a difference from having a wild cat or a wild animal. Anything domestic means that someone just created it in a laboratory in the past one or two or 300 years max. That, wow, that, that's that means, interesting. That means that they're not from here. And to back my claim, on your own time, you can research and see that cats have 95% of the exact DNA genetics. And what I'm saying, it ain't one article. It's a ton of articles saying that cats, roaches, dogs cats pigs have the exact same genetic dna as humans but see when they say humans they're not talking about the real niggas from this place the real nagas that's from it they're not talking when they say the word humans they're talking about their creation even the word god goes back to gothic terminology and we say god god stands for geneticist of domain
So there we go, God being a geneticist. So when we say humans, we might be talking about the new species that are now here. That can be the Moors. That hold it one right. Oh, hold hold it right there one second. Let Goozy pry because Alan will not come up for air. He'll keep going. Yeah, I was trying to give him respect. Go but, yeah. But, <laughs> so um I want to unpack a couple of things. So when you said you were speaking about the genetics and stuff. There's not one genetic profile of what you call a Moor. That's why I was saying what I was saying earlier about the Huguenots, right? And that's why you can't you can't uh, argue with a, a a Negro from America, who you could probably track his lineage and you can tell it, it ain't go back to no Moors. But what happens is the Moors, like I said, is just a blanket term for what was taking place over in the Spanish Iberian Peninsula when they was going through their wars. So. The only people who would have Moorish lineage would be the people who was fighting in them wars and left them lands. If you didn't fight or you didn't leave or you're not from over there, then you don't have no genetic profile that matches you to them people. So no black American who, who should have some genetics that's close to us on this panel, it would not match anymore. Not a well, single no, one. No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not to cut you off. Right then and there, we, have, we, have, we found some slippage in the investigation. And so you said that no one on this panel, if we're on the same wavelength, we shouldn't have any type of genetics as the the, uh, the peninsula area. And so that's why we're bringing up during the 15 and 1600s, they were the black slave owners. They raped the women that were over here. They no, even, brother. They even forced women out of their care. Do we have over. any, uh, Alan? Oh, yeah, we have an astounding well, amount that. of evidence. Astound, yeah, I can see this. I mean, there's uh, a astounding amount of evidence that the black slave I, I, owners I, over here. I'm um, just like, I, I, I'm. This is why I'm saying this. Hey, Lucky, I'm just gonna mute you because I know you're driving, and you know you can unmute when you get ready to talk. I know you're driving. And you no, can't what he what he is saying what he is saying is absolutely correct. What, he, what he's trying to say is that. But but hold up, hold up, Alan, because you're going too fast. When you're saying that they came over here and raped, and it's like when I hear stuff like that, I have to really look at our people over here, the Indians here. We are this fierceful, fierceful group of people over here. And the more I hear stories about, oh, they came over here and raped the woman and did this and did that. Yo, bruh, we wasn't having that shit. We no, was, no, they, they didn't well, rape. Yeah, they didn't well, rape. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me speak for it. Let me dialogue for a minute. Yes, ma'am. When y'all, when I hear shit like that, it's like y'all weaken the ability of the Aboriginals and Indian that was here. Yo, we was fierce, so wasn't nobody coming up in here just raping people like that. You really, for us to be the powerful nation that we are now, even our people today, they can't even come in our hoods and believe that they're gonna get out alive. OK, so I can imagine how it was back then. You put too much weakness on our people when you say, oh, they came over here and they was raped. Ah. Oh, no, no, I now, didn't, no, no, now I didn't mean we to do hear that. we do hear stories of rape. When I hear stories of rape. By foreigners. Now, I'm not saying that we, we have rapes today going on here. People get raped today by all races of people. OK. It's facts that's in the news today but you keep saying that all this rape and, and, and you're weakening the indians over here it's no way because we're too powerful no well ma'am and, not... and no because you did say it you said they came over here and raped the women now i'm not gonna doubt and say that they didn't get some woman in the woods or pull them in the woods and probably a rape did take place because rape takes place today but what I'm just simply trying to say is you weaken us when when you say that as a people, when I know damn well we were powerful and we're still feared today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm not trying to cause any weak by any phrase or word, which is a placeholder being used to describe something. What I was saying is when the Moors who were the pilgrims, a.k.a. the Puritans, a.k.a. Sephardic Jews, so uh crypto Jews, they have many names. Okay, when you're saying these Sephardic Jews, you're saying they're black of, of melanated skin people. Um, not to defend the brother again. Yeah, no, 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 no
When I say because I've never, I, I really don't hear any stories of Jewish people raping people or like that. I no Jew, the Jew, the, the Jews are the Jews that are here. No, no, and, no, not not them. The, the Jews. When you say <coughs> Columbus, Zarcos, Charles V, Black royal families, Black European coat of arms families, their their other name was Sephardic Jews. The Jews that we're thinking of today is a different um, complexion and species. Okay. So I'm not so, bro, let Jews. me see real quick, bro, because I'm I'm the dot. So my my yeah. dad, he's Puerto Rican, right? He came from his family. Half his family came from Nigeria. I was doing my genealogy. I was back in the 1500s. I found a Muslim name marrying a Christian name, right? So I was like, oh shit, I might be a Moor. I was like, this was like back in the day, like 2015. So I'm looking, I'm doing all the research. I'm asking my dad, because really like my dad, he like a white, white skin Puerto Rican. He not white, but he, you know what I mean? He like a light skin Puerto Rican. Yeah. So I'm trying to give anything to try to get that nigga some, some color. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh nah, daddy, your real people, they was black. And yeah. then when I did, when I did my, my, my research and everything like that. Like I said, it comes to come to find out that little bit of uh Muslim that, that he had, he passed that on to me. So I got a little bit of um North African in me, right? And now when I seen that, I'm like, damn, bro. So where 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 that, where, that, where where did you find that the North Africans um lucky? So uh because I got North, North Africa is it's big not not it's not that old. That's why I'm asking you that, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking that because it's really not that old. They had to build North Africa. You follow what I'm saying? Maybe his phone off. Oh yeah, he did say his phone was gonna die. Damn, I would have liked to hear that. Um, what he had to say. He said his phone was dying. So. Yeah, but Miss Miss. Um, um, but can can you answer this question right here? Um, it says, Alan, can you explain what series nine is, please? Oh yeah, he's in the chat. He said his phone died. Okay, Lucky, you need to keep it plugged up while you're driving, bro. Get a car charger. Go ahead. Um, is he speaking about series nine as in series genetics number nine chromosome? Um. Copper, are you speaking about series nine as in chromosome? Genetic chromosome number nine. Wait, I'll wait for him to chat. He types pretty fast. And also, Sister um, Thunderbolt, this was no shot to aim at any. <laughs> this was no oh, shot this, to they, aim they, at... they, they said that you're lying when you say you didn't hear Top Cats. I, I'm, well, to call me a liar is to basically tell me. You know, I'm irrelevant. You never I, heard of legendary Top Cats? Man, to Mr. Donald, now the 60-year-old G. Grant, I'm just telling from, um, I've never heard of uh, Tom, uh, Tom Cat. Top Cat. I, I, yeah, man. Maybe, because, maybe man, he I didn't, did, Mr. Donald. He probably didn't hear him. No, I haven't heard him. Cause I, I really don't, I don't know. I'm not on YouTube a bunch. I've ran across your channel <laughs> because of your topic. I, I'm normally in a... I do a, a enormous amount of research with colleagues and stuff. Just that I never yeah. seen someone say, you know what, the Moors is a entirely different situation, breed that they're not addressing. So when I ran across your channel, and it seems a, a, a your gender female that's standing on this, standing, I say, wait a minute, let me provide maybe some assistance and some of the stuff that she might be looking towards. And so that's why I'm saying I'm not trying to weaken the tribal uh, ancestry by saying the women were raped. That that's not what I'm only meant by that. Um, uh, some of the Moors form relations. There's a bunch of stories on Moors that are uh, not Moors to in um to piss anybody off, but those that came from the European establishment when they came over um during the 15, 16, 1700s. Some of them form natural relationships with some of the tribal women because they blended in. Yeah, so, I I can agree with that. Willie yeah, tells me that. Yeah. So today we see on YouTube we actually have the Moors who are trying to you know, act like they're normal, but they actually will blend in. And I'm not saying something bad, but they invade. The no, I, I agree 100%. Yeah, they they, uh, they're sneaking, cuddly snakes. Yeah, right? what, yeah, I so was in not, that community for a whole year and didn't realize who I was amongst. Exactly. So when I was on the live stream, you probably seen how all four or five of them attacked me. 
And I wasn't really aiming at the morals. I was giving the, the data of facts based on science research or something like that. The Moors are uh, they came as invaders and they also came to infiltrate. There is no doubt about that. When they did that, we have data showing they was over in the fourteen hundreds. Um, well before Chris even came over here. Chris only came to set the standard down. And, and see, I, that's another thing, Alan. I'm I'm having a hard time believing the little fairy tale Christopher Columbus story because it's like it's like really weird. Well, he's that's Zarkos. His name isn't Chris. That's a patent name. So the same way we patent things, and you put your name and say, I patent this, I take credit for this. I didn't that know they had patents back in them days. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, like I say, I was that's you mean why to I tell asked, me in 1492 they had a patent. That's what it, that's what patents, copyright, all the terminology used today are uh royal black european coat of arms where where was the patent office at if you, if you don't mind my accent in 1492 so 1490 was no there was no office over here. there was nothing over here but if, if that's why i asked for your email what? You wait are, a minute in the 1400s that's no, here, another here. thing we see that's what i'm talking about here no. we were not people that was in the woods we lived in beautiful homes and no stuff. not not that i'm saying um to establish what's called um a corporate because corporate means a, a death of a, a business the when the moors uh the european coat of arms sent the moors because these are two separate entities we have the moors who are the foot soldiers what i want you to think about the moors are foot soldiers they had no background in mathematics they were not mathematicians archaeologists oh my god you can't tell them that I, that's so I, this is exact but I, what the Moors will tell you, and they keep standing on this. You hear they them? Did, they did every fucking thing and, in the and world. I'm, and I'm like, and I'm, come on. Half of the motherfuckers can't even put on a doorknob. It speaks it's, for itself it's, today. Exactly. So, but they do have what's called the Black Royal European Coat of Arm families who tell them what to do. So, when we say Leonardo da Vinci, when you say Columbus, these guys they were experts in mathematicians. They were mathematicians. They were archaeologists, electrical engineers. <laughs> However, they did not pass that type of applied scientific data and knowledge to these moors so it's as if they made the moors the foot soldiers who want to be the muscle they didn't want to include and be very smart they okay wanted... well let me let me ask you this because i this is another thing that i just like disagree with the moors with and maybe forgive me for being blind for not doing hefty research but these moors really make it seem like white people just didn't know how to do shit which is kind of hard because all these white businesses that are being built today, they're they're building these tall buildings, these skyscrapers, they're putting up fucking housings and w w within a projected period. If they want a housing project put up within a year, that shit is met. And today, these same guys claiming to be black Moors. I can't even say, hey, I'll pay you 50 bucks if you put a new lock on my um door. Them motherfuckers don't know how to do it. That so that so that it just don't make no fucking sense. So that's what I was trying to tackle the last conversation I was uh talking the last on your talk show about. I was trying to tell you that the Royal Black European Coat of Arms introduced what's called the Renaissance era. So once the cloning facilities released the domestic or not to say it on your channel but once they didn't want anybody to be out without applied science to do the bidding the brother said that last time when we was on he said yeah i'm very familiar with yeah they're here to do the bidding yeah but they taught the caucasian um applied science during 15 so are, are you are you a more alan because people seem to think you're a more are you or are you not uh, no no ma'am um, what no, are you how do you identify I'm just a geneticist that studied material scientists. No, I I'm, mean, what is your uh, race identity? I mean, are you? Uh, I don't know. What, I don't know what you look like. So, oh no, I'm dark skinned. I'm very dark. I mean, so what is your race? Are you African? Are you? Oh no, um, no, no. My, my, I have, I have my great grandma and great all of my people. They were um from tribes. Some from Cherokee. They're from the tribe. I, I don't know. Oh, so you're Indian. Uh, um, if that Aboriginal would, Indian, that would bring the approach. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm okay. not more. I'm, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm showing to answer your question. Where did the Caucasian get the bill set of electrical engineering, 
chemical engineering architecture is called the renaissance era the renaissance era was 1550 through 1690 where they uh -huh. taught where they taught them geometry geometry they taught them algebra they who taught, taught them, who, uh, who who taught who honey the black european coat of arms introduced these institutions over there in spain over there in germany they introduced it so when you say leonardo da vinci there's plenty of data center that was a dark skinned brother also, but he was a Moor. But not just a Moor, a black noble Moor, which means he was a part of the European coat of arms of royalty. Here's an example right here. When you see a celebrity, $300 million like Tyler Perry, and then we see somebody on YouTube who says they are Moor, but they dead broke and they have no type of applied science background. This, this the same thing existing then, it's existing now. We have those in Hollywood worth a billion, a hundred million dollars. Kevin Hart, there's a video out and there's data showing that he never grew up poor. He's a part of the how the Hart um I forget his uh the change his name, but he's a part of the coat of arms also. But if we look on Instagram and YouTube and all the brothers saying that they're more than more than more, but they don't have the bag, nor do they have any type of political power. That seems to be the same thing that happened a it's while kind ago. Of weird because I um um I found it to be kind of weird because um, Tyler Perry was born in Louisiana. So, I mean, this man literally. Well, see, that's on the catch. The wait, 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 because you, you know too much about somebody's life. This man was nearly a homeless living on the I street. Know the, I know the story they gave you, so, man. They all have the same story. It's on the no, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, 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 Alan. Okay, well, Chief Dunn, can you name yeah. one celebrity? Wait, 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 wait. 50 Cent grew up in the hood in, in, in New York. The, these people, you, you know, you're saying these things about these people's life, but yet you provide no proof. Okay. I well, don't like to talk to people that speak about people and then don't supply the evidence. Well, I tried Words to get, coming out of your mouth remember is I tried, not evidence. I, remember I, I, I tried to get an email. You didn't want to give me an email. I got the email that you no, sent. No, your me. email so I can give you the resource. I no, gave you the Alan, Alan. I gave I, I gave you my email and you sent me an email. How old are you? Because no, I still have your email that you sent me. No, you sent I sent you my email. Remember Thunder asked you for yours so I could send you. You say no, no, no. I just need yours. And I told you I would send you all these documents, science, genetics, and all the resources. And you say you only wanted my email. That's, okay. that's that's what you asked for, so that's all I could do at the time. But I asked for yours so I could send you documents. And so what I want to ask you, Miss Thunder, is name me one celebrity that came out and said that my background is a royal coat of arms. You, you're not going to be able to name one or two. That means that they're hiding. Everywhere. Well, we don't know that. We don't. We don't know that for sure. No, a, we, a bum on the street found. Royalty, so I, I I don't know. I like I said, I don't agree with everything. I hear, I don't, and I can't. I'd be a fool to do so. Uh, I really would, but I appreciate it, you know, because I let you just ramp, you know, dialogue for an hour. I do love vibing with people, but sometimes we just gotta slow it down a little bit, brother. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Slow, just slow it down a little bit. Lucky, you're back here. You got your car charger, bro. My laptop. Okay. My mic good though. Everything clear. Yeah, you're clear. You okay. Keep no, I didn't want to. I don't want the brother to feel like I'm attacking him or nothing like that. Because no, we, 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 he knows you're not attacking him. Yeah, I'm a, I'm aware of okay. it, brother. I know you're not attacking me. I know you're not attacking. Me. Yeah, because I just because like I said, when I be saying stuff like where you might have got the like a video from or something like that, a lot of people take that as a slight. But really, I'm just trying to show people certain people like I've I've come across this shit as well. You know what I mean? So I don't want people to take it as a slight when I say you you watched such and such or you you got this information from here and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Cause uh, you know, I mean, when you started talking Huguenot, like I said it just it screamed uh Carimio Lex Will. And then when you started talking about the different um the different little the di different little things you said, it just kept reminding me back to like I said, like some Carimio type stuff. So I just wanted to gain some gain some clarity 
and I, I feel like I'm still not any clearer on, on what's happening right now. So, like, are you a mm-hmm. say, help, say it again? Yo, Mike, say you can hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, brother. So, just are you a, are you a black European? No, sir. Okay, so he he said he's Cherokee. Okay, I'm from Cherokee. yeah, my yeah, I have a I have a long uh, lineage a background from where I'm um, from Florida, Florida and Georgia. Oh, uh, what part of Florida? Uh, right now, I'm right here by Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Oh yeah. So ta- yeah, Tampa is right across the street from you know ninety miles from uh, Orlando. Then I'm also in Miami, also. So I have I have I have family all up and down uh, Florida, the Panhandle, and Panama. But right now I'm located right here in Hillsborough County in Tampa, Florida. Oh, you in Hillsborough County? Okay, yeah. I uh I be going to Tampa all the time. I be going to Bush Gardens. My cousin's yeah, there. Yeah, Bush Gardens right there on Bush, Bush and uh yeah. 30th or something like that. Yeah. So you um so you say you you identify as American Indian. So yeah, what I, it's what, not what me brought identifying you to the community? My- that's why I was saying the sister. I was actually studying. I'm in the lab a lot. Um, I'm over the USF uh, University of South Florida, and so I'm a geneticist and I'm a, I'm a material scientist. I was actually studying crystallography and condensed matter physics. I had to have the book open just listening, looking at it. And so I looked on, the, on my phone. Her um, sister Thunderbolt page came up, but it was the headline that stuck out. And I say, wait a minute, is somebody saying something that they don't agree with uh, the Moors being from this place? I said, I have to listen to this. I, and so it was just maybe like five, four or five days ago. And I never really seen a headline with somebody saying, no, I have to speak out about they keep saying that they're from this place and they're trying to force their hand to be here. And so once I seen the headline, I just started listening. And I was actually sitting outside with the books open with two of my colleagues and just listening to what she was saying. And I seen that she was, you know, it was her back against the wall. And I told him, I say, I guarantee there's a whole bunch of uh, Europe, European uh, Moors that's all in her channel. She's very unaware of it, but they're acting like they're on that side of the leaderboard. And it's funny, I'm saying it's because maybe two hours ago, Chief Thunderbolt said it that she's taking all her wrenches back because she feel that the wrenches that she provided to the channel users may have been misused by those she gave the wrench to and we saw that because i said you know she's by herself and she's a female and that topic that she's attacking is going to bring them all out so that's how i found it though seen and you had I'm never glad you nobody found me to... i'm glad you found me brother i and it, it just shows that you know the content is being shared and I, I think you're a very nice man. You know, you just need to slow down so that we can ask you questions. A lot of people can't come on the panel because they're either working, driving, listening in, or whatever they're doing, have planned to do. But yes, ma'am. I just need you to slow down so I could ask you some of the questions. Okay. <laughs> he got me. And I'm not Sister Thunderbolt. <laughs> Oh, um, Chief this, Thunder, I'm sorry. Chief Thunder. <laughs> she can That's on funny. The lately, though. That's why uh, I have to because. Uh, yeah, you just hear the Thunderbolt on somebody, didn't it? You said special shots. I heard a Thunderbolt in the background. So. Well, <laughs> I, I took off the morning because I used to start my shit in the morning. But I took the, the morning off because I this thunder comes all times of the days. Okay, okay. <laughs> but. I I think you're a very interesting man. I I, I swear I've seen your name somewhere before. I just don't know where. No, this is actually my hey, first Cosmos. time. This is my first uh, time ever getting on the stream yard ever. Mm, yeah, that's why really. I, I, yeah, because when you when you said to go live that night that I was talking to you, I was around my niece. I didn't know it was that simple to press the link and then I can just get on. I thought you had to uh be a, a a paying subscriber or already be linked to a stream yard so i never did this before it was my niece that took my iphone and she said look you just press this press this and you can run your mouth so this is my first time ever, ever talking on a live stream so i don't know where you could have seen my name before from 
It looks so familiar. That's all. Well, I think you're a very smart man. For sure. But I like I do like to hear everyone's oh OCO Miss Aboriginal Turtle. Could you do me a favor, sister? Could you please um could you contact Dane? I'm gonna be live for a little bit more and see if he has a moment to um come to my panel. I'm gonna pin the link to the top because I don't know where else to pin it or if you could copy it and give it to him because I would really like to talk to him I really would but honor to you um, beautiful sister Miss Aboriginal Turtle I, I would really appreciate it Hey, but you guys y'all got it I'm sorry that boy is the lab they talking he working uh -huh. oh could you get back in touch with him. He's probably busy. I hope you can, Miss Turtle. Could you? I put the link in the chat. If you could copy it and send it to him, I, you know, I'm not gonna let nobody on the panel, but I would really want to talk to him. Um, but y'all, y'all got it, Alan. I, oh, thank you, thank you, Miss Aboriginal Turtle. Um, Alan. Yes, ma'am. How? What era are you? Are you X generation? Are you Y Z? You have such great manners. Well, I'm 35. I'm 35. I'm 36 years oh, old. Oh, you're you're a millennial, millennial baby. You're a yes, millennial no. baby. <laughs> what what state are you out of? If you don't mind my asking. Yeah, that's why the guy that just I think he just clicked off his phone and went dead again. I'm from I'm from where I guess he said he had family from right here in Florida, um, in Tampa. Oh. Oh, okay. I my um family is from Tampa, Florida. Yeah, yeah my I, dad. My dad is from Tampa, Florida. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because he just the guy got off said he know about Bush Gardens. That's why I say yeah, uh, Bush Gardens. Oh, that's lucky. He's back. I want. I just want to put my overlay up and make sure that's him because I got a, people that like to come in and pull their pants down and sh porn by me. Is that you, Lucky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's okay. crazy, sister brother. You be having them, you be having them whack jobs on your channel. <laughs> Man, yeah. I just don't trust it. I haven't had it in a while, but I think Sarah's suit and SETI um um did that to me because after I was messing with him in his chat room, I got a porn bomb. <laughs> and I know it was somebody from his team. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> So but uh, you going I, I heard you was going to get in the debate room. <laughs> no, honey. Um, actually, I don't know if you missed the yeah, very miss beginning of my segment. I'm actually just gonna uh, remove myself from that community. It's not the community for me. Oh, um, yeah, I definitely missed that. Okay, okay, yeah. Let me. Yeah, let me I, I, you might have to go go back. I'm I'm not going to be visiting that community because. I, I like to keep peace and I don't I don't agree with Moors at all on no levels. And I'm just gonna stick to myself, you know, um and do use that time that I've been devoting on focusing on things in my own nation that I've been lacking to do. Um YouTube is a real escape for me. Um from my day-to-day -day routines. So I come live to get away, run away from the work that I do during the day. People think that when I'm listening in and stuff, that I'm literally doing work. And it's oh, sometimes it can be overwhelming. That's true. That's true. And at the end of the day, you got to protect your mental health first. You know what I'm saying? So, Yeah. Yeah. It's not... Yeah, I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to be pouring out what I got. And if they want to debunk it, they could debunk it by just looking at my channel and then going live because it'll create content for them to talk about. I think I think that's better. I'm just putting my information out and people either reset it, reset, accept it or reject it. And 
they have something to talk about on their own platforms. I'm just going to stay in the Indian community where I'm more comfortable at and where I don't get smoked because we Indians, Aboriginals, we agree. We agree. So you just feel like it's too many more... I feel like they just coming out right now. You know what I mean? Because it's it's. I I I've, I've never re- I never related with Moors. I I never believed their history teachings. I don't. Even when they show their books and and, and teachings, it's from some guy that wrote about Moors. I, I don't believe in their lecturing. I don't. They a lot of them. They show a lot of pictures, and then they tell stories put stories to it. A lot of Hebrew Israelites do that too. They'll open up and show a picture and then tell their own story to it. Kind of like when we were in preschool and the teacher made us all sit around in a circle. I don't know how they did it for you when you were little, but when he said to give him a few minutes to get, oh, nice. Okay. Thank you. Kind of like when we were in little school, the teacher would sit us around in a circle and show us pictures and tell us a story. So that's how I look at a lot of their work. And it then gets planted in very young, vulnerable people's heads. That's how I look at the Moors lecturing. I feel like we agree on that. Uh that's that's a that's a it's it's a tactic that they picked up, but it's not just Moors that do it. I, I see white uh white people, they be doing the same thing, you know what I mean? With they and they little shit. They get a little picture and then they go to talking about it and then it'd be a it'd be a description at the bottom and you just talking right over the description. That's what be killing me, right? So <laughs> more, they'll tell you it's like some grandos, it's Charles the Fourteenth and all this, and then the bottom of the picture it'll say it's freaking uh, a damn worker or something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, like kind of like this. Now this is literally I I. If that top row wasn't up there, I would not talk about this, the back of the dollar bill. I wouldn't. See, if that script wasn't, like you're saying, Lucky, you see the writing up there, we are reminded of Casa Tanago's words still today when he looked at the back of a $1 bill. Chief Casa Tanago is one of the chiefs of one of the six nations of the Iroquois Confederacy. And he it was them who strengthened the 13 colonies. They, them joining in helped them to develop a powerful 13 colonies because the 13 colonies became 13 states. And they only became 13 states because Cotton and Satago and them joined in. And if that wasn't pointed out to me in the top, and if it was just blank, like a moor won't put that up there. They won't. They'll, they'll wipe that part out, right? Or, you know, put like a piece of tape over it. And then they, they'll look show you the back of a dollar bill and say, see these six arrows here? We the Moors. We put that there. And they're holding that stick because we the gods. And the wings represent the ego is what represent us being the gods because of, uh, of our high intelligence. They'll do some shit like that. And I'll be like, nigga, you lying. That's not how it happened. That I would come in. I would be the chick that come in and say, you telling a damn lie. Because this chief of the Air Cross Confederacy, who does not identify as Moors, joined in with the Europeans that uh, established the 13 colonies. And they became the 13 states. That's what that is. That's me coming after Moors. And that's why Moors don't like me. That's like me saying, Sister Beth, that you you know the Android company LG. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got my Android phone, LG. Yeah. That's like me grabbing the LG phone and somebody saying, "Brother, what does LG stand for?" And I say, "Brother, it stand for Lucky Goose, man. You don't know that, like, brother. It's, <laughs> there's evidence yeah. that says that it doesn't stand for Lucky Goose, man. So I would look like a fool to anybody who knows what LG really stands for. And that's what happens. The Moors, they look like fools to anybody who knows real information when they go to talking about this fanciful stuff, about this being the real Africa and all this crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I, you know, I heard somebody say that before. Have you ever heard of that, Alan? Yes, ma'am. When yes. somebody said that this is Africa, this is originally Africa. That's that's what I'm saying. We 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 have a situation by diverting the attention. Anytime you give some attention, um, your retinas a performance called optical direct electron transport. So as soon as you give something your attention, it acts as a huge energy that you're actually uh, projecting. So if you give them more, I'm a beat girl. Any <laughs> attention, this is the problem. You cannot give them any attention. The attention is going to be diverted and allows your dopamine to be uh distracted. That's the whole point of commercials popping up. Um, it distracts you from what you was actually doing. What well, actually is your dopamine chemistry is unbalanced, and you don't want that. So by paying more or anybody attention, by even listening to what they're saying, you're diverting your attention. If we was, uh, as tribes, if studying applied scientific fields, no one would have the ability to give them attention because you would be studying whether it's computer science, whether it's physics, upgrade your mathematician skills. Once you start to divert into that paradigm of applied science fields, you the Moors will not have the ability to try to expand their attention to divert your attention to waste your electrical discharge at your retinas. So because we keep giving them attention and saying that we're from over here and y'all from over there, those that put them in charge, the black coat of arms, want that to happen because you're going to waste your entire timeline arguing back and forth but that's what they put them in position to do and that's why wow. I was, that's why i was beginning the conversation to try to tell you that the black coat of arms were very highly intelligent in applied science fields i told a brother on the last screen you had that the cross that's inside um Genghis Khan hand that cross is what we study in physics because that's called scalar wave inferometry weapon hold that up, thing oh, man oh hold you up knew I heard him before I don't want to cut your wisdom you was on the panel last time when sister Bethy was on, and I came up here yeah he was yeah okay, I, I was yeah, trying to because I, I thought I thought you sounded familiar brother but you said you hadn't been up here so I, you was making me feel like I was crazy for a little bit. No, I told <laughs> no, no, no. I, this, no, this is the first time I was telling this the first time I was since the best is the first time I've ever been on any live streams or channels. It was the last time I've never been on him because she said she's seen my name oh, okay, before okay. somewhere. It's yeah, so, I don't know why I that name sounds so familiar to me, but yeah, I, that's I, a, I don't know. Yeah, that's a laser inferometry weapon because we uh I'm in high physics and we study this type of technology. Have you ever um do you know um brother Sanchez? Yes, ma'am. I've seen his channel before. Yeah, he he he's a beast and in, in, in this this kind of stuff. Have you ever visited him to uh dialogue with him? I would really love for you to uh get in a dialogue with him and you reach out to him because he I think y'all would have right one of the best builds ever okay together because he he's a beast uh, 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 it, you know it's like we're um, our strength is in different areas we all have these born gifts me uh, the topic you're talking about is something I would sit back and listen to all day. And that's what I do when I get into a Brother Sanchez mode. And he just flows, just like you. And you kind of remind me of him when you're teaching, because he flows like this. Sometimes he'll get on his panel and go live, and he could talk for like three hours straight with no interruptions by himself, because he's lecturing. He get in that mode. And I think y'all two would be awesome together. You need to reach out to him because I'm a big, big fan. He's a flat earther. You do know that, right? Yeah, I, I see he, has, he, he stays on the flat uh, earth. On the I'm a flat earth. He got me convinced because I grew up on the globe. We all did. You know that big old globe that they had in the school, in, in school, the big globe yeah, um, but, yeah, that we've really been taught. Yeah, that was really showing Cartesian coordinates, um, that type of coordinate system. It's called Cartesian coordinate of polar system. And it's, you're using a ball to dignify direction. And so what they did is confuse anybody to look at the ball to try to in, um, give them direction. But everyone interpreted as that's what the world is. And that's called doublespeak. And so by introducing doublespeak, that's a very poisonous thing to in, uh, introduce to any uh, society 
as a form of communication because therefore this one thing can mean a bunch of things and that's not really what you really want to do and so that's cartesian coordinate polar systems um that you're introducing i said i gave you uh the uh, last time i was in the chat was a channel called vibes of cosmos um vibes of cosmos is just a channel i'm trying to introduce to you to show that the full moon shows a bunch of uh, land masses that you're not going to ever see on the mainstream map the map you normally see is europe africa you know south america but on a full moon that's a laser projection it's a plasma beam up there so it actually reflects every other thing that's you're not you're not normally going to see on a map and oh so a boy you need to get in touch with i don't want to take this to cosmetology because that's his thing you really need to get in touch with him. Brother Sanchez is a beast. And I think that you and him together will have a wonderful dialogue. But I don't want to take the panel there. I just mentioned Brother Sanchez just based on what you're lecturing about. And I really like it. I think you're a very intelligent young man. We have a lot of men in your age era that are just so lost. And to hear from men in the millennial area. It's just, um, they amaze me because so, so many of them were overlooked when it came to education. Yes, and that's true. And Brother Sanchez is in your era. He's a millennial. And um, he's very wise. And it, it gave me hope. It's men like you that give me a lot of hope with the millennial men. Because so many of them were just, they, they just got the bad end of the spoon, man. The influence. Yeah. And, and the influence getting the best of uh, I think influence. Lucky might be a millennial too. What where were you yeah, what year what's your era, Lucky? I was born in ninety six, so I'm oh like, god, Mookie, like my daughter's the... older than you. She's like you're my nephew's age. Yeah, I'm on that line time. Of Z and millennial. Yeah, you yeah, Mookie was born in ninety two. I think you're born the same year as my nephew, my brother's son. Yeah, like about all my peoples and shit like that. Like all the people I roll with, they was like early nineties. Like I, I used to roll with the older cats. I think it's cause my, you know, my my my, my cousins and my aunties, they were the ones who was watching me. So, you know what I mean? Oh, so, okay. Yeah, just naturally, just gravi gravitate to you know all my friends. They like 29, 32, You know what I'm saying? I'm only twenty seven. So. Okay, yeah, you're right there with my nephew. I think my daughter's four years older than my nephew, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, you you're in the era where your men your age, young men your age, y'all was into Blade. I thought y'all was retarded though. Who you Blade? Like I ain't never like Blade. That was that might have been <laughs> <laughs> my nephew. Oh my god, he used to be so hey, embarrassing glasses, when he was little. Hey, them glasses we, was everywhere crazy. He's see, <laughs> every we would take that new nigga out. He's about your age now. He used to take him to the mall, right? As soon as he seen a circle in the middle of anywhere, he would lay in it and act <laughs> like he was Blade. <laughs> I used to be like, boy, get up. I used to be, people used to be watching him and he used to fake like he had a Blade sword and shit. He's your age now. But I'm like, oh my God, he's so embarrassing. Anywhere that nigga seen a circle. He was just like infatuated. Y'all, era was infatuated with Blade. <laughs> No, I was a Dragon Ball Z nigga, so I used to watch. Cartoons. He was too. My bro, well, my brother was more so into Dragon Ball Z. I couldn't <laughs> stand to come home. I, I I was so glad when he got his own apartment. He was living, <laughs> he was living with like me, and I would come home from work. I come home from work. This is when I didn't work from home, and my brother, remind you, was two years younger than me, and. I would come home from work and he's watching Dragon Ball Z all night, smoking weed. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You need to get your own place with your son. I'm going to be come home and then take over the remote control. And he was rude in his mouth. He's still rude now. He's still rude right now, my brother. He's 55. And he still takes over anybody's TV. I don't care who else he go over. He must have been born in July. We, we, he, he, no, he, he was a damn hardhead Gemini. Oh, yeah, Gemini. June. They take over the TV. G Geminis, they're bossy. And he's very bossy. Arrogant. <laughs> I don't even know how he got a woman. You know what my brother did? He went out and got a woman like my mama. 
That's what he did. He went out and found a woman like my mama. And she's way older than him. And I'm oh. like, I, ain't no way in the world I could have married well, him. He a like player then. So he a player. Okay. No, he's not a player. He's a good homebound man. My brother is very, very, I don't know how the hell he was born in the North and act exactly like a man from the South. My brother grew up in the hood all his life, but he was not sociable. Uh, it's 12 of them. He's one of 12, but he's the oldest boy. And it's like, he moved to South Carolina where he need to be. Maybe the ancestors called him back because he needed to move down there. He got a woman that's older than him, and she get up and she cut potatoes for him and fry him baked um, home fried potatoes and cook grits. Oh, yeah, and it up. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how she do that. All that he, to me, his mouth just doesn't deserve it. He's rude. Yeah, man, he pee, man. He, he said, might be oh, no. home I gotta do it. Pee, I gotta cook it for your brother because he. I'm like, yeah, oh he, no, he could be uh -uh. loyal, but that's player. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that. You feel me? No, my brother's very, very loyal. He believe in. Morals. Yeah, that's how you do it. He believe in morals, and he's a good man. He's not an abusive man, but he he believe his life in the older way, like husband, wife, children. He go out work. Wife gets the check. She do all the shopping and everything. Just leave his money for his weed and his bear. And you got the rest of the check to yourself. That kind. Maybe all of us need that kind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it is. That's oh, how it is. oh, you guys. I'm going to have you guys hold up for a second. Hey. What, what's up, sis? How you? I'm good. I missed you. I, I first, I'm going to get it started. I, I I want to apologize to you, okay, and and your wife. I really do. I owe both of you an apology because it's just a part of YouTube that I didn't understand, and I I didn't realize that I owed you an apology because I really thought I I, I knew what I was doing fully, and I I do owe you an apology, and I'm sorry. And I hope you and Tanisha could forgive me because we were very close. And I really, the whole time, I always missed you guys. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, of course I would accept your apology. Um, and I'll pass that along to her, but she's in her office right now. I get it. Um, and I was just bothering her. I'm not trying to bother her again. And she getting ready to record. But I'll I let get her it. know for sure. But I really, really wanted to apologize to y'all because I owe it to I owe it to both of you. I, I won't go into grave detail about anything because it's not for all of YouTube. I don't do that. But I do miss y'all. I do. I, I thought about going live about it before and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger person about it. Sooner or later she'll catch it with her being uh her mindset, with the way your mindset is set, you'll catch on. And um, you did. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I miss, I, I missed y'all. And, you know, I'm just staying over here where I need to be. You know, I I, I still, you know, love uh, Ad Power and have a lot of respect for um, uh, um, um, his wife, Rocky. But I just need to be over here because there were things I didn't understand. And I didn't, like I said, I'm still learning. And when I came in YouTube, you know, I did find A1 first, but I spent the majority of my time in your platform where I learned a heavy hell a lot. And I wouldn't even have a channel if it wasn't for you. Because I'll never forget that day. It was funny. We were on a live with App TV. <laughs> And the next thing I knew, I, I yeah. only had like 12 subscribers. But when you left, I had damn near a thousand. Yep. So I shared your channel on the um community tab. Yep. And you told them all, oh, you told them, hey, you was talking to your people <laughs> to tell them to come over here. Yeah, just have some coffee with us. And but also yeah, I mean, I see the thing is, as far as other people is concerned, as far as the involvement. I'm not including you with, you know, what certain other people were doing. Um, 
It's just that when I started pacing myself, you understood why. But I needed you to see that on your own. Because, like I said before, the last conversations we had uh, over the phone, I let you know there's only one way for you to find that out, is if you find that out on your own. As far as what direction, you know, you gonna go as far as associating yourself with certain people. But yeah. um Yeah, I I, yeah, I paced I, myself and who? pulled back off of that, you know, because of that reason. For that reason. Because um a lot of people within my inner circle disagree with a lot of things <laughs> uh that they saw other people doing. And then when they were gravitating towards me, it was just mainly just to try to get my reach. Um to try to, you know, gain subscribers. And I knew that. I just didn't care. I, my point was this. If they legit, you know, they legit. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, for, I'm definitely going to pass it to her uh, and let her know. It's mainly her and my mom, for real. It was both of them, my mother and her. Yeah, that, that hurt me, but your mom did come in the chat. Um, she wanted after. to speak with you. She you know, she I, she did, and but I was I, I was in tears. I had to turn my camera off because this is. She came in the chat right after, you know, you and I stopped talking. My mother never got a chance to speak with you about the situation, but she kept. I wish she had. She a, was the one that was like, uh, not she. See, my mother don't play that. You know, my mother from DC no, for no. real. Yeah. And she wanted to have a conversation with you, woman to woman. Um, but you being a little you. younger than her, I wanted her to, you know, I wanted y'all to speak because she saw what happened. But, um, mm. of course, you made your own decision in that route. And that's what I kept trying to tell Ma. I said, she grown, Ma. Let her. I know. You know I, I just wanted, I wanted peace because the people that I stopped talking to are actually people that I was, I really admired. One of them being Empress Holbert. She just didn't know how much I admired her. That's all. And we pieced it up. We've been cool since. With Chief Holiday, I was so, he was like the person that I was when you weren't available. He was like a brother. And he still is. I, I was so close to him. And he. I learned a lot from him. And I just did not want to have no, 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 no. Silence yeah, I mean, keep us. in mind, this is what you, what you, and I said this before, what you do with other people is what you do with other people. That ain't none of my right. business. You already, I, yeah, you always told me that, but I still remain to this day. I, I still love him like a brother. Uh, you know, he doesn't give me bad information and neither does Empress. Um, But I'm at peace. It's just that I learned that and I'm not going to talk about nobody individually. I, I learned that I just need to stay in the Indian community. And I was so glad the other day when you did that build and your explanation of Aboriginal and Indian being one and the same. I was so glad to hear that because for a long time, I always heard you say Niji. And, I still do. Um, Indian, right. And I said, oh, my God, he came out and explained it. And I was right. It's because they heard the me same. in my earlier video saying Indian and Aboriginal. I was saying both terms. Yeah. I'm talking about 2016 all the way up to probably about 20, 2021. See, I, I wasn't was saying here Indian and Aboriginal. 2016. I was mm -hmm. I was not here. I was new literally in 2019. And the other day, I you just don't know how relieved I felt. I watched it twice already. That same video you put out about explaining. That I was a I live stream. They good. just got the clip. That, that's all that was. It, people yeah, because I noticed I didn't stream. see the chat. Why didn't yeah. they let your chat up? No, nah, that's a that was a live stream. So, but what it was was just people were asking me to post a shorter version of my live stream. So I oh. chopped it up in three videos okay, and posted them okay. all back to back in one day. That's why the views are so low because that was three videos in one day. But it's oh. only for people that didn't get a chance to see because they they may not have time I to watch a two hour that. live stream. Oh, I be I don't miss no live streams of yours. I still haven't. But when, certain people, when you stop talking, I still am right there listening. You just can't see me, but I pretend. <laughs> people be they've been telling me that, so I've been so now I'm starting to post the like edited versions of my live streams onto okay. the channel so they can have that. I mean, it's it's so only right for a, to be fair. That was actually an old video. 
No, that, that you did. That was a live stream, but it was last. That was the last live. It was stream. just two days ago. Two yeah, that was the very ago. last live stream. The, the very last live stream I just did before tonight's okay. live stream. Well, I got that one. I watched it twice already. I was like, oh my god, I was right with what I was saying, because I pulled up the Constitution and actually seen where they use the words interchangeably. Yes. Indian Aboriginal. I never see more anywhere, and that's has been the problem. My, you say you never seen what I, now? Indian and more used interchangeably. I've never seen that in anywhere in history written in in on this landmass used interchangeably. I've seen Aboriginal and Indian. I never seen more as being described as Aboriginal indigenous people the, of America. Yeah, they, yeah. I've never seen that, Dane, and I'm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not. You're not I'm going standing to. on it. I know. I'm not standing on that. And so, there's people that just don't respect me for that. And, it, and I'm just standing on what my gut's telling me and my research. But and from the previous years, when I was informing you about, you know, people's certain takes and how they twist and you know change narratives to fit theirs, um, that was one of them. You know, there was a few people out there that wanted to uh, uh, promote some misinformation realistically yeah, some misinformation. ideology they created about some foreigners being indigenous to this landmass yes no Mm-mm. see and another thing is is um how you can easily easily debunk them on that note is because number one morocco wasn't even recognized as morocco until 1956 well, how could they recognize the United States? Now that's confusing. Nah. Morocco became Morocco became independent on March 2nd, 1956 from the French and the Spanish. Oh 1956. You can look that up. That was Muhammad the 5th. Muhammad, matter of fact, they uh the French government locked him up the year before, kicking him out of Morocco. There was no Moroccan empire. It was always the Ottoman empire. Yeah, man. Oh I, my God. The, 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 what happened was, you know, a lot of people wanted to gravitate towards that because they got hemmed up in the Islam faith. Keep in mind, they do the twist and narr- they twist the narratives with religion. So their religious faith led them to believe that that was them because they shared the same skin complexion as us. And that's not the case. The French had Morocco. The what? French had Morocco. The Spanish did too. Like they had um parts uh, two, of it. Parts of it. Spanish had Tudor and um uh Melilla. And they didn't get their independence neither until April of that same year, 1956. So it's like oh my who are you goodness. talking about? Yeah, so I, how could if they how could they have how could they have acknowledged or recognized United States as a country? Because if they weren't ex- the French and the Spanish was in control of it. Okay, so all right. So the so French and the Spanish basically French- recognized the United States. Like th- those are the three the uh the British, the French, and the Spanish, or Spain rather, was together. You know, they called themselves the little tri empire. Okay, um, so they're not that's what the they're treaties not are the from. Moroccan Empire that recognized no. the United States. No. Oh my! There was no God. such thing as a Moroccan Empire. It was always the Ottoman Empire. We, okay, I mean, we, I've heard of the Ottoman about Empire. The Ottoman Empire is who was in power and had been in power for years. Um, that was the so-called. I mean, when the French basically, when the French and the Spanish took them over, that was it. They they couldn't get it back. And they haven't oh, gotten it back. Janisha, I know y'all got a lot to do. You need to do a build on that one. I didn't know that. Oh, All yeah. this time, I was just taking they, it for what it was that they recognized the United States. It wasn't even called Morocco. Country. I, I explained wow. that also. That was Tunis, Algiers, and... um. Hold on. Tunis, Algiers, I'm missing one. It, it's a couple of places of the uh, Maghreb region. I'm trying to think of the name of the other one. But it wasn't Morocco. Um, damn, I'm trying to think of the other one, but that's um, the Berber people. Like, that's not us. This is the whole point is that that's we talking about North Africa, dealing with the French and the Spanish and the Portugal. They ain't got nothing to do with us, and you ain't see no American anything in it. Wow, 
you you got to do those a are the Arabs on because like I on didn't... top of that, all them people speaking Arab languages right now. They don't. If, if a more come up to tell you that he a more right now and he in America, he shouldn't be speaking English. <laughs> See, I haven't, I haven't studied studied that at all. In fact, you're the first person that I ever seen put forth the picture of black uh, Christopher Columbus. So remember you showed that? Yeah. yeah that video. I'll never forget that video. I watched that video like five Spain. times. Five times I watched that. That was back a while ago. That was like four years ago. Yeah, that was about, about four or five years ago. Yeah, he... um. But see, that's what they would. I was just showing people that that's what the History Channel was teaching was other fake. places in Asia. That wasn't being broadcasted in the United States, and that's what the picture that they used. I'm showing you the picture that they used. Right, you did. You did say this is a picture you got that they used. I played the wow. clip. I played the clip from the History Channel, showing you I that they're talking like, about Christopher Columbus in different right. countries as a. You're right. So called Niji. Right. Well, not necessarily Niji. He was just of color. Of color. He's right. still a peon. He he's still he's still from that territory. Mula, Spain to be exact, but a couple people going to decline that as they don't have no clue what they're talking about, but it is what it is. You're talking five years ago, because I watched so many all of your videos that I took two days off of work and watched all them videos. <laughs> but And that's not his other... name either. Right, you said he was fake or something. They, it was a made up story. Uh, some of the story was made up, but as far as who's who they're referring to is an actual person. He just didn't have as much pull as people would think. And another, the majority story, of the story was made up, though. Yeah. Another story that you freaked me out about was when you showed. Of uh, I, I, I want to say it was the guy the. One black guy, I'm just using modern day terminology. They That's use right. the same picture for the same person. Uh, Frederick Benjamin, Douglas and Nat Turner. That, yeah, mm -hmm. they use the same picture. That freaked me out. You need yep. to bring that one back again. Did you get rid of that video? Mm -mm, that's on the channel. I want to see that's that. old. That was 2017 or 18. Yeah, but it was one I, of them. I forgot. I came in in two. I didn't watch them until started watching them. I did a videos. refresh, but it, that was I, I might have to bring that back up again because it's still old. Both of them old. But you um, should do that one as a premiere for us. Just a premiere. That freaked me out. I'm like, how did they figure out they're using the same picture? That was Google that did that. That was Google that did that. <laughs> That's why I that told people funny. stop trusting Google. See, they hop on Wikipedia and expect Wikipedia. Yeah. To have the end all be all. And then I showed them that the founder of Wikipedia <laughs> debunked Wikipedia and told you to stop using it. I showed them the video of that and people still using it, running with it. I'm like, okay, when you come up against me, <laughs> you got to throw Wikipedia up out of there. That's number one. You got to throw Google and Bing and DuckDuckGo all up out of there. You got to do real <laughs> research. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was periodically use it. I just like going in government archives. You can go to the stuff. government archives from there. Yeah, you can yeah. Get, you pull up them records if they yeah. available online. You can pull them up. You know, but people thinking, oh, well, I could get this newspaper and I could get this PDF to a book, and that's it. Like that's not how it works. This is the yeah, reason why I, certain people are stuck where they at right now because some of them are uh, either, you know. Uh, uh, stuck with the ideology or want to agree with the ideology that they're so used to that they're comfortable with confirmation yeah. bias or they want to learn want to research but don't know how facts i have to agree i um i i i was in the area where i didn't even realize i i really thought that i was vibing among Indians and Aboriginals. Thank you, Sherlock Homie. Um, I, I didn't know because I kept saying, "Why? If there's so many Indians in here, why do the Moors keep winning?" And come to mm -hmm. find out, you have yeah. I was watching debates, 
and I couldn't figure out oh, okay. at this point why Morris kept winning when there's so many Indians and Aboriginals in here. It's because I learned, and I just learned this yesterday, that there's Moors that don't identify as Moors, but instead they ab- they identify as Aboriginals and Indians. They they use that terminology, and I didn't realize that I was amongst a bunch of Moors. I really literally thought that I was amongst people like us, Aboriginals and Indians, but I found out yesterday that I wasn't. When you hear when when somebody call themselves more, they're calling themselves a Muslim. Oh, that's the okay. Islam is their religious belief, and if it's not, then they're a fraud. Straight up, the Berbers oh, submitted to Islam, and that was in the seventeen. The, excuse me, in the seven hundreds. So okay, so are the Berbers the Berber African? Dynasty. Are the Berbers African? Yes, hands down. And the, yes, and the other and okay, and the other ones are Arabs. They're a mixture of the Arab, the Arabs, the Arabics are still African. I didn't know that. All of them are I African. That, I did not know that. Now, see, see, I told you I don't know everything. I did not know. I just looked at them as Middle Eastern people. Now, I mean, I'm talking about what we say African, because technically oh, oh. they're going to look at something you know on their side. They're not going to call themselves African. You know what I'm saying? But on, on our side, as far as America is concerned, yeah, I mean, they're African. They're so still that, in North Africa. So that explains why in the movie Woman King, those guys that came on the horses after um, Viola Davis as the Woman King, they were wrapped up in stuff, the Arab looking stuff. Did you? I don't know if you've seen Woman yeah, King. Yeah, I saw the, the Woman movie. King. Well, remember when the guys came after the women? went and got those um, uh, emoji women back and the guy that came, the guy that actually raped her and had Mm -hmm. the baby. Remember the outfits, the purple or cranberry outfits they was on, they had the turbans on and stuff. Yeah. They, those those are Moors because that's how, that's how a seer, Duke of Sears dress. Who? A seer, the Duke of Tears, if I'm saying his name right. He's a guy who's a Moor. Who was that? Huh? What year was he? Well, Asir Duke of Tears is a guy who's a Moor, and he has a YouTube channel, and he's popular. Oh, a YouTuber? No, no, no. I thought you were talking about... <laughs> nah, nah. Okay, nah. So, okay, basically, what you're saying today is people, again, that are... that I mean, some of them, again, are going to gravitate towards... Is this a, it's a difference. Some of them are going to gravitate towards the Islam faith or the Muslim faith, Muslim Muslim. Right. Which is understandable. OK, fine. That's the religious belief. Then some of them then twisted a bunch of the stories up. And felt like, oh, wait, they, M- Morocco was America. And that's incorrect. That's what I just. Yeah, because I'm like me, too. I'm like, what? No that, way. That has been proven over and over and over and over and over and over again to be false information. Morocco is not America. <laughs> Morocco just became Morocco again in 1956. So what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I keep hearing them more say that. And then there's there's a, 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 a church of Moors, but only Arabs go there. I don't it, literally Arabs go to this, this this church. That's it was like a town or a municipality. A called, yeah, it was a town or municipality called. Morocco or something to that extent, but all the people that go to that mosque are Arabs. Not no these people running around in YouTube saying that they're black Moors and all this stuff. There, I don't know why they keep trying to put their history here as being the Aboriginals and Indians because they're not. And, and yeah, I spoke about I'm that so too. I'm so hard on that. I'm so that hard on video. that. Yeah, Again, I'm but so that's hard. a religious twist. That's a religious twist. The Mohammedans, all of that stuff, that's straight up Berber. That's straight up foreign. Mm. Like they, they gotta be speaking French to me at this point. You come on tapel too, bien merci. You, you better be speaking French or some type of Spanish or some type <laughs> of Arab language. <laughs> you you not ain't nobody speaking English indigenous to this landmass. Is a more Moroccan, more whatever, you know, ain't nobody. Mm-mm. Nah. 
Interesting. Again, but I've been saying this though. I've been saying that's why the you know some of those fake little moors want to be mad at me now. Fake mad. Now we gotta stop him. People was threatening oh, my life it? and all stupid stuff. Like oh, they we gotta kill me. this nigga. When I see him, I'ma kill him. I'm like, all right, nigga. You I, better man, hope you a sharpshooter. I shit you not. That's the only community that I get smoke in. And I'm like, why am I getting smoke in this community? We're Indians. Because why they do don't... they dislike me? But to come to find out they're not the Indians in the sense like me and you identify. They're literally these UCC form filling out people talking about. That's another thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm like, That's oh, thing. hell no. <laughs> That's what? a whole other thing. I'm like, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, and you Ain't don't no see Indians no Islam. You don't, you don't see the Muslim. And, and see, okay, okay, here's another thing. They're a branch of the nation of Islam. They're a branch off of them. Who? The Moors. I That's thought claiming they, that they Moors from here are branches of the same ideology that, you know, was taught in Chicago and New York. You're right. They same are, thing. They, they, were, they all were neck came and neck. after. That's right. They came, all these other, like the Hebrew Israelites came out of, was birthed out of the Muslim uh, religion. That's why, as far as America is concerned, that's why you see a lot of them are closely related in belief. But the only twist is, is that they want to, well, I'm, I'm Hebrew. And the other one is, oh, I'm, 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 I'm a Moor. And the other one is, and, and well, the we're Muslims. And the five and all of them yeah, came the out. Yeah, five percenters, all of that. Yeah, and that's yeah, correct. Bro, I did read on that. I was like, wow. All wow. of them came at the same time. And all it is is different religious beliefs, different twists to different religious beliefs. Like, for example, um, uh, uh, what's that guy's name that did the Hebrew Israelites? His name is, um, I forgot his name. Tazak? His, mm -mm, his name is um, Wentworth the man with Arthur the green Matthew. Eyes? Yeah. Mm -mm. Went, Wentworth Arthur Matthew was side by side with uh, Jew Ali. But his belief, he, he twisted, you know, the Hebrew stuff by mixing in Christianity with Judaism. That was his thing. And then he was trying to get accepted by these white folks. He he, go, he went to them twice to try to get accepted. Like, hey, you know, accept us as the Jews, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you the Jew, why you want to be accepted by white folks as the, I mean, anyway. The whole point, <laughs> and here's another thing, wow. the reason why, um, you know, people over here are being claimed as anti-Semitic is because the Semitic people are not only Jews, they're Muslims. I'm gonna let that sink in. The Semitic people are the Jew or Jews, the Muslims, the Arabs. Those are Semitic people. And um, notice how when we say something about them, everything cool. But as soon as we start saying something about some pale faces, there's a problem because it kind of exposes that they were just pushed in by way of, you know, who took over that landmass as far as the Ottoman Empire is concerned. But um, that still ain't got gotta, nothing to do with us. I, I got to go read on that because I don't know a lot about the Ottoman Empire. I really don't. I, I, they, were, I, they were in decline for years. Like, you talking about, okay, man, that's a lot. That's a lot of history I would have to start covering over. Yeah, in, you, 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 in order you, for you, you never to see speak the, about the... You never lecture about the Ottoman Empire. Because it ain't got Did nothing you? to do with us. Like, we, well, you know I mean, I know. <laughs> I would, but I mean, know, like. Well, I should, I, though, right? I should put something I, I out do, on that. I'm going to do some reading on it because I don't know a lot about it. I know that was the empire that was here. Or wait a minute. The Saadi the nation. and uh, Well, not nation. They call it a dynasty. The Saadi uh, dynasty. Um. I remember that that was I believe that was 14 or 15 hundreds that too. Um, and that's when the Portuguese was trying to get up in there. They went into a recession period. It's a whole bunch of stuff that I could go over with a couple a, a couple of dynasties was going in and out, in and out, in and out. But all of them were relating to the Spanish and the French. OK, like even I, I mix in the Portuguese with the Spanish because it was still technically the same people. You know, a little bit of Germany was in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they um, all, all of them actually came out of Europe, but doesn't Europe predate? Wait a minute. We, we predate Europe. So it's well, like. Well, that landmass wasn't even called Europe. Like, you know what I'm saying? See, this, oh, right. and this is That's another why thing it's I'm so wondering. Exactly. 
it is confusing because people are considering it Europe, but when you go there, it's not considered Europe. Like, but the reason why, you know, the, you could tell that all of them have the same ideology to go back to that. Cause I was trying to make a point as far as the Hebrews and the, uh, the Moors and the Muslims, all of them will say so in submission form, all of them would say that the black man is the Asiatic black man. Yeah, I be hearing see that's that pushing them too. over there. Exactly, that's put an Asiatic so-called black man is pushing them over there. That's East Gondwana. That ain't got nothing to do with the West. Wow, like that's not us at all. Hands down, that's not us. Still to this very day, and we know their well. At least I know their history. And nobody had to teach me this. I told myself. Hmm. And I picked up these records. I did what I had to do to learn who the hell these people were. <laughs> um, yeah. So if somebody like their big guys hop out there, I'm already prepared with what I need to debunk it immediately. Um, okay. But yeah, again, like the first thing you say straight up is Morocco wasn't even Morocco until 1956. That's the first. I mean, yeah, 56. Damn, damn. That's the first thing you lead with because they cannot debunk that. <laughs> they cannot why, debunk that. I want to know why these Moors dudes keep saying that they are originally from here, but they went out over out and, and built the structures here everywhere in the world. That's cap. Where's the proof? I'm it? like, how would it? Yeah. And I'm like, on the buildings Again, that they see. Ain't no kind of stamp or nothing that says more history or more this or that. That's la that's themselves trying to latch on to things. Just like so-called the Caucasians was trying to come over here and latch on to our history. Again, even in the term American, they say now originally, I mean now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. Remember? Correct. Yep. So they trying to latch on too. So did they. They they following their footsteps. Everybody tried to latch on to what we had going on. That's what so my conclusion is. Still to this very day, we say Indian, Aboriginal, we say all that, and there's still people out there that's well, we know, but the this we we yeah, we that too, but technically the real term is Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. X facts. Wow, 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 wow. All that Moroccan talk ain't got nothing to do with us. Our flag was not red, neither. And to keep in mind, what we say when we know something wrong, we say, hey, that's a red flag. flag. Okay. <laughs> well, they got a red flag. The Treaty I'm of Fez like, came in 1912. And that's Moroccan in right? the French. The, wow. the Treaty of Fez, 1912. These people brand oh, new. Snap. Yeah, they are. Because... I've never heard of them until, uh, you know, I came in YouTube and that, then I asked my mom about them. And then when I go to research history on them, I'm like, okay, I, the only person who's talking about this is Noble Drew Ali. And he was established in the 1900s, 1913. And I'm like, there's no history of them be mentioning them before that. That's I'm it. like, where is their history? Mm. So were the Spaniards Moors? Yes. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Some of them were. And some were the mm -hmm. French. Also, I told you that. The French, the Spanish, Portuguese, a little bit of Germany. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And notice how all you can find all of them wearing fezzes right now. Answer me this question. Before it was the United States, right? And where okay. Canada sits, before it was even called Canada. Mm -hmm. It was just where the air cross were, right? They were up there, right? Some of them were. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Some of them they, did travel there. Well, wasn't that there? Like, I'm learning that that was their main headquarters because there they was made no it the border. Main headquarters. It was Eventually. no border. Okay. There was no border between Canada and the United States. Before either one of them existed, it was just one piece of mainland North America. All of these little borders is, that's imaginary anyway. I mean, because mm. technically, if you get rid of these imaginary lines, we still all one landmass. Technically, the only thing that's separating us is different waters. That's right. it. But if we cross which that border, we get into that, you know. Which explains why Brother Sanchez said we could walk underwater and be in another. Wow. 
It'll be real quick. You, I mean, not real quick, but yeah, you can get to another landmass by crossing the water. Yeah. If it were, if the water evaporates, because a water where water is now wasn't always there. It was just land. Man, if if a water evaporate, yeah, we we walking wow. right across. I mean, some of wow. them gonna be a trip, but yes, yeah, you could walk right across to the next one. Technically, we all still tonight. connected. It's just that accretion happened, water rising. That's it. History is just something that's infinite. It's it's something that it, it, I think we're so far behind, but so much information is just out there, and that's what I'm I'm sharing. That's what I'm about. Just sharing and pulling out what I can and making sense of it, because I, I I just. I had to get away from them to, to see what I was doing to myself. I had to get out of literally get out of that community. And I, like I said, again, it's nothing against at power. It's just that I didn't know I was among Moors. I didn't. I really didn't. Seriously. I mean, this, you know, until last night, I thought they were Indians like me and you. I thought they was part of your community too. But they're all talking this UCC one stuff and they're really Moors. And I'm like, I don't understand how all these Indians are in here and the Moors keep winning these debates. Come to find out they're all Moors. And I'm like, well, I'll be What damned. do you mean debates? Like what, what do you mean? Like well um um App Power has what you call the 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 um debate league. Bat it's called the BAP debate league. And it was fun. It is fun. He we got is that in going person to... on online. No, right here on YouTube. Um, oh, okay. Well, you know, say Netter always holds all the debates, and he's been doing it for years. But when we go to his channel clown. and debate, yeah, it you know, we're cheating on. You get dropped off in the back. He silenced the mic. He does all this stuff. And the Pan-Africans always win, no matter how many Indians is in that chat. But so I asked debate. I asked BAP at Power. I said, you know, you, you know, I let him know you would really be a good moderator. I think you could shut saying that down. We need our own debate league over here. But I didn't realize that the people in his chat community were predominantly Moors, people who believe in the Moor way. I did not know that until literally last night when I thought about it. I think he cool with everybody. And this yeah, is he is. Why, that's probably he is. why he has a you know, he's uh, an a excellent diverse moderator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's an excellent moderator. He really is. But that community over there is tough. I, I was thinking that Indians really didn't like me and they just did not want to be. But I found out that they were different Indians, that they weren't the Indians that I would see in your chat because I never had a dispute in your chat, never had a dispute in Top Cat's chat. These are they're all the real Indians be at. I and mean, I'm like, these are different ones. Put a period behind that. Like you, I mean, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Cause we not see. Okay. The difference with what you just said, top cast of me, right? The reason I, why is because if anything, we're combating, like if we put out information, for example, you know, not to keep getting on these, but the people that's, you know, considering themselves more than they in America, we put out, you know, time and time again, information that's going to combat that stuff so of course they're not going to feel welcome to come in our chat because we got some top-notch moderators that are starting out there like you know real quick yeah so, but i didn't know that i was literally literally i thought that when i see the indians in this chat i'm really dealing with indians that be in my chat room my you know the maybe way we not believe. necessarily maybe not necessarily with him being diverse he's what i mean by that is is that he he wanted everybody to come through which is fine you know i don't see no problem with that he want everybody to come through and but of course they're gonna feel they're gonna be jockeying for position over there as far as the chat is concerned but well, um but that may uh, not be his position personally i it's don't think not, so it, it, it's not these people are moors and they come from other areas they're not the moors that they're, they're not for the, the topics Right or whoever debating, you know what I'm saying? Like they probably gravitated towards no, this channel. they're always they're always in there. They're always. Yeah, he probably in did there. some debates with some with some uh you know people that claim that they Moors, and that's probably why they there. You know, that's probably why they there. But mm. 
you know. But they don't identify as Moors. They're saying they're Indians and Aboriginals. This is what I'm trying to say. And I'm like, I don't know any Indians and Aboriginals. I mean, it's Moors that's claiming that, that though. It right. is more, you that's, know, so called Moors what is claiming I'm saying. That. Right. But I but long story short, I don't know in Dane, I don't know any Indians and Aboriginals that do this UCC work stuff like papers saying yeah no nah. I, I don't know yeah, and, nah. and that's the type of <laughs> those are the ones that i'm talking about yeah yeah nah, i'm like nah. i'm in the wrong fucking chat i learned that excuse my french i learned that yesterday yeah I, I really got a reality check and all of our names was mentioned and i'm like wait a minute why would it uh, indian a- not, ap not doing that that's other people no no hell no Ab- aboriginal power says Clearly, and he always says it. He's not a Moor. So does his wife Rocky. They're not Moors. A one not doing that neither. Huh? A one not doing that neither. A one is a Moor. He he, he would claim more, but he ain't doing no paperwork. He's A one is Indian, not tax. But he says I'm a Moor. I'm Anu who L. He's not a he's, member of the Moor Science. He's, he's considering himself a Moor because of. uh you know, sometimes he's going to look at it as a descriptive means because of the skin complexion. Okay. He's not considering himself a more of, you know what I'm saying, Morocco and blah, 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 blah. And nah, 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 nah. he ain't going that far. But there's a lot of history that he teaches that I don't agree with, 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 with the more stuff. I just don't believe that these people that he's talking about are Moors when it comes to our Aboriginal Indian history. It's not. It's not adding up. I mean, the same pictures that we see on um, uh, what is it, Quora with the Q? What is it, Quint Quintess or Pinquest? These pictures, like the picture oh, of Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest. When you see okay. these pictures on Pinterest, like um, this one, I'll I'll, I'll give you a prime example. When you see something like this, say just something. Oh, he's a Moor. No, he's not. That's Chief Farmington. He's not no damn Moor. Okay. Or like this, yeah. the emblem of America. That's not a Moor. <laughs> Which that's in the British Museum, by the way. Right, but that doesn't yeah. mean that she's a Moor. And th- these statues with, you know, Indians yeah. with the feathers, they keep saying yep. that these are Moors. And I'm like, these are not Moors. They're Indians of America. So a lot of his teachings, I disagree with them because yeah. they're saying that these are moors and i'm like no those are no they're not moors. indians they're not moors. so that's where i draw the line at you keep trying to put them as moors and they're not to me yeah they're not moors even in a descriptive sense i mean because again when you look at the term more in a descriptive sense they're referring to people of the uh mediterranean sea along that area the uh magrab magrab region like that, we talking about all them people over there, and we ain't nah, we not indigenous to that landmass. But you know, yeah. certain people want it again. They they want to twist it a different way, you know. Um, but yeah, nah, th- those people are. I'm talking about as far as us, our people. Those pictures you just showed ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. As far as their landmasses are concerned, you know, ain't nobody claiming them neither. You know, it's just certain right, people I'm over not- here that wanna, you know. I'm not to trying to the divide idea. the community, but I've never agreed with Moors. I never did. So as far as I'm concerned, this community was divided before I even entered YouTube because they've been fighting with Moors and Pan-Africans since I came. And I'm new. I, I'm yeah, not, Pan-Africans I'm was fighting Moors. <clears throat> yeah. And, and they and, still do. Like, they fight Christians, same thing. But they fighting so, over different religious beliefs. That's all it is. Yeah. And then Indian, the Indian and not, Aboriginal ain't no religious belief. No, it's not. It, those two terms are noted in the U.S. Constitution, and I pulled it up. Facts. That's the only race of or identifiers of people that they speak about in the whole Constitution. Indians and Aboriginal, one and the same. They don't mention Moors anywhere. That's not why I'm like, I just can't mentally... Um, accept them people. I'm like, no, you're putting yourself in here. You're doing just like the colonizers did. <laughs> you're putting yourself in our history. No, you don't exist to me. 
Yeah, well, I mean, you know, this is the uh, I mean, with, with what he doing as far as what AP is doing is doing a debate league and stuff like that on his channel. I think it's still yeah. fine, but yeah, it's, it's going like to be a whole bunch league. of I other people. I won't be over there. I will in not the chat. be in that community anymore. And I love. It's just going to be a whole bunch of other people in the chat. Whoever right. he bring to say, "Hey, this person better than this person." Mm-hmm. Boom. He got to be mutual, just like how, um, especially if he's trying to go with Sonetta route. He Sonetta had to be the same way. No, now sometimes Sonetta you know, will poke fun at certain people to get it hype. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, so AP basically got to do the same thing. He but he got to be on mutual ground. But of course, like if they battling him, then he probably gonna have a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about as far as debate. But right. yeah, it's not, like he put up a poll. Are you is is Indian and Aboriginal something the same? And everybody said, yeah, but these are Moors. These are not the they keep saying that the Moors are the Indians and Aboriginal. And I'm like, no, how are you three different people? And that's why I said, okay, I'm in the wrong community because I, I don't I, think AP I, was saying that. I no, doubt he that very up, seriously. No, 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 no. He never said that. Okay. He put up a poll for all of us in the chat to okay. pick. To pick. See, keep in mind he playing mutual ground, right? He and he playing like, mutual ground. You ask me, you top cats. If you ask us, us, I say us. If you ask us that question, <laughs> like it's over. <laughs> we shut that down. Like ain't no more crap was attached told. to us, man. We, right. we talking about we're you you talking about Europeans. You talking about peons at that point. You ain't talking about us. You talking about right. them peons, you know? And if you want to claim that you more, then you supposed to be speaking the Arab language. You supposed to be a Muslim. You supposed to be speaking, I mean, you know, promoting Islam and all that. Yeah. The term Islam means submit. So you gotta, you know, promote to your people that y'all should submit to who? What higher authority are you referring to? Allah, like the rest of them? See what I'm saying? Then it goes back to, oh, all of them are saying Allah. Then you are gonna notice that all of them are related. Mm. All of them, no matter if they five percent and whatever, all I'm gonna be like is Allah this and Allah that, and okay, fine, that's your religion. I'm not gonna knock your religion, but don't say that it was started here and then indigenous here. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm. That could be easily debunked, and has been easily debunked. Yeah, well, last night I just got a real great awakening because all those people in there. He said, "Are you ab Are you uh, Indian and Aboriginal?" And everybody pressed yes. And I'm like, well, how did a Moor win the debate? Rootward won the debate. And he was debating a Ooh. guy who, Rootward. Oh, you he, said he, Root Beer? No, Rootward. W-O-R. Word. Yeah, Rootward. He was debating. He's a Moor. And he was debating uh, Indian. And the I couldn't figure out how the Indian law. Damn, that's a big contradiction. And the, the more you said one. that his name is root word, and he's a more. Think mm -hmm. about that. If you look at the root word, <laughs> well, he a says more. that he's a more because <laughs> his last name is his name is Andre Murphy, and he had he he when he did the debate, his whole segment was about me, me and you and, and me. Cats, every Indian. And uh, um, like <laughs> known Indian in YouTube, and he feels that, um, man, don't pay them no mind, man. Of your state, uh, Indian of your state, or some shit. And his name is Andre Murphy, and because his name is Murphy, Mur, more, Mur, he's a oh my god, stop, bro. <laughs> that, that part right there be funny to me. The mur, more, more, even more, 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 more it's more. more and more, mur, me, like, stop all that, I bro. I think it's like some kind of, <laughs> it is funny. Um, some kind of autism of phonics. <laughs> Remember that? Cognitive phonic. Yeah, and I'm like, something's wrong here. And he was debating a, an actual Indian, a person who identifies as Indian, like me and you. Mm. And he won. But all the Indians and Aboriginals in the chat voted for the Moor. And I'm like, something's not right. Who was he against? Was he against a Pan-African? No. Oh, a guy named OTK. That's what I know him by. He's what was he? Indian. What was he? He's Indian. Nah. From South Carolina. I mean, he's from, 
Goose Creek, what was, South what Carolina. What was he teaching? What was he, he was, supposed to be debating? Was, what was the topic? The, the the topic was our more. He thought that he was dating, debating our moors from only from America or all over the place. Something to that extent. The, the topic was so horrible because what the topic was supposed to be when the debate was being set up is not the same topic it was. So it threw him off. And when Rootwork got to, to do his side, his whole debate was about me and you and being fake Indians and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> what part is he going to prove that Moors are from America? And so... The no. other guy, OTK, even though his system was messed up, he really did prove that Moors are from other areas of the world. And he lost by, and all the people in the chat were supposed to be. So that was Indian, a bias. That's Indian what happens on Sunday Channel, right? But yeah, but all the people that was in the chat identified um as Indians and Aboriginals. And this is why I said I'm in the wrong community because it's these Moors saying that they're Indians and Aboriginals. And I couldn't understand why am I always fighting these people in the chat. And it's because they believe in the Moorish rhetoric. So you have a set of Indian Moors claiming identifying as Indians and Aboriginals that believe in the Moorish philosophy. They can they I'm so not, I'm, I'm like these they're are confused. not real Indians. They they're kind of they either confused, lazy. They're, it depends on the situation. No, they're confused and they're bugged out. How are you a Moor and an Indian Aboriginal? They're saying they're all one in the same word. I'm like, no. I swear, no if we was to come up with a religion, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, everybody would convert immediately. <laughs> if we was to, I'm talking. About, if we was to come up with a religion today, this is the American Indian Aboriginal doctrine. Chapter one <laughs> versus one. Everybody would swear. No, I'm not a Christian no more. I'm a whatever we call it. You know what I'm saying? Like they would, they would, man, what? They would jump ship, pun intended. Uh, uh they, yeah, they, they he literally spoke about me. My name was the first name. The Beth Sister Bethy, Sister Thunder with the Wyatt tribe, Dane, the girl that's in the chat room, Docena. You can hit the link if you want to. All his whole bill was about us. It had nothing to do. We, we don't have nothing to do with Moors. And I'm like, why is he debating about us? We're not Moors. But see, and, but again, it was about us having fake tribes. And I'm a like, something's wrong with this dude. AP, I got AP killing him. But the whole point is that AP playing neutral. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Neutral. You know, Very that's neutral. it. That, I remember he, he telling me that he wanted debater. to do that. He wanted to do the debate part. That's why I was a debate lead. That's why he's a good. I, I thought he would be the best person to be the moderator for all the debates. But you got people in the community that hates on him for that. I'm like, damn, he's not. I mean, he don't debate, and I'm like, why? Kinda, we need our own. We need our own. Uh, it, Power identifies as um, Aboriginal or, or Indian. It could, why can't we have our own debate league? I think I don't. I don't see nothing wrong with the debate league, but at this time, there's so many people. That's yeah. still trying to learn. I don't think this was the right time, but still do what he do. Still do what he do. Yeah. Because there's so many people that's going to be confused when they hear that. That's why yeah. I had to come out with the video. um, Or I, that segment, rather. During my that live stream. Good. It, hell, it made like, me feel me, good. Because I said, like, okay, somebody <laughs> believes the same way I see it. And I, I saw your video. I said, oh, shit. I just did a video the day before you did on that. I literally did a video breaking down average. Yeah, there's people in the 13% and people in my DMs, they they act, yo, what, so what, is there a difference between? I'm like, no, it's not. All right, hold on. Let me, I'm going to mention that. You know what I'm saying? And I told the 13%, I'm going to go live about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that because it's content creators that's whatever they put out there, not necessarily AP because technically it's not him. It's just what he hosting. But then there's other people out there. There is other people out there that runs with that. As if, okay, there is a complete separation. No, the only things that we separated from are things that are not indigenous to this landmass. And I just had to make that perfectly, perfectly clear. And then on top of that, certain content creators would do a religious twist. And that's what I had to point out. You got to be mindful of those people that's doing religious twists. Because, of course, they're going to relate it back to some 
some thing, the Quran, the Torah, the Bible. Uh, again, that's not even indigenous. I mean, it, it, that's a whole nother topic, but. Um, and then one of the Moors, dude, you know, I almost passed out my bad thing. One of the Moors, dude, said that these um, early people like Jesse Jackson didn't tell us who we were. I almost fell out the bed. Huh? I said, you're not talking about the dude from D.C. that said we African-Americans in 1988 when I was 20. 84 to be exact. And then 88, it was promoted. Yeah, go ahead. No, you're right. Yeah, I'm like. He's like, they never told us who we were. I'm like, well, what about what your grandmother told you? Didn't she say you was Indian? Why are you waiting for a politician to tell you who you are? They never told us who we were. This is the more saying this. It's supposed to be the most intellectual damn people, right? Literally said, and that shit is on tape. He said, these politicians never told us who we were. These, these people like Martin Luther King and... um. Jesse Jackson, I'm like, what? What do you mean? They were trying to those. Why would why do we need them to, to tell him? To become Democrat. Why would we need them to tell him we were our thing? Why would we need them to tell us that we're Indians? Don't Granny tell us that? And grandma and grandpa. Exactly. So why why they never told us who we were? We wouldn't be in this position. I'm like, what? Our people are always looking for someone to do like, something. Like nigga, for you them. didn't learn you was African until you watched the movie Roots, and you're being uh, Pan African. So, and then they watch the movie and ain't read the book. Facts. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden now everybody got a relative like Kuta Kinte. And when you ever broke it down and said, "Well, wait a minute," if he's running away. Where is he running to? He's supposed to be in a strange land. Obviously, he knows where he's going because he keeps running. <laughs> I was dying when you <laughs> said that. Because <laughs> it's like he was running away. He said, I'm going to run, learn to run. And he was running. He in a landmass he don't know, supposedly. When you said that, where is he going to run to? <laughs> he knows. Obviously, he knows where he's going if he's going to run away. <laughs> You talking about um? Well, I think I was I talking you about Christopher Columbus. Bit, no, you was talking about Kuti Kente. Remember, he was always trying to run away until they chopped his foot off. Always trying to run away. So if he's running away, he obviously knows this land is not strange to him. And they're trying to make an African story out of really what is an Indian story. And you said he's running away, so he knows where he's going, because. He's supposed to be African. Why is he running? Where is he going to run to? To go look for a ship and boat to take him back to Africa <laughs> or just run to another town where well, he's he not known? Have for that. Exactly. So I, I was just dying. I'm like, these Pan-Africans live by that story. They stand on it. They're not he's, the only ones, though. Some Hebrew know. Israelites, some Hebrew Israelites will run with the Africa story, too. Some of the um, well, actually, the majority of the ones that consider themselves Moors also. Like, I know Hebrew Israelites that will pop up here and talk just like me and you, and you would never think they were, you know, a Hebrew Israelite. And the Bro, reason why I, I leave it alone is because that's their religious. I was faith. affiliated with them back when I was like 21, and they kicked me out. I made them kick me out, though. They it was at a point where some Hebrew Israelites was against women because women were turning their back on the men that gravitated towards that faith because that was um, unfamiliar to them. They were like, what are you talking about? Where is all this coming from? And that campaign was, lingered on for years where they were. When I was women. going to, when I was studying with them, way back, you talking before Mookie, Mookie was two. And I would catch the train to New York, 125th and Madison Avenue. And it was called, at that time, it was called Israeli Church of Universal Practical Knowledge. And there were High Priest Shar, R.E.R., all these people teaching, and Abanazar Bar, all, all these people. And in there, the woman had to stay silent. You could not talk. You had to sit in back of the man. You couldn't sit side by side. Like if you came in there with your husband or, or, boyfriend or partner or whatever you had to sit in the back row seats with all the women you couldn't sit up in the front the men sat in the front it's crazy and I knew that wasn't for me 
I said, oh, I can't do this. You said I'm the women to, sat in the back? We had to sit in the back <coughs> and we had to, we couldn't, we weren't allowed to ask questions during Sabbath service. Only the men could ask. We could not raise our that hands. That sounds like some Judaism questions. work. We couldn't raise questions. We had to come in there with our head covered and our skirts all the way down to our ankles. And we could not be on our lady monthly coming in. And the only way you could get out was you had to do something that severe against them or they'll keep you because they take out insurance policies on you. And that's why they keep most of their members. Mm -hmm, and I, yeah. And I, um, I, I made them kick me out cause I couldn't just be kicked out. Um, I had to do something to make them kick me out. And I did, I went, I did things that I knew was against the law of them that would get me kicked out. Like one of the things I did, I ate on the Sabbath when you're supposed to be fasting. So I went across <laughs> the street and ate a pork chop sandwich and sat in the window so they could watch me. So they gave me a warning. I did. And then I went in there on my lady monthly oh, and man. they found out. They said, wait a minute, what are you doing? You can't go in there like you you want what? You can't be in. So they finally kicked me out. I was so glad. Because I didn't want the people to have nothing on me. They was crazy in New York. They was crazy. That's where a lot of the stuff stemmed from. A lot of the ideologies that they're still, you know, attached with. And then we got to be careful because a lot of the people that were leading these particular groups were from South America. Yeah, you're right. A lot of the people were, they were West Indian. You know what? There was all different races because it was the 12 tribes of Israel. So when you see people from like Puerto Rico, or um, any of the Latin communities, they deem them as the Indians of America. But then you got the Jamaicans and the, the, the Haitians were the Levites because it was 12 sons. And they said the Haitians were the only ones that could go in the temple and talk to God. So they said that Moses and um, Moses' brother um, Aaron was a Levite. That's why he some, did. Oh, I remember that mess. some it of them, mess. some of them twisted it up. Like that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> some of some of the Israelites don't even like to be called that. Like the people that I know, I'm trying to tell you that will, you know, tap into that belief. Won't let you call them an Israelite. Won't let you call them a Hebrew. OK, but it's certain, you know, things that they gravitated towards and hold on to tightly. But they won't ever come to me and be like, yeah, Dan, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, Dan, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. It's not <laughs> oh, that. Wow. Because out of mutual respect, they're going, no, nah, I'm indigenous to this lamb ass. Here's why. I know some of them that could be like, that was pointed out inside of the Bible. But mm. not, the, not, not the King James, not the rest of them verses that they came out with. You got to go get the Book of Mormons. Yeah, and then they, we'll pull up the Book of, of Mormons and start pulling it out. Some Hebrew Israelites that I was involved with, they swear and stand on King James version. Yeah, King 16, James. 1611 mm -mm. version. That was the only one they read about out of in the Apocrypha. They yeah. said the Apocrypha is the lost books. And they be on, on a camp And that's a lie. In New York. That's a big lie. Saying, you a demon and you this. And I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. It was They'll crazy. try to belittle you if you, you know, go against their religious belief. Yeah. And then but they again, all it's not about what they up. believe. They all started breaking up. Then they came up with this Hebrew Israelite group. This different where, branches. Where yeah, yep. where mm -hmm. they will only yep. marry white women because the black woman is the devil and evil and no good. So they married. That's white not all of them. Always, though. It was just crazy. No, not all of them. Yeah. They would started breaking up and coming up with these new Hebrew Israelite camps. And I'm and like, they don't thing. went off the cuckoo's nest. Here's another thing that's very similar to what the Moors did. The Moors branched off a different avenues also like they created different establishments that enabled them to have their own religious belief like <laughs> it went from civics to you know some of them would say hey grab some paperwork and then someone be like nah we, we represented as an msta and they know better though the majority of them who are you know are familiar with islam and their muslim religion and stuff like that they don't bother us that's because mm -hmm. they, they, they ain't got nothing to do with them like they know for a fact that they're 
representing a totally different landmass as far as their history is concerned. Mm. They don't have no problem with that. They want to subscribe to that. Fine. That's their that's their religion. It's the people that are trying to, you know, that have issues with us. They want to fit in with us. By latching on to these terms, Aboriginal, for example, Indian, for another example. That's what I found. That's where the in problem that coming group. at. That's what I found in Bap's chat room. Them. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not saying Bap because Bap say I ain't no more. But it's not a lot the of them. It's only it's it's only like a maybe like two handfuls. It's not a lot of them. They're not a they're not a, a main state. They don't have a main base. There's a group of them that literally say that they are truly from Africa. Yeah. And they were on my panel teaching about the Nasara Chasera. I'll never forget those guys. Nasar Jasar? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Nasar mm -hmm. Jasar. They came on my, I had them, I invited them on and turned to find out that they're actually more that agree that they're from Africa. But you're going to find them. You are going to find them and they're not going to give you, you know, like, no I'm backlash confused. or nothing. Yeah. But that's yeah, what makes man. it confusing because everybody started separating and doing their own thing. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's in, in history, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to them, they ain't got nothing to do with us. No, I ain't nothing so. that's to do why, with us. That's why I'm back over here. And if I feel bad about it, but I probably will just like watch from the back scenes, but I won't be doing any activity in the chat because that's just not my group of people. I, I deprive myself of a lot of work that I could be doing for Wire, and I'm going to join the. 13%. So please tell Tanisha now to please, I said, sorry, please un unblock me again and good job. I'm that's up to her. You know what I'm saying? Know. I'm going to repeat this to her, to her, but that's totally up to her. That's totally up to her because I'm telling mm -hmm. you, they're the ones that held the grudge more so than anything because that was like it was like, I hey, uh, <laughs> I want to um, put my um information in the chat. If you could tell her to call me. Uh, I'm much, is number. one of my moderators in there in the chat? I'm putting it in the back chat. I'm not putting my phone. No, do it in the 13 percent community server. If anything, I don't know how to work that. Yeah, it's I gotta easy. learn how to work it. I gotta learn how to work it. I much rather you put that in the 13 percent community server to one of my moderators, and they'll be able to pass it to me. I don't. I don't want any of the information put I out. I think onto the chat. Choctaw still has my number. Okay, you talk to my Tanner. I think you got yeah. a couple of my mods. You have um Yeah, oh I think you got a few uh, yeah, of them. I got a couple of them. Yeah. All right, I know who to give it to. Yeah. I know who to give it to. I, I'm I gotta learn how to work the 13% because I got confused. It made me set up something for myself. And I'm like, what is this? I got in and I saw your face, but I couldn't do nothing else. I didn't know how to work it. So I gotta learn. Maybe that's what I'll do later. But yeah, I'd much rather I'm, you do it that way because in the 13% is more encrypted. Uh, you know, I mean, you can ask my mods like again, you I know you they even told me that's why I didn't even tell them to leave your channel when all that was going on. We had a conversation. No, everybody's still here. Everybody's still here. Exactly. And I told them don't I told them I straight told up don't them. leave. No, no. Keep it straight. Like keep it where it's at. They know I'm not playing. They know for a fact they I told them what happened. And told them, look, I, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Yeah, a lot stay of them know I was sad. Y'all can hurt stay here. Yeah. I was so tearful. That's some real shit. That was the day that your mother came in the chat and told me don't cry. And I didn't hear from her uh, again, but she said it'll be okay. That was, she yeah. came literally in the chat by herself. And I was so glad. I'm like, okay, but it took a while. It's been a year now. <laughs> like, this is crazy, but I'm glad that it's yeah. over. And yeah, I mean, we was going to give it, we just gave give it time. Yeah, uh, give me a call. You know, with her being, I, oh, yeah. I know, whenever, whenever I, I'm not sweating it. I'm mm -hmm. sure she will eventually. But I, I, it just feels good to see you again and talk to you. And I'm I'm going to get my butt out of here and get me something to eat. I'm starving. I've been out almost now six hours. Damn. Yeah, I came on at 11. I ain't doing that. Yeah. I'm, the longer, well, I ain't going to lie. I almost today, hit six hours on one of my live streams on my channel. Almost. I wish I did. I want you to come back and do a live explaining that 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 again. Yeah, you should do what? a live. What we talked about earlier uh, the the difference uh, of the different the Ottoman Empire, and I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, the Ottoman Empire kind of deep. That I that's a history about within that. itself. Maybe I read tonight. Yeah, when they was getting <laughs> when the Ottoman Empire was on a 
That's what I'm saying. When the Ottoman Empire was right at the edge of where they was about to, you know, lose their grip, that's when they grabbed, like, Morocco and all the rest of them and try to, you know, bring themselves up. And, and that's how you know um, the um, so-called Moors were involved with the queen, for example. Like, she hired them into her army. Like, notice how all of them was wearing feathers. Why do they keep saying that they're the Indians from here and went over there? In Europe, mm. and then came back. I don't. No. Uh, them dudes is off the chain. I think they're just like not slow. So, like um, like it, they need an EIP a examination or IEP. Is that what they call it in the school now? A IEP. Uh, something wrong with them. I don't know. I, you know, I got my children. <laughs> we homeschool our children. I know. I don't deal with that system. Oh, you still do, huh? Absolutely. Yep. I seen a picture of your son. Oh my god, he was bent down, squatting down. I'm like. Oh, he got so big. What's what son? Dane, little Dane. Oh, little Dane, yeah, little Dane. He got a up big there. old he a afro. I know how nah, he, he his held. haircut. He got a haircut. Oh, he cut he it off. A, okay, yeah, he he, he got, got a, a big old afro. Them young boy, what them young boys doing? Doing all. Remember how we? Oh, well, the twist. Nah, he what them young boys doing right now? They doing designs in their hair and stuff like that. But the, I remember I used to do that when I was young. So I'm, he going through that stage now. Oh, Trying to look all fresh for the ladies and everything. 15? <laughs> yeah. About, mm -hmm. How tall is he? Uh, he probably almost six feet. He he almost as tall as me. Damn. Yeah, man. I'm wow. having to, I'm having to keep the ladies up off of him. I say focus, boy. You know, wow. just focus. Dang, Stay dang, focused. Dang, dang. Wow, wow, wow. And saying my younger son Dayton, same thing. The ladies all over him, and he eating that up. Wait, 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 Seven wait. Seven years old. Dane's not the baby. No, nah, Dayton is remember. the baby. Dayton That's is the right. baby. How old is Dayton now? Dayton is seven. Dayton is okay. seven now. That's right. He's the same. He's the youngest. He's year, he's and my girls. Young, he's a year huh? younger than the twins. He's a year younger than the twins. Because the twins are eight. My twin yeah, boys, my, they're eight. Dayton is a. I think Dayton probably going to end up being like me some type. I, I don't know. Because he a talker. He can talk talk. Oh, yeah, he raising his hand. Wow. Uh, he he don't even wait the ways he he just started talking. The girls are the oldest, right? My uh huh. My oldest daughter is the oldest out of all of them, and then um uh Paige and Scarlett is in between. Yeah, I mean they're so pretty. Dane and, is older than both of my and, younger daughters, and though. very well mannered too. May I say? Absolutely. They are. They, Absolutely. They, they're very 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 great morals. Yep. But anyway, I'm gonna get my butt out of here, y'all. I, 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 I hope that you could give me, y'all could give me a call when you get. So yeah, I much rather because see, my my wife is in the thirteen percent. Also, that's why I wanted you to. Hit I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in there and try to do it when I okay. go upstairs and lay down. I'm gonna go in there and try to do it again. Because yeah, it's not hard. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. That Discord, uh, that thing. I don't I'm not gonna lie. It. I love that thing. It uh. It's it's kind of I know it's going to get you know it's it's going to so when you go live it's take some time to learn it but it's good when you mm -hmm. go live are they when you go live they're in there and in your chat at the same time yes yeah, so I have my own chat in there and it's just like if I went live right here I went live in there the same way no I'm and saying be able to that hear me. when you be going live some of the people be in Discord and some of them be in YouTube or if I go live at Discord it would be in Discord only. But if I go live on YouTube and open up my Discord, both of them hear me. Oh, okay, the way I, the way I have it set up, which is okay. amazing. I'm getting ready to do that again. Now, remember the last times I was bringing people up on the panel? Yeah, they coming from Discord. Discord, right? Yeah, right. They coming from the okay. thirteen percent community server. So Discord is kind of like when they're up on the panel with you. It's kind of like this. Um, what's that other? It's just like this. Remember that other thing we tried, and you was like, I don't like this. No, nah, not um um. Uh, it's it, what Tariq Nasheed goes on. Uh, I don't know what that is. House Club or something like that. No, it's definitely not like Clubhouse. Yeah, it's Clubhouse. told that I ain't. I never like Clubhouse for that reason. Cause Clubhouse, you don't get to share nothing and post nothing. Right. Like right. Thi this, this Discord is ev all of this combined. Discord is like if you had my cell phone number, plus a community chat, plus a community forum, plus whatever you make it. And I get the live stream in there, just like this, like where I get to see the chat and get to see, oh, you know, wow. face and everything. Yeah, bring people up on the panel. 
And they could turn their cameras on? They could turn their cameras on, yeah. Oh, wow. I have to go and check. Yeah, I had out. to I block that ability because women were showing me their disco. titties and everything. I had to. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I, just, my I, in, I had to that. shut my inbox off. They were sending oh, me. No. Listen, oh, I'm no, trying to no, tell you. No, that, that's, that's bad. It was wild See, I don't we, like that. I don't like I that. I kicked that's, out 1,200 people out my junk. 1,200. I don't like that. Um, that and it was straight. Bad. It was mainly women. Like, if you ask my mods, you'll see what's going on. And my administrators, they, especially my administrators, they know. Them, them girls were sending me DMs. I'm talking about, where is this coming from? Like, That's you terrible. know I'm married. And you still sending me this stuff like, hey. I'm like, nah, it don't work like that. It won't oh, ever no, work like no. that. Like, See, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Nah. That's not, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I had to shut my DMs down for a second. So I told Topcasters I didn't want him to think I was blocking them or something like that. And he was like, nah, if anything, <laughs> he'll just call me. I was like, bet. Yeah, I'm glad you remember that. Because I don't want nobody to be getting all upset if I do something like that. But, uh. That's yeah, no, nah, I had crazy. to shut my DMs down for a second, man. Let them chill out. Like, I'm not only and, that, that I, not mine. I'm, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm gonna go on there and try to work it and then send my information and see if... To us directly. Don't put it in the community chat. Okay. Send it to I'll, us I'll a that. DM. Like, it's all you got to do is, like, for example, if you click on uh, who was in here, who in here, well, that's my mods. Like if you was mm -hmm. to click on Choctaw Montana name right in there and DM him, he will be he'll able to DM directly. me. Yeah, you could DM okay. him directly. Okay, and that's he'll what be able I'll to do. DM me like yo, Dane. Oh, he'll call me, Dane. This this is the Bethy stuff right here, and then I'll let you know hey, it was right here, and then we could contact each other right there. Yeah, um, I think it's it's pretty easy all, once you get the hang of it. I think just about all of Wire is in the thirteen percent, literally. Possibly. All of them. All I'm, I'm of pretty them, sure. I believe. Oh, I was too. I think all of them are at this point, but I'm going to go back and do it. I'm going to go and do it now. I'm hungry. I got some Spanish food. I got some rice and beans. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Yeah, you about to be going, going to the right bathroom here. after that. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. I, I'm going to lay back. Nah. I'm going to lay back. That stomach going to get the bubbling. You, you say rice <laughs> and beans, Spanish food. That's why Spanish yes. people do that. They I make it as hot as possible and they're going straight to the bathroom. I love Spanish yellow rice and beans. Oh, I man. love yellow rice. Yeah. yeah, that's what I got. Oh, yeah. I love Big yellow rice. And they, they got these little chickens, right? Regular, they take chicken legs and chop it all up Yeah. after they fry it and lay it on top of the rice and beans. Oh, man, I'm about to go tear that up right now. I'm yeah, you about to go to the bathroom afterwards? Watch. <laughs> I know. Watch. If, especially I know. if you make it spicy. Make it spicy. You should, though. Real talk. And that's another thing. You're cleaning out your system at the same time. I can't do spicy foods because of my acid reflux. I can't. Um, I got okay. acid reflux really bad. I drink um, natural. I you I I nurture it naturally with vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar. I take two tablespoons. Oh, be careful with that because they changed it. Uh, are you yes, serious? Yes, yes, man. Bill what? Gates bought the company. Oh no. Yes. Oh, I better tell Willie that. Well, I'll he go back the to company. the old. I'll go back to the old remedy. I'll use Pepto Bismol. <laughs> hey, that's I'm mad though. That, that made everybody mad that he bought that. Like, why would you buy that? You know that was out the blue too. Bought the apple cider vinegar that everybody. I'm talking about all the need you get that. We everybody, because it work. I mean, like when you it take it, it, it works. Just like <laughs> it, 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 like it's like it blows the food down your intestines so you could go. And it don't reflex, but I try. Just I, don't I, get the I, same I brand that all of us do. Get a different brand. Try try to grab a different brand of apple cider okay. vinegar because he got the main one. Um, and I'm trying to think of the name of it right now. But you should know the one that we all got in our house. Like, I mean, the the I'm talking about the bottle. Damn, I, I would have to ask her what the name of that Is it company Hines? was. Um. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I know it as Google, soon as I see I'm it. I'm going to Google and see which one he owned. That's all. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm that Because he Talk bought that, that junk. Oh, he, Niji said Braggs, B-R-A-G-G-S. I think it is Braggs. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, he got okay, that junk. So, oh, I won't be buying He it. took that junk. Thanks for telling me. I don't have too. Brines. I don't have Braggs. I got um Heinz in there. Oh, so let me I'm double good. check that. Let me Hold on. Let me double check and make sure that that is the brand. Hold on. Because we are online. Let me double check that. Uh, uh oh, because you could do the gummies too. I'm yeah, it is brag. It's it's brag. It's brag. It's brag. It's brag. It's brag. Okay, so it I'll is do brag. that. B -A -G -G. They got apple cider gummies. 
Yeah, they do got gummies. Okay. Oh, well, more came in the chat room and said it's uh that he didn't buy it. All right. We they go on, they anyway. going to claim that he didn't buy it. You know, oh, yeah. well, Snopes no, and all the rest of them going to claim uh, he bought no, it. That was back that was last year. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm trying to tell you, trust me. They going to automatically claim that he didn't buy it and blah blah blah. The fact check this, fact check that. Don't believe that. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, yeah, he did. I, and that was last don't, year. Don't believe that. <laughs> Fort Bragg's. Okay. Get off of Bragg's. So of course, they don't Moore's, want you to think he did. This is a tough community, just like you tell us. This is a tough community. So this is a community of Indians and Aboriginals of North America. So this is anytime a tough community you see, to be in. <laughs> look, I'm talking about anytime you see <laughs> Snopes and all the rest of them articles is popping up saying, wait a minute. That didn't happen. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. Trust me. Yes, it did. Mm, yes, it did. It never fails. Every time they try to combat something, it always be the total opposite. But yeah, man, that, that happened last year, like at the end of last year, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was like November something, like something like that. But yeah, he did it. Uh, mm. And then, you know, of course, they try and combat that. So don't fall for that, though. Don't fall for that. L leave that Braggs thing alone. Leave it alone. Well, I don't buy that anyway. The one I got near is Heinz, a big bottle of Heinz. Heinz, like Heinz ketchup. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar. So I'm, I'm safe at this point. Man, that thing took oh. off, too. As soon as that happened and they announced that, it went viral. And everybody was like, oh, oh, no, that's it. We ain't touching that no more. Mm. So, Dane, I'm about to end my segment, but stay up here because we'll be in the back. Hey, okay. y'all. I love y'all. Peace. I'm about to get out of here so I could go and eat. I swear I love y'all. And I'll maybe be back tomorrow because I don't have to work. The state of Connecticut's closed. Love y'all. Take it easy.